Hello. It's me. I'm here. Hi, how you doing? I'm a little concerned currently for some reason. <laughs> for some reason, Twitch is it says I've been live for 30 seconds longer than OBS says I have been, which is really fucking weird. Why does it say that, Twitch? What do you mean I've been live for 30? According to my OBS, I've been live for 3 minutes and 50 seconds. According to Twitch, I've been live for 4 minutes and 20 seconds. I'm very confused, but hi. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. We're playing some Fallout. Let me launch this fucking game, shall we? Oh, I did a couple of things off stream. Nothing too, nothing too fancy. Did a few things. I also, some people in my Discord, uh, suggested a couple of mods I download to maybe help with the fucking the crashing issue. And I played a little bit. It seems fine now. I don't know. <laughs> so like, maybe maybe the crashing is done now. Maybe I can finally be happy. Am I? Is it not going to crash anymore? Who knows? I'm not going to hold my breath. But hi, <laughs> hello. We're here. Welcome, welcome. Bada bing. Last time I played this game, we. Stop doing the main quest for a bit. I gotta swap over here really quick. Hold on one sec. Come on, go over here, motherfucker. There, boom. Yeah, we stopped playing the main quest for a bit and we started doing like side shit. We, we, we mostly just helped out Moira around with the Wasteland Survival Guide was the main thing we were doing and we're gonna continue that today. We're just gonna, we're on the last chapter, I think, of the Wasteland Survival Guide, yeah? We're gonna do that. Don't mind this autosave. <laughs> this, I was testing out some of the stuff to make sure everything was working and I just went around Megaton shooting people with my sniper rifle. Don't worry about that. We're gonna, we're gonna go back here. Oh, yeah. 
They're gonna make your life as fucking miserable as humanly possible. Thank you, Three Dog. I don't know if anybody even heard that. <laughs> I'm glad it's the first thing I heard when I walked in here. As soon as I load the game up, I hear fucking Three Dog say, It's gonna make your life as fucking miserable as humanly possible. Good. What did I do? I decorated the house a little bit, not much. I, all, all I really fucking did was I put a couple of clothes on the shelf here, so I remember that this is my goddamn clothes shelf. And this is my weapon shelf, because in the last stream, I noticed... Well, I didn't notice during the stream, but uh, after... When I was playing off stream, I noticed I had a bunch of clothes in here and a bunch of guns in there. Because I'm dumb and I can't keep my shit sorted, but now it's sorted. So we're good now. But yeah, I did a little bit of goofing around in here. Fixed up the house a little bit, yada yada. N nothing too special. Oh, but there was something that I said I was going to do last stream that I never fucking did. And I'm going to do it right away if I can find it. I mentioned how I wanted a follower that wasn't dog meat. Because <laughs> we do have dog meat, but I don't want I don't want dog meat as my follower currently. Are she going to be macaroni? Are you going to give me macaroni? Where's she going? No? Oh, she's just jogging. Never mind. <laughs> I thought she was going to stop and give me something. Never mind. But yeah, there's a dude here in this town that we can get. And I would like to have a follower because I want some extra fucking meat in front of me to block some bullets. You see Nathan around anywhere? I haven't. Hi, who are you? Well, hey there, stranger. I'm Manya. The old Manya. cook wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. Thanks. If there's anything <laughs> I can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned Enclave all day. Oh, yeah, the Enclave? Yeah? The Enclave killed my fucking dad. <laughs> you heard any good rumors lately? There's only one thing that concerns me in this town these days. What my damn fool husband is doing. He wanders around uh. all day and all night preaching about the Enclave and trying to get parts for his guns. Yeah? I'm not sure who's the bigger fool, him or me. After all, I married him. I don't know. Goodbye. <laughs> it's been nice. Yeah, thank you, Manya. You're nice. We, I think we bumped into Nathan a couple of times. He's usually the one that's always humming. We walk by and he's humming all the time and we can look at... We can look at his mouth move while he's... Why is... <laughs> Why is Mr. Burt Corpse outside? You haven't cleaned this. Well, I was about to. I was about to like chastise them for not cleaning up his corpse yet. But I mean, technically, they did clean it up. They threw him out the front door. Why? 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 Why is Mr. Burke's corpse out here? Why is he? <laughs> fucking get out of here! Go away! Why? <laughs> why? Oh, hi. Why is it? Why the fuck is this corpse outside? Hello? Excuse me. Hi. Is the dude I'm looking for in here? I don't see him. Not you. No? There's a dude named Jericho I'm looking for. His name is Jericho. Also, I'm going to reload my gun because it appears to be not full and that's bothering me. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're looking for a dude named Jericho. I want to recruit him. Can I do for you, daddy -o? Hey, yo. Why do you have that? Where, you... Where are you going with that gun in your hand, Billy? <laughs> Where... Where are you going with that gun in your hand, Billy? You going to shoot somebody? Where the fuck is Jericho at? I'm not Harden, you say that every time I walk by you. Dad usually doesn't like when I talk to strangers. Don't worry, I like your dad. Who takes care of you? <laughs> is it is it your dad? My dad, of course. Good. He teaches me to shoot and about the law and keeping people safe. Uh huh. When he's not busy protecting the town, that is. Okay. What do you think about this town? It's great. My dad says that one day I'm gonna get to be sheriff, just Ooh. like him. Very good. Goodbye. Sorry. Why'd you? Okay. <laughs> sorry, I guess. That's also how I that's how I end conversation with people too in real life. I say sorry. Where the fuck is he? If I can't find him, I'll just leave. I don't know what the hell Oh wait, no, speaking of which. Mr. Burke is dead as fuck, I forgot about it. we can go loot his house. He has a house here in Megaton. I didn't even think about that. Hold on. Hi. This is his house over here, I think, yeah. Uh, hello. Hello. Cause for some reason Mr. Burke has a home here, which is weird because he seems like like how, does, how did Mr. Burke get a, Yeah, here, Mr. Burke's house. I still have to sneak... Oh, wait, hold on. Is she going to run up to me? What is she doing? You going to give me macaroni? Are you coming to give me macaroni? Yeah. Here. <laughs> You've done so much for us. I hate this. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer. Uh, like, I appreciate it. Oh, some rat away. That's actually really helpful. Thank you. Like, like, legitimately, thank you. Certainly. It's the least I could do after all you've done. Yeah, goodbye. Like, I like that these people give me free shit when I come into town, but it's also really fucking annoying because they do it every time I come into town. Anyway, I'm gonna, like, try to sneak into... I'm detected. Is there anywhere I can be where the... Yeah, turn around! You! 
<laughs> you, turn around. I'm trying to break into this dead guy's house. Does anybody even care if I break into his house? Like, he's an asshole. He's also dead. Like, everybody hated him. That said, I'm using the fucking stealth boy. <laughs> I'm using the fucking stealth boy. Let me in. Okay. Now, what do you got in here, Mr. Burke? Anything? You got anything cool in here? Again, why does he have a home here? That seems very strange to me because wasn't he just like a dude that like drifted into town? And was trying to hire people to blow the town up? Like why the fuck does he have a home here? He has a shotgun. Ooh. Oh, is that a book? We need those, remember? We need pre-war books. Because we can sell them to that nice brotherhood woman. Back at the library. Also, I just noticed I'm not, I'm not losing any karma when I steal this stuff. Because <laughs> I guess Mr. Burke is like evil, so it doesn't count as... You don't lose karma for stealing from him. He has fucking nothing in here though, really? I broke into your home. I murdered you for this? Good. Great. Okay, goodbye. That was it. That wasn't fucking worthwhile, was it? Alright, Jericho, where are you? I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm look I'm gonna look around for Jericho one more time, and if he's not here, we're leaving. <laughs> if he's not here, we're leaving. Because we do have a quest, by the way. And, oh, I forgot I'm still invisible. But in the previous stream, we were continuing the Wasteland Survival Guide, and the last objective Moira gave us was to go to the Romco facility, and we had to install a thing into the computer. We had to, like, get their robot thing up and running again or whatever the fuck, so we're gonna go do that. But I would like to have Jericho with us. Because I want a partner. I want somebody to shoot the bad people that take 10,000 bullets to fucking kill. No? Okay. I don't see him anywhere. He's not inside the bar. He's not down here. He does have a house. <laughs> I, I, I guess Jericho does have a house I could search, but let's just fucking leave. Who gives a shit? We'll fucking recruit him when we come back. If I happen to see him. Yeah, we have to hire him. Oh, wait, no. Oh, you know what I could do? You know what I could do, actually, while we're here? I mentioned this in the previous stream, because I, I got intense training, I think, in the last stream, man. I got my strength up to nine. I did. I currently have nine strength. And there's bobbleheads in this game. We've seen a couple of them so far. There's a bobblehead right there in that house. And this is Lucas Sims' house. <laughs> is he home? Oh, he is home. We can just go right now. Okay, so somebody's home anyway. It's either Harden or Lucas. One of the two are here. Hello? Harden's here. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I know your dad says not to talk to strangers, but don't worry. I'm not here to talk to you. I'm here to steal your shit. Oh, you're home. Well, hey. How's it going? You need something? You just ask. Disarming that bomb. Well, that's something I'm not ever likely to forget. That's cool. I'm just here to... G goodbye. <laughs> Later. I'm here to take your collectibles. I know it's in here somewhere. What the fuck is it? Oh, I was invisible that whole time. I forgot. There it is. Go away. It's right there on the table. Bobble hit strength. Gimme. The inscription on the base reads, It's essential to give your arguments impact. Your strength has permanently been increased by one. There, now we have 10 strength. <laughs> we have 10 fucking strength. Don't worry, I didn't take nothing. I'm just here I'm just here to visit. I just went in your bedroom and locked the door for no reason. I was just checking your bedroom. You have a really cool bedroom, Lucas. Have a good day. But yeah, we have 10 strength now. We have max fucking strength. So we can carry 300 pounds now, right? Yeah, 300. Look at that. Hell yeah. We can also punch people real hard. Because <laughs> our strength is at 10. We can hit people real hard now. With our fists and our melee weapons. Okay, but now which way is the fucking Robco base? How far away is it? Map. Oh, it's not too far away. We've walked farther. We've gone to Smith Casey's garage before, so let's go here. Yeah, fuck it. We're gonna walk all the way over to that Robco facility. Thirsty, I'm so fucking thirsty, you don't even know. You know what? Speaking of thirsty, I got some water. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all like water? Y'all ever just drink water? It's really good. You should do it sometime. It's real tasty. Shoop. I never noticed you can like look into Megaton from out here and like how low poly- <laughs> Look at this shitty low resolution Megaton in there. This is my house. That's my house. I'm just looking around with like the background and like I I'm actually gonna wait till morning really quick because like, I need some color <laughs> At least the sky will be blue if I fucking wait till morning because holy shit. It's fucking drab and gray right now. Good lord 
That's like one thing that I dislike about the Fallout game. Well, it's mostly just Fallout 3 because they kind of changed it in a little bit in New Vegas. Well, no, not really. In New Vegas, it's still drab. It's just a different color drab. <laughs> this game is gray drab. Fallout New Vegas is orange drab. Hello. Oh, oh, you're dead. I was about to pet the mole rat, but I forgot we tested the mole rat repellent on <laughs> its skull in the previous stream. Whoops. Oops. But like in Fallout 4, that game's hella colorful compared to this game. Like fucking Fallout 4 is really colorful. New Vegas feels a little bit more colorful. Like this game is just gray. And like I wanted to download. I'm still I was still looking for some mods to maybe install, like to put like some trees around that aren't dead. <laughs> but like that'd be weird. I don't know. Cause like that's that's the that's the way the game is supposed to look. Everything's supposed to be fucking dead and dreary, but it's like, I don't know, man. I like colors. I like when my games are pretty. Why is there a fucking death claw right there? <laughs> Why is there a death claw? Oh, it's almost dead. Oh. There, <laughs> there appears to be a dead a dead body on the floor. What happened here? Can I help you guys? And we're good. <laughs> what the fuck did I just walk in on? Hello? Hello? That death claw had like no HP left. What was this game? <gasps> oh! Uh, oh! It appears I found a schematics for a death claw gauntlet. Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> was that what is that what that guy was doing? He was out here trying to get a death claw part to make his death claw gauntlet. Fuck it, give me that. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. I heard like creepy crawly noises in my ear. Get away! Get away! Stop! You're ugly. You're disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Give me two hundred dollars, please. I don't like the noises it makes when it crawls towards me. Stop! Thank you. I want your poison gland, actually. Though. Hold on. <laughs> Give me your glands. There we go. Okay, well, we can make a death claw gauntlet now, which is pretty fucking dope. Um, it's a really cool melee weapon. I'll go see. I don't... Well, no, I might have the parts for it back at the house. I have been collecting random garbage, so I may have the parts for it. I'm gonna actually save really quick, just in case my <laughs> fucking game crashes. I'd like to keep that. I would like to keep my, uh... The schematics that we just found. Yeah, this game is full of random encounters, by the way, in case you're, like, unaware, like, you never played this game before. You can just stumble upon random encounters all throughout the wasteland, and that's one of them. Like, in this area, just a random thing can happen, and that's just the one that happened to happen for me. A dude getting murdered by a Deathclaw, <laughs> who had fucking Deathclaw gauntlet schematics on him. You can find all sorts of really fun, goofy ones throughout the game. There's one in particular that I kind of want to, like, grind for. I, I know a specific spot where it spawns at. It's, like, right by Vault 101. And you get a really, really cool, fancy gun if you do it. But again, it's completely random, so, like, I don't really want to do it on stream. But also, I want to show it off when it happens. So, like, I kind of have to do it on stream, but... It's a really cool random encounter. You know, maybe I'll get... You know, maybe I'll just go there later on during the stream and see if it triggers. And if it doesn't, I'll just reload my save and, like, do it on my own time, but... It is a fancy gun that I'll probably never use <laughs> because it has limited ammunition. But it's really cool, and I want it, because I want to collect shit. Is there anything up here? No? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whoop. Also, I should try- are my guns working fine, actually? Let me see if I can... Just make it- because earlier when I was testing, after I installed a couple of mods to make the game a little bit more stable, uh... I noticed the game was, like, hitching whenever I would switch guns, but I think it's fine now. Yeah, it seems to be fine now. Okay, good. It was hitching really fucking bad earlier. What in the oh. fuck is shooting me? What the fuck is- There's a missile launcher! What happened? Stop! Stop! What? <laughs> My leg is crippled. My leg is crippled? I'm dying. Ow. I don't know what the fuck just- Who's shooting at me? Was it a raider? Hello? They have a fucking rocket launcher which I'm not too keen on. <laughs> Could you don't? Could you put that away, please? I hear a landmine. Oh. Good, my day's not going very well. I left Megaton for 10 seconds. And this is my life now. Dad, help me. Wait, hold on. Hold on. <gasps> Where? I was about to say, don't you dare shoot me in fucking close range with that rocket launcher, you penis. Pew! <laughs> I fucking hate vets. Like, I hate it so much, but it's also so useful. Give me your shit. Okay, cool, cool. I'm gonna hack this turret really quick. Quick, I say. Watch me be here for 
Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, watch me be here for 15 minutes. Never mind. First fucking try, baby. Okay, I'm gonna turn this shit off, and I'm gonna go in there, and I'm gonna get free XP by destroying the turret that is no longer active. <laughs> get ready for loud noises. Cover your ears, everybody. It's gonna get real loud for a second. Cover your fucking ears. Oh, wait, can I not reach it? Oh! Never mind, there it is. Yes, yeah, loud. That's real loud. Please break. Please get destroyed. I hate you. But how much fucking HP do you have? How much fucking HP does this thing have? Okay, there we go. Goddamn. <laughs> I mean, then again, maybe chainsawing a metal turret wasn't exactly the smartest idea, yeah? Oh, there's bad people on my radar. I'm scared. Hold on. Some loot up here, though. Actually, you know what? I didn't grab that rocket launcher that that radar had, but should I grab it really quick and like, use it to blow these fuckers up on my radar that I see here? There's two people down there on my compass. Like, how far away are they? Like, should I, like, no, don't fall out the window, please. There's a landmine down there. Hmm. Fuck, let's give it a shot. I barely ever use a rocket launcher. Give me this shit. Let's go try to nuke these people. I'll just drop the rocket launcher as soon as I'm done with it. Also, I want to heal before I go fight them, but, like, there's also a bed upstairs, and, I, and I'm very stingy with my stim packs, and I kind of want to... <laughs> I kind of want to use the bed to heal, so I'm going to try to take these guys out real quick. <gasps> I just mentioned how there was a landmine down here, and I already forgot. Jesus. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I got it. Oh, I'm hidden now, it appears. Oh, they forgot that I'm over here. Good. Just going to just gonna shimmy on, <laughs> shimmy down this wall with this giant rocket launcher strapped to my back. And I'm going to blow this one. Oh, there's a fence in the way. Oh, maybe. Hold on. Where are they? See, the thing about this rocket launcher is you think it's going to be a really good gun, but, like, my explosive skill is so fucking low <laughs> that it's probably going to be, like, less effective than just using a pistol or some shit. There's a raider right there. We're going to ignore that guy. I want to get these raiders. There's a guy right there. Somebody... <gasps> Can you fuck off? I, I was ignoring you for a reason, penis. That's a lot of people. <laughs> this is why I don't use rocket launchers, help me. Oh, I'm fenced in. Hold on, calculated. Hold on, calculated. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that guy has a fucking flamethrower. Jesus. Okay. It's fine. We'll just shoot him this time instead of... Yeah, maybe maybe I won't try to conserve ammunition. I'll just fucking shoot them. G get, get away from me. Go away. Where are you? Get out of my inventory. You're fucking dumb. You're useless. I hate you. Stop it. Where's my garbage hunting rifle? Here we go. Wait, hold on. Wait, don't... Wait. on crouch and then save? I always do that whenever I play these games, because there was this one time, forever ago, when I first played this game back on the 360, where I saved my game while I was crouching, and uh, I was stuck permanently crouching until I turned the game off. <laughs> like, I could not uncrouch until I turned the game on, on and off, so I just never fucking... Whenever I save, I always make sure I stand up. Whenever I play this game, like any Bethesda game, whether it's Fallout or Skyrim or anything, I always make sure that I fucking stand up. Oh, I missed that shot, huh? Okay, cool. Fuck my ass then, I guess. How did I miss that shot? The effective range on this thing is, is, is piss balls. Yeah? Yeah, I missed, huh? Uh-huh, I missed again. Cool. Wait, I, wait, I have a landmine. I'm a genius, but I have a landmine. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. My brain is working. Come here. Come here. Come here. I dare you. Yeah, follow me. I got a present for you. Come here. I don't want you to come here, though. You're like a baby bitch. Ow. Ah, fine. Fuck it. I was kind of hoping that, like, you know, a bunch of them would come in at once, but sure. We'll, we'll just deal with getting one kill. There we go. Where's my shotgun? I'm gonna... You know what? No. No shotgun. It's flamethrower time. Flamethrower. Come here. Come on. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ooh. One of them's dead. Hi. I see you also have a flamethrower. Stop. <laughs> Get away from me. You're ugly. Thank you. Did I win? I won. I'm making this ten times more dramatic than it needs to be. Like, I could just heal myself, but I refuse to. Because I'm being stingy and I want to use the bed upstairs to heal.
Now there's only one more guy. One more single person. Hello? <laughs> Somebody order a pizza? I got it right here. Hot and ready for you. Oh! Who's out there? I am not fresh meat, thank you. I'm a human being. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me eat something really quick since I'm dying. Here, let me drink that. That wasn't enough. It's shocking that drinking a bottle of water wasn't enough to, like, heal my fucking gunshot wounds. Does the guy have a shotgun? What, what does he have? Oh, fire your gun. Oh, he has a fucking assault rifle. It's fine. Whew. Oh, by the way, for anybody curious, too, I mentioned this before in the previous streams, but, like, I, I talked about how I have a mod installed that increases the headshot damage in this game. Th that also affects me. Like, I also take increased damage from headshots, so, like, that's why I just, like, die instantly occasionally, if anyone's been paying attention to that. <laughs> like, I just sometimes drop dead, like, immediately when, when entering a gunfight. That's because they, they can headshot me. And I'm fine with that. I'm completely fine with that, because it makes the game funner. At least a little bit. Are you okay, ma'am? You're, you're you're hovering. Oh, you had the flamethrower, right? That's why you're hovering, because you're the, the back. You're, the, the tank on your back was making you hover, and then I took it off you. Whatever. I'm gonna take a nap. It's nap time. Wait, what? Why didn't I heal? That was weird. Was it because I canceled it part way through? I did not know. I did not know that happened. Weird. Because I only wanted to sleep for an hour, but I ended up sleeping for three on accident, and I cancelled it, and it just, it just didn't heal me. Weird. I never knew that was a mechanic. You have, to, you, have to, you have to fucking rest for the entire specified period. Otherwise, it will not heal you. Ah, piss. Okay, well, I'll keep that to sell it, I guess. Can I repair this? Damn right I can. Ayo. Hey I'm so fucking glad I kept that flamethrower. <laughs> like, uh... I'm so glad that I kept it. How much is this worth? 74? Do I want that? That's worth 90. Why the fuck is... Y y you figured the assault rifle with the scope and the silencer would be worth more money than the fucking regular ass assault rifle, but sure. Fairfax Ruins. Fairfax? Like Fairfax Adventures? That game that I, <laughs> that I played a while back? Fucking Fairfax Adventures? That was a fun game. I really enjoyed that playthrough. As janky and blurry as it fucking was, I enjoyed it. How far away am I from Rob? I forgot we were even going to Robco. Where am I? Oh, we're getting there. <laughs> we. Yeah, here's Megatome. We went all the way down here, I guess. We're like halfway there about. I, like, literally forgot we were going to, uh, fucking Robco. I just got bored. Or not bored, but I got I got distracted. Again, as with any open world game, whenever I stream them, like, just be prepared to watch me just roam around and do no like, essentially nothing for, like, fucking 40 minutes because, like, I can't help myself. I like looking around and exploring things. Some birds up there. Hello. Y'all gotta clean this shit up. Like, they gotta get a fucking street sweeper out here. What was it? Hello? What's coming? Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Some, some dude with a sledgehammer. Good. Yeah, good. What'd you Whoa, wait, hold on. Time out. <laughs> Time out. There, what'd you think was gonna happen? I, I about gloated too early. I was about to make fun of him, and then I fucking missed my shot. Oh, someone's got a gun. Oh. Where are all these raiders getting fucking silenced assault rifles at? Oh, you bet. No, don't, don't, don't. You fucking run from me. Come on, Johnny. Don't miss. Fuck, hold on. Reload. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's crippled now, though. I can fucking I can catch up with him. He's crippled. Come here, buddy. Come here, bud. I got a present for you. I got I got something for you, buddy. Where'd you, where'd you go? Oh. Oh, well... <laughs> He was about to beg for his life, but then I fucking chainsawed his face off. You, you, you can't spare people in this game, by the way, in case you're curious. You can't. Like, so, sometimes people will put their guns away and run from you. 
and they'll say like please don't hurt me and shit but like if, if you let them like walk around for long enough they will just their, their ai like will like just reset and they'll pull their guns back out and try to shoot you you cannot spare people sadly even if you wanted to i mean you could just walk away from them i guess but what the fuck is this why are there trip mines here Okay, can I disarm these for free XP? Damn fucking right, I can. Oh, it's only 2 XP though. <laughs> it's not really worth much, but... Oh well. What did that do? Did that make fucking things come out of here? No? There's nothing in there. What the fuck do those trip wires do? Uh-huh, is that what they did? No, no way, right? Hmm. I'm not gonna go down there. I mean, I could go down there. What if there's goodies in there? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna. We have a mission. We gotta go to Romco. We have to go to Romco and look at robots for Moira. Nice. A nuka cola in the fucking post office box. Hell yeah. Landmines everywhere. Free fucking money. Free XP. Also, free backup plan for when I'm getting chased by 18 dudes. <laughs> I could just throw a fucking landmine on the floor. Good. I like how the <laughs> I like how the fucking cars popped in on the fucking road there. Robot. Uh huh. Uh huh. Tell me more, please. Uh huh. Really, thank you, Protectron. I enjoyed that conversation. That was very nice. Very good conversation. With the killer robot. Oh, we're, oh, we're here. Hi. I'm actually going to pop in here really quick. There's a, cool, there's a neat little thing here. We met the Brotherhood earlier. Remember them? Remember the Brotherhood? Here's like the Brotherhood, but if they were Shadow the Hedgehog. Are you ready for them? Here they are. Keep your head down, idiot. Raider incoming. Oh, okay. Now we must defend. Hold on. <laughs> there are Raiders coming. <laughs> Suddenly. Very conveniently timed Raiders. That's a rocket. Is that it? Was it just the two? If you're going to get yourself killed out here, you mind doing it further away from our bunker? Excuse me. corpse stinking up our little patch of heaven. Ma'am. What? What is this? <laughs> Shut up and get that fucking gun out of my face. She's not pointing the gun at me. She just, she just kind of like, you know, leveling it at me. Fuck it. Yeah, I, I hate if my corpse ruined this lovely wasteland. It would clash with the drapes. Yeah, the red would never go with all this brown. But if we remodel and still need a corpse, we'll call you, okay? Okay, sure. I'm Defender Anne Marie Morgan with the Outcast. Good to have someone else out here who can keep up. Uh huh. Who are you? We call ourselves the Outcast, and we collect technology to preserve it from tribals and idiot locals. Oh, yeah? And before you ask, we were cast out from that company of zeros who call themselves Lion's Brotherhood of Steel. They yeah, seem pretty cool to me. If traders think we're too harsh in following orders, we're probably doing something right. Uh, okay. Yeah, what do you got against the Brotherhood? What'd they do? You mean apart from the fact that they ditched their mission and went native? Sure. I bet you don't mind them being cuddly with the locals. But when we came out here, we had a mission to do, damn it. But now they're wasting their time protecting yahoos like you. Yahoos. And lions is off chasing its super mutant white whale. Up, 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 but they're heroes. They defend the capital wasteland. No, let's do, the, let's do the smart one because I'm a smart boy, yeah? By that analogy, you th Analogy? <laughs> Fuck, yeah, I'm a very smart person. By that analogy, you think lions will be killed by the super mutants, question mark? Huh? Boy? And here I thought we had the only remaining copy of that. Give me that book. Anyway, I don't know if the old man's going to die from them, but he sure as hell looks like he's going to drag his soldiers down with him. But he's not wasting any of our time anymore, damn it. Okay. Uh, tell, tell me about you guys. We collect technology, and most people want what we've collected. Right now, we're pretty much stuck defending this fort, but that won't be forever. Once we regroup, we'll continue our work and keep moving back west. I like your armor. <laughs> can, can, can I have it? Can I have your armor? I like, the, I like the red and the black that I mentioned before that I really like red. It's my favorite color. Can I have your armor? Also, can I sign up? Can I bring you technology? We aren't recruiting, kid. Oh. Old sap lions might trust walk-ins, but we don't. Oh. 
But if you want to help out, well, we might be able to work out a deal. Yeah? You bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you a finder's fee based on the device. But Protector Kasdan would have to okay it first. Who the fuck is... Who's that? Uh, sure, I, I'm in, I guess. Who, where the fuck is Protector Kasdan? Okay. But first you'll have to talk with Protector Kasdan. You can work out the details with him. Wermst. Also, thank you for not shooting me. I'm gonna go loot those dead bodies really quick. <laughs> I'm gonna go loot those dead raiders really quick. Do you like how I got sidetracked immediately? That person... Yeah, dude? You thought that was a smart idea, did you? To, you, you were sprinting across open ground with the fucking sawn-off shotgun. What did you have? What did you have? You had a, at least she had a pistol. <laughs> She at least had somewhat of a ranged weapon. You you ran across open ground with the fucking sawn off shotgun. You big dum dum. Good. Reload my gun. Let's go find this protector Kazdan dude. Is that him? Are you him? I come bringing you technology, maybe. I'm Protector Henry Kazdan, leader of the Outcasts. Yeah. This had better be good. Normally, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to a local, but Morgan tells me you can make yourself useful. I'm here to get so, that armor. Interested in collecting technology for us? Sure. Uh, tell me more about the job first. It's simple enough. Bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you for what you find. Mm-hmm. Big things like power armor or energy weapons are best, but we'll take things like sensor units or spare parts too. Uh huh. You never know what's important. Uh huh. In return, we'll pay you with your choice of 556 ammo. Grenades, stim packs, or rat away. I'll bet they're more useful to you out there anyway. Very much so. I'll fucking take it. That's what I like to hear. You can start immediately. You'll nice. report directly to me. I'll take in your gear and dole out your pay. Now get cracking. You got it, thanks, boss. Oh, I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> get a move on. Okay, later. Okay. But yeah, remember earlier when I mentioned how like I was like hoarding scrap metal and fucking sensor modules? That's why. We can, we can give them to that guy. We can give sensor modules and scrap metal to that dude. And he'll give us... Mostly ammo is what I'm after. Because uh, I, I need a lot of that their ammo for my fucking assault rifle here. So I'm probably going to be turning in most of it for ammo. But I also will probably get some right away. Because that's, like, good. <laughs> I like right away. It's yummy. It tastes good. I need that shit. But yeah, we'll come back here later. Whenever I... I'll probably head back to the house and grab all my fucking scrap metal. And sensor modules that I have stored away in there. And then also, if you bring them enough technology, they'll eventually trust you enough to let you inside their base. And then we can loot it. <laughs> and then I can loot their shit. So hey, it's a fucking win-win. I get, I get free ammo, and I also get whatever the fuck's inside there. And maybe, just maybe, I'll get some of their power armor, because I do like the way it looks. I think it's worse than Brotherhood armor, for whatever reason, like stat-wise. I think it like is just, for some reason, slightly worse, but... It looks neat. It's black and red. I am an angsty teenager. I love the colors black and red. Yeah? <laughs> Should I take the steak? <laughs> you know, fuck it, I will take it. Let's take the steak I found in a fucking... Uh, an oven in a, in a destroyed fucking hollowed out building. I bet it's real tasty. It's seasoned. It's seasoned with the fucking, like, the drywall and the asbestos. It's very tasty. There's something on my radar. Ho Hoomst. Hoops goes there. Don't come at me, I got a bolt action rifle. There's also a friendly on my radar, which is scaring me. Uh, and it's dead. Oh, it's just a scorpion. It was a fucking <laughs> It was an iBot. The, the, the Rand Scorpion killed the How did the How did the fucking iBot get killed by a Rand Scorpion? You can literally fly. H how? You can literally fly, iBot. And you got killed by a Rand Scorpion. Explain this to me. See, look at what I'm doing. I'm standing on top of a car and now it doesn't know what to do. <laughs> it doesn't know what to do now. I found its one weakness, elevation. Uh oh, but it found my one weakness. Ooh. It's hiding behind a wall. Get away from me, you're ugly. God, I wish this hunting rifle didn't suck ass. I need I need to look up like any other guns in this game that use 32 ammo because as far as I'm aware, is it just the hunting rifle and the 32 pistol that use 32 ammo? Is that it? Like is there any better guns that use it? Cause I do really like the hunting rifle, I just hate how fucking weak it is. I did, I did see a mod earlier when I was looking at I was like, again, I was perusing through a couple of mods in between streams, and I saw one that changes the uh, hunting rifle to use 308 ammo, which is kind of cool, but we also already have a 308 weapon. It's our sniper rifle. 
So I didn't really ca another fucking Rad Scorpion. Eat my ass. Yeah, I don't really feel like having another, like, just replacing the ammo type. I'd rather just fucking have it do more damage, which I guess I could do that. <laughs> I could download a mod that makes it do more damage, but it's kind of lame, man. Yeah? Yeah, snip at me. Use your weird little crab claws. Scorpions are fucking nightmares of a creature, aren't they? Like, they're really duh, terrifying. Get away from me. Like, in real life? I've never seen a scorpion in real life. I haven't. Like, in, like, like actually in real life. I've seen fucking pictures of it, obviously, but <laughs> I've never... <laughs> you know, shit, dumbass. But, like, I've never, like, encountered a scorpion, and they fucking terrify me. Like, those things will murder you. You will, you will die. They will sting you, and you will die. I just heard an explosion. Hello? Why did I hear an explosion? <laughs> what happened? Okay. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Whatever that was. But yeah, why the fuck did scorpions evolve to look like that? They got they got big old fucking they have super long tails with stingers on them, and they got like big old crab claws and shit, and they have like six fucking legs. Like they're they're disgusting. And they're really cool looking, but they're also disgusting. Like why did the Oh hello! God, I was I I must shit my pants. Hello friend. <laughs> How you doing? Who's a good bear? You're a good bear. <laughs> Goodbye, Yaogwai. I love Yaogwai. Can you believe that I got the animal friend perk literally just so that I <laughs> didn't have to kill animals? That's the only reason I have that perk. Not for any beneficial reason. J just because I don't want to shoot the cute little bear. And the cute little mole rats. I have six points of fucking charisma. I, I basically useless stat in this game just so I can have that one perk. Anyway, we're here now. Robco. I made it. How long did that take me? <laughs> that took me like 30 minutes to walk here. It's not too bad. I got distracted on the way here, but it's fine. Anyway, hello? It's a wee bit dark out here. It's a wee bit dark, I say, after fucking going through like three streams of having it be pitch black at night until I finally <laughs> fix that mod. Ugh. There appears to be nothing out here. Okay. I was hoping there'd be some goodies out here, but nope. Just car, just, it's just a parking lot. Hello, we're here. I should probably sneak before, I'm gonna save, I'm probably sneak in here really quick. Cause I don't know what the hell's gonna be in here. Hello? Knock, knock, it's Knuckles. <gasps> Hello, friend. It's a Protectron. I can't read this one though. Okay, I can't read that one for some reason. There are boo. But there's a turret there, that's kinda fucking scary. <gasps> oh, oh, your friend. You are friend, okay. Hello, Morat. You're not a friend, though. You're disgusting. Hi! You wanna eat that? <laughs> Here, you can have that. You can munch on that. You want it? You wanna eat that one? That one's alive. Here, you want, you want your friend back? Here. I'm sorry I murdered your friend. Please don't kill me. Oh, you're mad at me. Okay, I tried. All right, well, maybe there's no bad people. Maybe it's just animals in here. Maybe I'm not going to worry. The turret's there, but it's, like, deactivated currently, it seems like. Give me that book. Oh, you need, you need a hand there, buddy? No, I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm just doing some little bit of reading. Okay, are you sure? I can get you out of there. No, I'm fine. Please. Whatever you say. <gasps> Another skill book that I can't use. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Great. Another skill bug. Maybe I shouldn't have dumped all my points into fucking speech immediately, yeah? Maybe I should have waited? But what if I miss it? What if I needed speech, you know? What if I needed it? What the fuck happened in here? Why is there like a severed limb of some sort? You know, it doesn't matter. Give me that stim pack. They're fine. I'm sure whoever did that's fine. Uh-huh. Wait, there's so many fuck. This is like the third plunger I've seen in this one bathroom. How many fucking plungers do you need? Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your money. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know what the was he taking pictures of people in the fucking bathroom? You're disgusting. That. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you need some? <laughs> you okay. I'm gonna take those, okay? That's free money. Have, have a good one. I can't I can't close the door. I can't give you any more privacy. There's more fucking plungers in here. Who 
almost from right away. There's like some actual like half decent loot in here. Fuck yeah. Where do I go now though? I guess I'll keep going this way past the mole rat. Hello. How big are you by the way? Like how big are mole rats compared? Oh my god, they're fucking huge. They, wow, they're actually really big. They don't look that big in fucking first person. Like, oh no, I guess they got their No, they're, <laughs> they're, I don't know. Maybe that's an exceptionally big one, yeah? Oh, you're disgusting. Wait, do I need glue? I'm gonna grab that glue in case I need it for something. I can't remember. I might need it. Hello, dead robot. Did you kill that robot? Good job, bud. A sensor module we can give to that dude we just met. What's the hell's his name? Kazdin, yeah? We can bring that back to Kazdin. There's lambent emulsion energy coming out of the ceiling here from fucking Gears of War. Ooh! A stealth boy to replace the one that I wasted earlier to go into... What did I even... Oh yeah, I used it to get in Burke's house, yeah? I fucking wasted a stealth boy going into, in, into Burke's house and there was nothing in there. That was cool. I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I wasted that fucking stim pack. Give me that. I might need you. That medical brace, I believe, is a part that we need to build the Deathclaw gauntlet, which we... Nice. Which we just got earlier. We got schematics for it, so I'm probably going to need that unless I have one back at the house already. I don't remember. I might already have one back at the house, but in case I don't, I'm going to grab that bitch. I didn't want the fucking... I wanted the dart. Why did I grab the glue? Give me. Thank you. Sure, I'm glad all these fucking people before the war just left bottle caps laying around everywhere. How fucking, how fucking thoughtful. And ammo, even. Even ammo. Just everywhere. Waiting for me to take it. Like, thank you. It was very considerate. I can't, I can't move. Help me. Can I adopt that mole rat? He's following me around. He wants something. Are you okay, buddy? You need something? Ooh. Fuck yeah. Hold oh, my car. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee real quick. Hold on. I'm thirsty. Did I search in this closet yet? I don't remember. I don't think I did. Did I? I may have. I like already forgot if I did or not. There's another fucking plunger. There's nothing in here. I probably already searched it. <laughs> Good. All right. Well, there was nothing over there. That was a waste of fucking time. I get. Oh, hold on, bad guy. Is it another rad roach though? It's just another fucking rad roach. Go away. At least the hunting rifle works to kill rad roaches. Yeah. At the very least, I can kill fucking rad roaches with this goddamn piece of shit. Ooh. Microfusion cells are going to come in like super handy later on. Like right now, they're not too useful for me because I don't have any guns that use them. But like later on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a real good gun that uses microfusion cells and I can't fucking wait. Hi. And these turrets are going to turn on, aren't they? They're going to turn on at some point and try to fucking kill me. Or maybe they won't. I don't know. Ooh. How many darts do I have at this point? I've been grabbing darts for a long time and like we can't use them for anything, but like we're gonna be able to use them at some point. I promise. Hello. <laughs> Hello, other mole rat. Are you also giant? Yeah, you're pretty fucking big, dude. God, you're, I didn't know they, I, I never realized they were that big. They seem so small in first person because like they're just crawling around on the floor, but like they're fucking like as big as I am. Jesus. Oh. Give me the robot parts. I can I can literally bring this garbage ass scrap metal to fucking uh, protector cast in and he'll give me ammo for it Clomp clomp clitter clomp clomp loud footsteps. Oh Sorry every time the fucking game stutters like that. It scares me <laughs> We haven't crashed yet during this stream haven't crashed yet But it wouldn't be a fallout 3 stream if it didn't happen at least once. Yeah Who's in here? Whoops goes there. I see you on my radar. Where the fuck are you? I'm gonna assume it's just more mo- or, uh, Yeah, it's just more rad roaches. Go away. You're gross. 
That's the mole rat. I almost shot it. Don't want to shoot the mole rats. They're cute. And I missed. Fuck. There we go. <laughs> uh. I mean, there's a lot of destroyed robots here. Like, Moira... Didn't she... Moira Brown wants to come here to, like, fucking, like, find a bunch of robots that are, like, intact? They're all destroyed. All of them. Maybe they're not destroyed. Maybe they're just deactivated. We can, like, heart... We can, like, salvage the robots. Yeah, maybe. Mayhaps. You're dead, right? Yeah, you're dead. Okay. It's fucking darker than a rat's ass in here. Where am I? I just want to get all the enemies off my radar so I can like see where I'm going. So I can know where I've been. No? Okay. What the fuck is the point of this room? Is this where the fucking foreman stands and just like watches everybody and like yells orders down at them? Pretends that he's doing his job? Oh, hold on. Cafeteria, yes please. Oh, God damn, hold on. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste ammo on these fuckers. Come here. <laughs> Chainsaw go. <laughs> Who's next? Hello? How many more of you guys are in here? Got my radar. I know you're in here. There's, there's a lot of them actually. I'm kind of terrified. Or maybe I shouldn't be, because when, when the fuck have rat roaches ever been an issue? Except for in Vault 101, where they somehow managed to kill half the population. <laughs> where the... Oh. Oh, that one's dead, apparently. Okay, that scared me. I was like, it's the clipped into the pool table? No, he's just dead. Yeah, anybody else fucking remember that? Back in Vault 101, where rat roaches, like, literally killed, like, half the population of the vault? Because everybody there is inept? <laughs> like, I... Our character, Johnny... Johnny literally killed one of them when he was a child with a BB gun. Like, how the fuck do these people have problems with them? I don't understand. Give me your Nuka Cola. I have a thirst. That can only be quenched. By radioactive cola. The fuck it. Do I have one? No, I don't need. Do I? No, I don't care. There's a basketball there, which is pretty fucking dope, but I already have one back in the house. I hear shit skittering around. I can hear that. There they are. Come here. You, I see you. Amongst the debris. I wonder when I'm gonna get a new melee weapon. Oh, the game stuttered. Help me. It scared me. Like, I wonder when I'm gonna find the new melee weapon. Because, like, I've been using this Ripper for a while now, I feel like, and I just haven't found anything better than it. Where are you? I see you on my fucking compass. Is it upstairs? Maybe it's upstairs or downstairs? I don't fucking know. Whatever. I'm just gonna ignore it. I wanna go back and explore. There's some shit that I missed back here in the kitchen. Like more dead robots. There's also a gajillion empty bottles here. Good lord. Mute fruit. I used to call that mutt fruit when I first started playing this game. The mute fruit. I referred to it as mutt fruit for the longest time. Until the person in game actually like pronounced it correctly. And I'm like, oh, it's mute fruit? Oh yeah, because like mutant. It's, it's mutated. Oh, I understand now. But like mutt fruit kind of works too, yeah? Like mutt, you know? Like it's like a weird like it's like a weird mixture of like a bunch of different fruits. So it's like a mutt. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Listen. I'm going to try to justify that. I'm going to try to justify me calling it a fucking mutt fruit when I was younger. Mute fruit. Hello friend. Goodbye friend. I mean, there sure is a lot of, like, everyday shit in this fucking place. There's nothing really cool in here so far. Oh, hi. Can I help you? <laughs> I'm sorry. You want me to leave? Do you want me to... You, you, can, I, can I come through here? I need to go through there, buddy. I need... I need to go through here. Move. Thank you. I'm not... God, now I fucking feel bad about killing the rat roaches. 
They're not fighting back anymore. They're just staring at me. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I need the one XP. How did you get in there? Can I get in there? Oh, I can't get in there. Let me in. Hi. Is there anything cool back here? There's a leaf blower and a lawnmower blade. Great. I already have a fucking lawnmower in my hand. You can't eat rad roaches in case you're... I don't think I've ever looted a rad roach. Do you want to see it? You can loot them. You can take their meat. It's disgusting, but you can take it. <laughs> Y'all want some grilled rad roach? Mmm. Just full of protein. I like how the ripper just makes a constant noise, even when I'm in menus. I'm trying to think of what good melee weapons are in this game. Oh, here's a robot that isn't fucking destroyed, finally. Because, like, we were using a baseball bat. Hello? That was loud. I hear a radio. I hear fucking John Henry Eden shouting about shit. Uh huh. We met Colonel Autumn. He was a dickhead. Remember Colonel Autumn? He killed my dad. And then my dad killed him. Oh, he's on the radio right now. Yeah? When you see the enclave, you see the United States government. We are you shut up. <laughs> shut up, asshole. The enclave are not very fun people. They're real mean. They're real rude. They kind of just barged in here and started shooting people. My dad, specifically. <laughs> My dad's dead and I'm pissed about it. Excuse me. Why are there so many? Ooh, stealth boy. There we go. Why are there so many fucking cups everywhere though? There's like cups galore, like all over the place. Who the fuck? Does anybody at home put fucking cups on their bookshelves? I don't. Cups go in a fucking cabinet. They go in the cupboard. Hence the name cupboard. Cup cupboard. Cup cupboard. Cup cupboard. I never really thought about saying that word out loud before. Cupboard. C cupboard. <laughs> Good. Great. I'm gonna have a fucking existential crisis now about the word covered. There's nothing in here! It's just scorched books! If, the, if there were at least clean books, that'd be cool. I can get money for them. But it's just all destroyed. It's almost like some kind of fucking apocalypse happened. Is there anything good in here? Come here. No, come here. There's nothing in there. Piss. This one for sure though, right? Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Ooh. I found five dollars. It's something. Oh, I'm so glad that it fucking shows if things are empty in this game or not. Because when I streamed Oblivion, I was searching literally every single container when I played that game because it doesn't give you an indicator in that in that, in that game as to whether or not the container's empty or not. So you have to search every single box. Which I mean, to be fair, doesn't really add that much more time to it. But like, you'd have to see the stupid menu like way more often. Traffic calls a telephone. Why can't I pick the telephone up? Like, why can't I keep this? I want this back in my house. <laughs> I want the fucking phone. Crunchy crunch. Is there an upstairs? Oh, there was an upstairs. Okay, I was gonna say. Hold on. Was there anything in here? No, I was already in here. Or was I? Wait. <laughs> Oh, no, I haven't been over here yet. You're alive still. <laughs> I haven't been here. There's a living creature. Okay. There's a lot of free energy cells in here, which is good. Also, I'm going to, like, adjust my chair really quick. I'm, like, sinking slightly. My microphone's, like, blocking my fucking screen. There we go. Hey, buddies. Okay, well, Moira, bad news. <laughs> I didn't find any robots, but I did find a ton of mole rats. <laughs> I did find a ton of mole rats. So guess what we're doing? 
We're gonna open up an adoption center. Okay, hold on. Okay, there's a couple of robots in here. There's at least a few robots in. Ooh! Give me that. Fuck yeah. Thank you, please. Yes? I'm gonna read that immediately, actually. Wait, did I open this yet? I did. I'm gonna read that book right now. What is my medicine skill at currently? It's at 50. Well, it's about to be 52, motherfucker. There. Hell yeah. Okay, now we'll go upstairs. Because I think I thoroughly, hopefully, anyway, searched the bottom floor. There's more mole rats up here. Uh huh. I'm gonna. That looks important. I'm not gonna go there right now. We're gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna thoroughly search the rest of the floor. And then I will go in there. Hello. I regret to inform you, but you need. <laughs> I like how their fucking corpse goes flying every time I hit them with this. Yeah, I regret to inform you, Red Roach. You need to die currently. I'm sorry. I don't like it any more than you do, but you have to die. The compass marks you as red. That means you must die. I don't make the. I don't make the fucking rules. Is there a bobblehead in here? For some reason, my got high. Ew. Oh, fucking that motherfucker actually bit me. Put up a fight. That one bit me. But yeah, I remember there being a bobblehead in this building, but maybe I'm misremembering. I sure would like a bobble. Can you? Hey, can you come here? You're slightly too close to that mole rat. I don't. I don't want to accidentally hit the mole rat. Come here. Come here. Walk into my chainsaw. Thank you. <laughs> I was about to make fun of the AI for being stupid, but I mean, it's a fucking rat roach. Do you think a rat roach knows what a chainsaw is? No. Do I look like I know what a chainsaw is? I just want to take a bite out of that goddamn human. What a cool closet with literally... Well, there was a footlocker in there, I guess. I was about to say there was nothing in there, but... Excuse me. There's sure is a lot of blood in here. <laughs> like... A lot of, like, non-rad roach blood just fucking floating around in here. Is there anything... Every time I see a pile of books, I want to, like, search it thoroughly, because there might be a skill book in there. Or just a pre-war book. Like, a pre-war one that's not, like, fucking destroyed that I can give to... That lady who I can't remember the name of, and I feel bad, because <laughs> I can't remember her name. What the fuck was her name? The, the, the Brotherhood Lady. That wants to buy books. Can't be done, is that it? Did I search everything? I did. Cool, we're going in the middle room now. I'm gonna save my game real quick, because I remember having issues with this in the past. Ooh. In like older playthroughs of this game anyway. Like years ago I played this game, and I remember this like particular room having issues occasionally, so. <laughs> it's a good thing that I, oh, hold on, pre war book. I was just talking about that, thank you. Also, here's a box full of coffee cups. Now it's a floor full of coffee cups. Co coffee cups. I can't fucking speak. Coffee cups. You have any loot back here? What the fuck is the point of this? What? Why are there bits and doodads on the back of the machine? Are people? Are, are workers expected to come back here? Let me up. Let me up. Am I, am I trapped? Oh, good. Okay, good. All right. What the fuck is this bullshit? Do I want to leave it alone? No, I guess I'll just slap the widget on it? Yeah. Okay, that's what Moira wanted me to do. Now we can hack this bitch. <gasps> Poisonous. Fuck. <laughs> you like how I'm just flinging my mouse around trying to find the fucking thing? I'm not actually even looking for him, I'm just like flicking the mouse around. There we go, there's one. Like, I, I could just be on the lookout for brackets, but I'm like, nah. I'm gonna just flick the- is that the- I think that's the last one. Oh no, there's one right here. Boom. Oh, there's only one more. Presented. Wow, I did it! <laughs> can you- can you believe it that I guessed it when there was only one option left? I'm so fucking smart. Okay, what is this here now? Cease total liquidation? What the fuck? Congratulations on your transferal to the position of robot protocol operator. Your trusted co-workers will be the standard wait yeah, will be the standard protection on models stationed throughout the facility. Basic operation covers the day-to-day -day functionality, yada yada. Pest extermination encourages your co-workers to track and sanitize any roaches, rodents, or other undesired pests. 
Total liquidation removes your co-worker's humanoid safety protocols and is for use only in the unlikely event of criminal intrusion or communist attack. Robot shutdown allows you to temporarily retire your co-workers for their regular maintenance. Or in the case of accidental liquidation commands. Oh, okay. So I should probably cease the total liquidation? <laughs> Ceasing sequence combi attack. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. I hear shooting now, though. You're not gonna murder me, are you? They're murdering the mole rats. I can hear them. <laughs> I can hear the mole rats screaming. I'm sure they're fine. Oh, maybe I, ooh. Maybe I should have murdered the mole rats on the way in here. <laughs> that way these fuck, they wouldn't get murdered by robots, yeah? I don't know, whatever. It's fine. I got the bonus objective done too there, yeah? Is that what that said? Yeah, optional. Okay. Cool, we're done then. I can head back to Moira. Fuck yeah, that was easy. Commencing attack on <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna shoot me. I don't want, oh well. <laughs> Danger! Just got high! I really want to interfere and like protect the mole rats, but I, I think maybe I shouldn't piss off the robots. Yeah, I'm trying. Leave me alone. Yeah, maybe I'll just leave before uh, they, they, they fucking deem me a mole rat. Oh my god, they're fucking everywhere. There's like a ton of robots in here now. Good lord. Hi. Uh, how do I? Oh, there goes the mole rat. <laughs> there goes the mole rat. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Let's get the fuck out of here before I get shot. Hey, buddy. I can hear the turret going ape shit in the other room. Uh, I seem to have something hostile on my radar. I'm scared. What is it? Oh, it's a mole rat. Or a, a fucking, it's a rat road. How did you get past me? Did I just miss you somehow? Go away. There. Good job, turret. Did, did the fucking turret not see the rad roach? Whatever. We're good. Okay. Well, <laughs> this place is clean now, I guess. We, we got a brand we got a brand spanking new building we can come and fucking like infest. The humans can come here and fuck it up. Yeah, they can just claim it as their own. That is a big tower. Should I go there? Or should I go back to Moira? Also, hello. What the fuck? Oh, it's a dude. Hi. I was like, why is there a pile of robots here? Hello. Hello, stranger. Hoi. I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout the DC wasteland. Who's Joe? Uh, what are you selling? Various things. You never know what might come in handy. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> he has, oh, he has 14 scrap metal. Uh-huh. You know what? I might actually buy that. Give me your scrap metal. Fuck it. I'll buy it. I can, I can give them to the pro Professor Kazdin, yeah? A professor? Can't fucking pr protector Kazdin, not professor. I'll sell that 10 millimeters. I don't need that anymore. I have 13 grenades on me, apparently. Why do I have that many grenades? Fear, take them. <laughs> oh. He only has 70 caps. I understand now. I made a mistake. He only has 70 caps. Uh oh. Let's take those back. <laughs> Let's take, I'll sell you a couple of them at least, yeah? Here. Take some of these frag mines and like one of my grenades. How's that sound, bud? In exchange for your in, in exchange for your fucking your, your scrap metal, thank you. Thanks. Also, I can buy a robot. Apparently, can I buy one of these? Of course you would. Of course. Well, it just happens that I've got a beautiful deal on this customized gutsy. Mm hmm. And it's not just Mister Gutsy. He's a full-fledged sergeant. Oh. Sergeant RL3, to be precise, the pride of General Atomics International. Comes complete with a simulated personality unit, so he's good protection and good company too, and all yours for just one thousand caps. You can only have one follower. Oh, oh, is it still counting dog meat as my follower? Y you know, dog meat who's currently not here, who's back at Megaton. Is it counting dog meat as my fucking follower? I think it is. Good. Also, what do you mean by picky robot? General Atomics International programmed him to be a perfect soldier. And his simulated personality is designed to follow strict codes of conduct. Uh huh. It's just that some of these codes were a little less defined than others. So he won't travel with anyone he considers too extreme. Dude, I'm sick as fuck. And sadly, his version of too extreme seems to cover both sides of the coin. Slavers and saints alike. Oh. Sorry, pal. Oh. 
Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Later. I guess we can't get the robot. Hey. I serve you, master? Hey, you. I can't. Another glorious day in this man's army. I. How about? Move can you wait? Along, Shut the fuck up. Can you wait here? And then I'm gonna go like tell my dog to leave, and I'll. Because <laughs> apparently my dog is still my follower, which is really weird because he's not here currently. But sure. No, you're not gonna wait here. He's not gonna wait here. All right, never mind. Shut the fuck up. Well, we can we can buy a robot apparently. I guess if I happen to bump into that guy again. Okay, well, we're done with that. Though. Let's go back to Megaton. Right, no, actually, no, here, let's go to Fort Independence really quick and I'll dump off the scrap metal that I do have. Because <laughs> I just bought like 14 scrap metal. Let me go dump that off really quick. Sorry, I was clicking on something on my phone. I have my chat on my phone again today because I, I've learned that whenever I stream, uh, not Oblivion. Whenever I stream Fallout 3, I need to have like as few windows as possible open on my PC. <laughs> so I have my chat on my fucking, uh, my phone instead of my PC. Anyway, hi. Yeah, hi. Well, look who it is. What have you got for us today? A, a bunch of fucking scrap metal. Here. Let's see what you've got. Oh, and sensor modules, I forgot. Yeah, take these two while you're at it. It's practically junk, but we can get some use out of it. Good. How'd you like your payment? Ammo. There you go. Try not to use it all in one place. How much ammo do I get? I get 12 bullets? Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. 12 bullets for a sensor module? You fucking got it. Uh, and scrap metal. It's practically junk. Yeah, yeah. How do I get the same amount of ammo for that? I'm gonna wait for this to go away. It, it, this is gonna be up here in the control- or up in the- Yeah, how much ammo do I get for this? For two- oh, two scrap metal. He took two of it, not just one. Okay. Here's hoping you don't have to use it, but who am I kidding? Oh, so I get 12 for that too. Okay, cool. Yeah, just take it- fucking take it all. I don't need any rat away or stim packs right now, so I'm fine with that. I'd rather have ammo at the moment. Plus, I have like a. Ch oh, I can get 5mm ammo too. I didn't even realize that. I don't care about grenades. I, I have like fucking 17 on my person currently. Just give me that. But yeah, if I, if I need any more stim packs, I'll just fucking go grab the stuff out of my house and bring it here and get, get stim packs for it. How? Okay, goodbye. Okay then. <laughs> he's just like okay. <laughs> yep. This fucking he's like this fucking dude this, this dude just came up to me and gave me fucking like twenty pounds of goddamn scrap metal and sensor modules. How much ammo do I have now? How am I looking here? I oh, it appears I have two hundred extra rounds now. <laughs> Good. I can fuck some people up now. I have fucking ammo again. Hell yeah. There, now we'll go back to Megaton and I'm gonna fucking dismiss dog meat. Because I guess he still counts as my follower, even though he's not with me. He's waiting at my. Ha yeah, 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 mac and cheese for me. All of us here, thank you for everything you've done. Ugh. For us, for the waste, we pulled together and got you this. It's the best we could do. What did the town pull Please together? Let's see. With our thanks. Oh, hey, look, some more ammo. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Thanks. Okay. Well, at least they're giving me good stuff now. The first two times she ever ran up to me and gave me something, she gave me fucking... She gave me mac and cheese the first time, and then she gave me a fucking a bottle of dirty water the second time, so... Uh, <laughs> she didn't exactly set the bar too high. Also, hold on, we can put the strength bobble head on here too now, by the way. Boop. Look at that! Look at that little fella. Also, I didn't find a bobble head back at Robco. I hope there wasn't one there, because I did not see it. If there was one there, I'm dumb. <laughs> oh well. Also, dog meat. <gasps> Ooh, a good boy! You need to go away, by the way. Here, 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 come on. And now, uh, you need to go away. It's too dangerous here, here in this cushy, lovely home. <laughs> go away from me, Vault 101. Uh -huh. Yeah, get going, buddy. Get out of here. I'm sorry. But listen, I gotta get. I got. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh okay, okay. Goodbye, dog meat. <laughs> okay, yeah. So when you dismiss your followers in this game, they go back to like a set area, and dog meat set area is right in front of Vault 101. So if we ever want dog meat again, we can go grab him. He'll be there waiting for us. But uh, I, I guess I need to dismiss him. I thought if I had him wait here, it would allow me to get other followers. But I guess not. That's fucking late. I might just download a fucking mod to like, subvert that. <laughs> I might seriously just download a mod so I could have unlimited followers. It's good to see you alive and well, sir. Thank you, Wadsworth. Because like, I'm probably not going to use dog meat, but I would like him to be here at my house. You know, that'd be, that'd be nice to keep him here at the house. Instead of just by himself out in fucking Vault 101. It's lame as shit. 
Uh, here, take these. There we go. What am I doing here again? I came here to fucking... Oh yeah, we're going to Moira Brown, duh. Okay, do I want to drop anything off the house really quick while I'm here though? Not really, no? Yeah, no, I'm good. Fuck it, let's go. Let's head over to Moira. Maybe we'll find Jericho on the way there. <laughs> I'm still looking for Jericho. I want to fucking recruit that asshole. I want, I want a teammate. Where the fuck is he? Is he down there? Like, he just gone AWOL. I haven't seen him all fucking, like... All stream. What the hell is... What, what the fuck? Is he in here? <laughs> Moira, did Jericho come by here? Hello? Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? I did. Um... I reactivated the robots and I was able to modify their programming. Harnessing the technology of the past and modifying it for your own purposes? Mm -hmm. That's just the thing. Tell me all about how it worked out. Well, they murdered everything. Wait, hold on. Once I adjusted their programming, the robots were no problem. Even after reprogramming, the robots were as questionable value as allies. I, they were pretty useful. They killed the... They killed my Morat friends, but I mean, you know. They're still my friends at the end of the day. I just had the mainframe so the robots would be a challenge. That's not at all what I did, but guess what? I have to pick that one because I'm picking all the strength and the endurance ones because I want the fucking perk at the end of it. So we're picking that one even though it's a stupid fucking answer. Well, I wouldn't have guessed you had it in you. I did. But I suppose it worked out anyway. It did work out. Of course, I'll bet it helps to pack a few pulse grenades just in case. Here, have a few. Thank you. Oh, and take my book on science. For some reason, I just can't get into the computer parts. But I've got the rest pretty much memorized. Neat. Alright, then we got one more objective still. We have to go research local history, apparently. Yes, Rivet Cities in particular. It's the most successful survivor settlement around. But no one here really knows how it started. What? Of course. That's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. So I need you to go there and do some researching. Okay. Uh, uh, sure, let's just go. No, I'm gonna ask for a reward. <laughs> I'm gonna ask for a fucking reward because last time I didn't ask for a reward, I didn't get a fucking reward. You mean, apart from making sure we don't repeat our tragic failures in a never ending cavalcade of human pathos and suffering? Pathos? Let's say a big pile of mentats. Mentats. I got a shipment of those in recently. Do a good job, and maybe the people of Rivet City will reward you too. She's gonna give me some fucking candy. Sure. Yeah, sure. Let's just, I'll, I'll go there. Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down there. And check around to make sure you're hearing the real deal. I will. I'm gonna sell some shit to you first. Sure thing. We have to learn the history of Rivet City. That's that's my entire objective. We're just gonna go there. Okay. We're just gonna go there and learn about fucking Rivet City. Are y'all on the edge of your seats? I am. <laughs> I'm on the edge of my fucking seat. Do you want these? Do you, do you want these pulse grenades back, Moira? Here, take them back. I don't want them right now. You can have them. Oh, I just gave those to you. Yeah, you can have them back. You can have them back. This big book of science is useless to me because I uh, currently have max science. But oh well. I'll keep it. Same thing with the line congressional style. It's worthless because I have max speech. But like, I want to keep it because they're cool and I want to put them in my house. Some Mentats. Actually, give me one of those back. I, I, I want to carry one Mentat on me in case I ever need it. Because Mentats increase your perception by 5 and your intelligence by 5. Which I guess we don't need the intelligence at 1 anymore because our intelligence is already at 10. But who knows? Maybe we'll need 10 perception at some point randomly. <laughs> you never know. It's good to keep some Mentats on you. So like 5 of those. I'm going to keep all my right away because fuck you. i got to keep these for a different quest. I'm going to keep that for something later. Here we go. Also, one sec really quick while I click on something. I need to fucking adjust a thing really quick. I'll take like two seconds. Sorry. Pardon me. And then I go boom. I go over here. Bottom bank. Okay, we're good. Sorry about that. If I open... No, no. Fucking Discord. Go away. <laughs> I, I opened up Discord on accident. Fuck me. Okay, there we go. Continue. Here we go. What am I selling now? I'm going to keep the death claw hand. I have 30 pre-war money here. Take it. Yeah, fucking take my money. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sell one of those. Okay. Cool, cool. And should I sell my energy? I'm, I'm going to keep the energy cells. I'm not really hurting for money right now, so I'll keep it. Okay, cool. Goodbye. Wait, actually, do you have, do you have any ammo? That's a good question. You have armor. Why do you... 
you, you just you just have a suit of fucking T forty five D power armor here, Moira. You just you just selling power armor. Where'd you get that at? <laughs> Which where'd, where'd you get that at? Give me that. I'm gonna take that not because I need it, but because it's non brotherhood power armor and I want it for my collection. <laughs> because I need one of everything for some fucking reason. Uh, give me these. Three hundred eight ammo is always good. Shotgun shells are fucking goddamn blessing. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. Oh, 421. Hold on. Do I, have any, do I have anything worth one cap? I do. Wait. <laughs> this is the. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Hold on. I just want to do. I just want to make the funny number. Wait, what? I'm not 11. Penis. One. No, f I, I'm dumb as shit. Hold on. Oh, hold on. One more dart. Hold on. One more dart. This is not worth the time and effort to do this, but I'm, it's going to be funny to me, and that's all that matters. There we go. There. Look, it's it's a funny sex number. I did it, everybody. Good. <laughs> Good hunting. <laughs> Goodbye, Moira. The info you're bringing back is great. Looking forward to more. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Where the fuck am I going now? We're going to Rivet City, but also I want to go back to the house and dump my shit off that I'm carrying that's like currently useless. Also, this power armor that I just grabbed. I mean, I can wear the power armor. Yeah. I mean, it, it is better than my combat armor. Like, I could wear it. <laughs> also, again, it, it's non-Brotherhood power armor, so this one doesn't have the Brotherhood of Steel symbol on it. It's neat. In case you don't want to have the fucking Brotherhood of Steel You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and get my helmet. We're going to wear this for a little bit. I'm going to wear this for a little bit. Because why the fuck not? Do I want to, though, is the question? Maybe. Because I, I, I do like seeing my character. <laughs> I do like actually seeing my character that I made. And if we wear power armor, we won't, we won't be able to fucking see them. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it here. Just fucking go back in there. It's fine. I'm going to run around naked for a bit now. <laughs> I'm just going to run around in my fucking underwear like a freak. Also, because my helmet is almost destroyed. I have one brother. I have one fucking T45D helmet. It's almost destroyed. And I'd rather not break it. So I'll just keep it there. Oh god. Welcome back to Ojax or just fucking inventory management live on stream. Mute fruit. How many sugar bombs do I have? We need those for a thing later. Cause yeah, much like how we uh I was storing up pre-war books and shit earlier, and how I was storing up scrap metal and the like, you can also store up sugar bombs, because there's a dude <laughs> you can find later in the game that wants some sugar bombs. Hence why I'm collecting them. Excuse me. I'm gonna dump all my garbage in here. I have five. Oh, I got a burp. Ugh, I have five fucking stealth boys in my, in my goddamn inventory. Oh, I have two eight balls now, too, apparently. Great. <laughs> I, I didn't know I already had an eight ball. Fuck. Oh, well. Put these in there. Put that in there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're good. We're good. Lovely. Is this thing done making a compound yet? Let's see. It's completed a compound. What did it make? What, what did it make? Come on, tell me. Psycho. Oh, got some psycho. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna detoxify myself in case I'm already in case I have any addictions and I'll make a new one. There we go. Here's a repellent stick, by the way. I left it up here. Her disgusting green stick. It's just sitting there. <laughs> I just thought about, I, I I decided I would put it up here, next to my other disgusting green fucking chemicals. Let me get rid of my radiation. Heal my shit. Okay, good. We can leave now. We're good. This stuff is so useful. This stuff is so goddamn useful. I'm just double checking to make sure I didn't. Oh, yeah, stim, stim, stim boys. Stealth boys. I don't need fucking five stealth boys on me. I'm gonna store some in here. I like, I like to have one stealth boy on me, but like, I don't need fucking five. Okay, goodbye. Shoop. Okay, now we're gonna go back to Rivet City. And I guess I'll just fast travel there because we have been there before. And I don't really feel like walking all the way back there because it'll just be the same trip as last time where I fucking <laughs> follow the river. So I think I'll just fast travel there, yeah? Except for I'll go here. I'm gonna go here. Because there might be like some enemies here that I can kill for some free shit. Because sometimes enemies spawn here. Is there gonna be in here? Hello? Is a corpse here? <laughs> no? Okay. New enemies did not spawn. The talent company's fucking bodies are still here. Hi. 
take that. It's worth 100 caps. Why not? Also, is there going to be a vendor here? Nope. Sometimes there's vendors down here. Or traders, rather. There appears to not be any here right now, sad, sadly. Oh, we're going back in here now. I could probably... Well, no, I'm, I'm going to focus on doing Megaton-related shit during the stream. Well, I guess we have to explore this area for this... Yeah, I guess we have to. We'll, we'll check out Rivet City for a bit. But we're not going to go too into... I thought that lady was pulling her gun out to shoot me. That scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I thought she was pulling her gun out to shoot me. But yeah, we're going to go into Rivet City. We have to find out... Yeah, it just says learn the history of Rivet City. Okay, cool. Hey there. Hi. Whom's... Wait, what is this? Oh, market. Here we go. Let's see if they're selling any cool shit. Troublemaker. Have you seen any? Are you fucking following me? Leave me alone. Anyway, hi. Oh! Nice to see you. Hey, look who it is. Checking up on me or something? Kinda. Hi. How are you getting along now that you're not fucking living alone in a burned down shack in Grey Ditch where your dead dad is? Oh, Vera's the nicest lady ever. It's so cool that you brought me here. Yeah, I brought you I mean, here, definitely. she makes me do stuff, like clean up her hotel and all that. But she really cares about me. Plus, I found some friends here in Rivet City, too. All thanks to you. Well, that's good. Goodbye. See ya, mister. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't die on the way here. Are you okay? Nice to see you again. How's Brian? Can I talk about Brian? No? Oh, do you know anything about Rivet City's history, I guess? Well... I could tell you all about my hotel, but I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. Oh. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, hmm. but I really couldn't say I know for sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Okay. <laughs> Is there anybody who knows more? Actually, now that you Wait, mention what? it, Seagrave may know more about it. Oh. He's been here since he was just a boy. And I can't imagine anyone knows this ship better than he does. Okay. Also, do you like how I apparently completed the objective? Like, <laughs> the, the fucking objective for learn about Rivet City's history got completed, apparently? Like, I, I can go back to Moira right now if I wanted to. I could go back to Moira with the current information that I've been given and tell her, No, I don't know any of the history. Okay, what's it like living on a giant fucking boat? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. Oh. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. Dr. Lee's at the Citadel currently. What the, do, you, do you know about Dr. Lee? She like, she apparently knew my dad. And now my dad's dead. She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's not here currently. She's smart though. Real smart. Oh. Okay, goodbye. Farewell. Okay. Goodbye, Brian. I'm glad you're not dead. <laughs> Let me or a security a officer know if you see Don't anything get any out ideas. of the I'm not fucking stealing nothing. Calm down. Hi. This here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Okay. Aren't you afraid someone will use your own guns to rob you? I don't think that's a fucking thing to worry about in this day and age in this game. I feel like you. I feel like the guy can just shoot him, or maybe the fucking police officer standing two feet behind me can shoot him. What do you got for sale? Need to do some killing, eh? Maybe I just want ammo. And maybe weapons. What do you got? <gasps> what? Uh, oh. Uh, oh, you have an auto axe, do you? You 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 have you have an auto axe. Oh, how much does an auto? How much does my ripper weigh? My ripper weighs sixteen and does seventeen damage. Or, wait, no. No, it was 6, rather, not 16. Oh, do I want that? The auto axe is stronger, but, like, it also weighs fucking... Like, almost, like, three times as much. <laughs> oh, man. I want to use the fucking auto axe, but goddamn, it's heavy as shit. We got some Chinese assault rifles. Fuck yeah. Do you have any other cool shit? Just the auto axe? Should I buy an auto axe? It's only 100 cabs. And then I can sell my ripper. Or keep my ripper and like put it back in that. You know, here, take this. Because I don't need that. And then I guess give me the auto axe. Yeah, fuck, give me the auto axe. I'll take it. I'm sure I totally won't come to regret that. Because it does weigh fucking 20 goddamn pounds. Okay, give me ammo. Give me all that. 
And give, oh, give a hundred. Ooh, you have a lot of ammo, actually. Oh, you, you, he has 738 electron charge packs, apparently. Too bad I have no guns that use that. Shotgun tails, gimme. I guess I can just take all that. I, I do have a decent amount of fucking expose, or expendable income currently, yeah? Because I no longer am saving up for house parts. I have all the house furniture shit now, so I can actually spend my money. Fuck yeah, here, take that. Goodbye. Give me a shout if you need anything else. <laughs> did you know Paulie's an addict? Why the fuck can I say? <laughs> I mean, I guess we did learn that. We learned that from Vera last time we were here, but why the fuck would I just go around asking people that? Do you know the history about this place? Yeah, here. Do you, do you know anything about the history of this place? Fred, I can't help you, pal. I've oh. been here for years, but all I know about the history is that it's a safe place to settle down. Oh. Maybe Bannon can help you out. Bannon? He sure acts like he knows it all. Bannon? Bannendorf? The king of evil? If you need more ammo, this is where to get it. You, uh, yeah, it is the fucking place to get. I got so much ammo now. How much ammo do I have? Hold on. I got big boy ammo. Also, here's my auto axe. Should have my new weapon. <laughs> here's my new melee weapon for a bit. It's a, it's a fucking like weird bastardized chainsaw. Hey, look at this damn thing. It's, it's goofy as shit. Hey, look at it. Look at it. Just a weird ass chainsaw. Kinda. It's my new weapon now. We're gonna use that. Too bad it weighs like a gajillion pounds, but it's fine. <laughs> Look how fucking big it is, Jesus Christ. Uh. Alright. Where the fuck is so I can look for Bannon or Seagraves? Are you Bannon? You are Bannon. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. Bannon? I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. Yeah? I'm. I'm here to do business with you, dog. Straight to the point. I like that. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> this isn't what I meant. Oh, he sells clothes, though. Hold on. Y'all got the good good? Y'all got the like, good clothes here? He got some nice stuff. He's got a jumpsuit. There's some sexy sleepwear. <laughs> good. Great. Uh, No, I think I'm good. I'm here to talk to you about the history of this place, though. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, River City's history. Why, I practically set this whole place up. Uh -oh. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Are you sure about that? Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead-enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? What? <laughs> yeah, hasn't Rivet City been around for longer than 12 years? Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. Uh -huh. That's all ancient history now. No one uh -huh. would ever care about it. I care. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Belle Bonnie. You're a very rude person. Goodbye. It's been a pleasure, I guess. <laughs> Come back soon. I wouldn't say it was a pleasure, but sure. Yes? Burr, who the fuck are you? Haven't run into you before. You probably wouldn't remember me anyway. I'm Mr. Lopez. I haven't met you. Hello. Yeah, why wouldn't I remember you? Nobody does. I'm not very memorable. Don't worry. It won't be a problem for much longer. And then... Oh, oh, okay, I guess I gotta go now. I'm kind of concerned about you, but I guess I have to go because it's my only fucking dialogue option. Whatever. Good to see you. There was some are, you, are you okay? Just leave me alone. Are you... Can I ask you about Rivet City's history? Why bother? <laughs> There's never anything good in the past. All right, fine. Just leave that sort of thing alone. Okay. Just leave me alone. J God, okay, fine. Goodbye. I'll just stay here alone. You just told me to leave you alone. Oh, fine, whatever. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Lopez. Where the fuck is C... Are you C. Graves? No. Thank you. Oh, do you sell drugs here? Oh, you do sell drugs. <laughs> Can I get... Oh. Can you two shut the fuck up? I'm talking to myself. Hi. That's Are, secure oh, you're for a reason. I'm not trying to steal anything, Sugma. Howdy, I'm Seagrave. Howdy. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. Do you have any history here? You got T-51B? What do you got for sale? I've got a little bit of everything. Do you have information? Oh, you have ammo. Fuck yeah, hold on. <laughs> he does have ammo. And armor, very cool. He got some potato chips. Y'all like potato chips? Give me that. I really need sniper ammo. I'm very low on that. And more shotgun ammo. And that'll be good. I don't really care about buying this right now, so that'll be good for now. Okay, goodbye. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh. I 
Holy fuck, I forgot about the fucking android thing. God, remember that? <laughs> remember, remember the fucking android that's apparently on the loose somewhere that we gotta find? I completely forgot about that quest. Let's just ignore that for the time being. Uh, tell me about the history of this place. Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. Oh. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. What? But I never really cared about the politics. Came out the pussy fixing shit. All right. <laughs> Vera spoke very highly of you. She did, Teddy. Good. That is true. What can you tell me about the reconstruction? Oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage, especially where the mire lurks used to nest, and where the super mutants kept trying to get in. Mm -hmm. I guess the mutants and the mires got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time we needed to make this place ship shape. Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway, we're here in Rivet City, and she's in good hands now. Cool. D is there fucking... Is there anybody else that might know more? Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton. And he must have left about a decade ago. Good. After that spat with the science team. He used to have a storage shed in the broken-off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Oh, yeah? He might have kept a couple records down there, I Ooh. guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. Okay. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> it's... Oh, right. I sort of lose track of time talking about the old girl. Okay, sure. Great. We have two leads now. Goodbye. See you later. I'm going to go, probably go talk to that Bell. What the fuck's her name? Bell Bonnie or some shit? She works at a... Are you her? Hello? I'll You're not her. You. I'm not I'm not here to talk to you. <laughs> I'm looking for... He said they were down. He said down, right? Yeah? Not the flight deck. How do I go downstairs? I gotta go find the fucking lady in charge of the bar. I'm gonna go talk to her, and then if she doesn't have anything for me, I'm gonna go head to... The bow of the ship, I guess? Or the stern? What the fuck? Did he say bur Did he fucking say bow or stern? I forgot what the fuck he said. Either way, we have to go check out, like, one of the fucking ends of the ship. Good to see you. And look for a felon in Pinkerton. You, you care if I pick this lock two feet in front of you? It says... <laughs> it doesn't say it's bad to pick it. This one's bad to pick. It's... I'm gonna pick that lock. <laughs> I'm gonna pick this lock. If if for anything but just just the just the XP that I get for it. There we go. I got 60 fucking experience for that goddamn. Okay, cool. What do you got in here? Anything? Sleep in my bed. I Okay. <laughs> I guess I can't sleep in my bed. <laughs> oh, oh, I could probably fucking rent this room. Oh yeah, never mind. Ignore me. I could probably rent that room. Oh, so, hey there. Hi, how do I get downstairs? Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. Yeah, welcome. I'm trying to find the fucking bar. <laughs> Where's the bar at? I'm not going there to get shit faced, I promise. I'm just I'm looking for information. Have you seen any? No, why are you following me? I guess I'm following you actually. Here we go, downstairs. That's not it. Stay chill, dude. You too, dude. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck you are, but you too. You got some, you got some piss on the floor there. What do you have? Oh wait, there, there you are. Hi. You're a new one. Hi. I'm Bell Bonnie of the Muddy Rudder. Make it quick. I'm here to fucking <laughs> nice place you have here. What the? What? These are both. Eh. Is this stuff safe to drink? Probably not. What do you have? I'm here for information. Why am I able to talk about this with every single character? I can tell every single person here has the option to talk about how this dude's addicted to fucking chems. Jesus. Yeah, do you know any stories about this place's history? History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Yeah. Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. God. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. You people don't ever- hold on. I bet someone like you hears a lot of stories. Can, can you share one? No, I can't fucking well share one. God damn it. <laughs> what sort of moron are you? I'm gonna punch you in the it's dick. Fine. It'll get you out of my face. Yeah. Go down to Pinkerton's shed in the broken off bow of the ship. Oh, that's well, just the same. He decides mm. to give you a history lesson. It's no business of mine. 
Now get the hell out of my bar. Thanks, asshole. Well, there you go. Now we have even more reason to go there. How do, oh, it's that guy again. Hello! <laughs> Hello! He says as he gets fucking pushed down the... Who, oh, you're his bodyguard. I, lo I fucking love the NPCs in these stupid games. The NPCs in this game aren't as goofy as they are in Oblivion. Like, Oblivion was just fun to watch everybody fucking walk around and just be dumbasses constantly. This game's slightly less good in that regard, but it, it's still good, though. I love just watching the NPCs just exist in this game, because they don't know how to exist. Okay, so I want to go to the front of the ship? Is that where my marker's telling me to go? Yeah, because that's just back in the ship where I just was talking to people, and that's all the way back at Moira, so I guess... Yeah, here's... The, we're gonna go in here? Sure. Can I... Y'all mind if I just yeet myself? Okay, that guy just disappeared. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump off the bridge. Whee! I hope this is deep water. Good. Thank fucking Christ. <laughs> Let me just swim around with a chainsaw strapped to my back. Oh, hello, what's this? I can't breathe underwater. I'm a moron. I am so... Oh my god. I'm. So, this is gonna sound really stupid. I forgot that you can't breathe underwater in this game. And the reason I forgot that is because I'm so used to playing... The last, the last Bethesda game I played was Oblivion, and I was an Argonian in that game. <laughs> and Argonians can fucking breathe underwater. I forgot I can't do that. I forgot that I'm not an Argonian in this game. Can I? Where am I going? There's a bridge up here. Hold on, can I go in here? Does that lead to the front of the ship or the back? Wait, wait, is it the front of the ship or the back? I can't fucking tell. Okay, there's a door there. Here we go. Hold on, can I get in there? Let me just soak up all this fucking radiation really quick. Eh. Oh, there's also... Hold on, what the fuck's going on over there? That's the Jefferson Memorial. Yeah, we haven't been there in a while. The fucking Enclave showed up and like stole every... Or, like, yeah, they set up shop here, I guess. They erected a bunch of fucking... Energy barriers? The hell is this shit? <laughs> can I... Can I get past them? Can I like sneak in here and grab their shit? I probably shouldn't be doing this. I should, probably, I should probably come back here later when I'm supposed to come back here, but like, what? Hello. Oh god, listen to it. It hums. You hear that? It's like penetrating my fucking ears. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. Ew. If you have headphones on right now, just... Ew, I don't... <laughs> did that make anybody else uncomfortable? I did not like that. Ah. That makes a weird fucking noise. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go in here, then. There's a bridge leading up to it and everything. How fucking convenient. Very nice. I'm also gonna save my game before I go in there, because, you know, it's Fallout. The boat just mooed at me. <laughs> the, the boat just made weird fucking boat noises at me. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay, well, I can pick the lock at least. See, this is why this is why I dump all my points in the lock picking in science, because you never know. You never fucking know when you're gonna have to suddenly pick a very hard lock. Piss. Because otherwise, I'd be locked out of here. I hear Meyer lurks, and I'm apparently in caution currently. I can hear it walking around, and I'm kind of fucking terrified. Um, shotgun, shotgun. Hello. Loot? Hold on, there's some loot here. Also, there's a frag mine here. That's weird. Magnum. Uh huh. Stim pack. Oh, I can unlock the door from the inside if I needed to. Too bad I don't fucking need to. Hello? Oh, there's like gas in here, I can tell. You know what? I'm gonna fucking hold on. I am going to yeet a grenade in there. <laughs> Fire in the hole, dickhead. Just to clear the gas out, yeah? Just to get the gas out of the way. And maybe take care of those Meyer lurks. There we go. I it didn't seem to take care of it though. I don't uh I can still hear him walking around. I don't think that worked. Did it at least hurt the Meyer Lurk? Hurt the lurk? Oh, I'm in danger. <gasps> that did nothing oh. to the minor lurk, as a matter of fact. Stop it, you're ugly. I'm still in danger. Give me your meat. 
Give me your succulent crab meat. Juicy crab meat. Hello? Oh, you're a big one. Oh. <laughs> but your pathfinding is fucking garbage. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I called your pathfinding garbage. Do I even need to be afraid? Yeah, I do. I don't think he can go past the staircase, though. It's a I, I lied. I lied. I lied. It was a fucking... Get away from me. Yeah. <laughs> the staircase is on the other foot now, bitch. Wait, can I... Wait, hold on. Wait. Perfect opportunity. Wait, hold on. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I get him through the wall? Oh, kind of. I'm chunking. It's not doing any damage, though. He's not taking any damage from this. There's blood coming out. <gasps> he, he teleported. Hmm. Well, this is a predicament, huh? Hmm. Let me stab a couple of these into my fucking arm. There we go. It just teleported into me. I love how the game can't handle the Mirelurk walking around indoors, so it just teleports it. <laughs> Great. The game's like bullshit. The Mirelurk is trying to murder the player, but the Mirelurk can't move. What do we do? I'll just fucking teleport him. J just teleport the Mirelurk. Teleport it directly on top of the player's position. Okay, there we go. Fuck. Okay, are we good now? Is there any more Mirelurks I should know about? I hear lots of weird, like, ambient drip drop noises. I don't know if anybody else can hear that. I got a headset on, so it's like, things are like louder for me, but... Oh, <laughs> why is there... <laughs> okay, there's just a fucking armed landmine sitting on a table. Ooh, more landmines, fuck yeah. Free goddamn money. Uh, oh. Oh, I see. Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... My fucking repair skill isn't high enough still. Oh my god, fine. I can at least disarm that. I wish I could fucking disarm these though. I want the ammo out of them. And the shot I'm pretty sure you can take the shotgun out of it too to repair your like repair my shotgun with. What did this trip mine? What did this one do? You see this? There's a trip wire here. I wonder what that one did. Did my grenade set it off? Maybe. Hello? N knock knock, it's Knuckles? Oh, it's a friendly on my radar, hold on. Is that the Pinkerton fellow they told us about? Let me up. I'm stuck? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I got stuck on top of the- Leave me, let me out! Fucking Christ, this game's geometry, help me! There's a mob. Can I take this mob? I want it. There sure is a lot of just literal garbage laying around here. There's also lots of milk. <laughs> There's like a shitload of milk bottles. Y'all got any scrap metal? Fuck yeah, you do. Okay, that switch activated that door apparently. Weird. There's a, oh, that's a trap terminal. Hold on, do you see that? You see that dumb little antenna coming out of the back of the terminal? That means it's trapped. Ah, activate rear panel. My fucking explosives isn't high enough, so never mind. I can't disarm it. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it would be science based. Also, I'm trapped. I'm, I'm currently trapped. I can't move. <laughs> I'm gonna do a BLJ. Hold on. Come on, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. BLJ. I swear to God. I'm like actually stuck here. I'm not I'm like actually not joking. I'm stuck here. Help me. God, fuck my ass. Hold on. Let me whip out the old console commands. So I can float out of here. There we go. God, I remember playing this game on console on the 360 when I was younger. And if you got stuck, you were just fucked. <laughs> if you were playing this on console, you were just completely fucked and you had to reload your save. Not here though. On, on, on PC, I can cheat. I can type, I can press buttons and fucking make myself do things that I can't normally do. Oh, oh these are stealing. Hello? Oh. Hi. P Pinkerton? Is that you? Excuse me, I'm gonna save before I talk to this man. <laughs> Wait, shoot me. Hello? Horace. How the hell did you get in here? Bah. 
<laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. I almost died. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. I'm here to learn about history. <laughs> Actually, no, what are you doing here in this wrecked part of the ship? I live here. Oh. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. Monkey. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. I wouldn't say that. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. Uh-huh. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. Okay. <laughs> what, what kind of work do you do in here? The secret kind. Oh. Well, if you must know, I'm an electrician and computer expert. And I'm a bit of a surgeon. Ooh. Really, the most gifted scientist you'll find. Aren't you fucking <laughs> Dr. Sexy? I'm the guy that got Rivet City up and running in the first place. Oh. And after all that, Lee and her gang of flunkies pushed me out. Ha. <laughs> Project Purity, indeed. What a bunch of morons. They can't even clean some water. I know, just put soap in the water. It's so fucking easy. Okay, tell me, you gotta know about the history of this place, then. Yeah, you're old. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers oh, up on. topside. Now get going. Oh, come on, dickhead. <laughs> but, but you've been here for so long, you must know something. It's for a book about the wasteland. I mean, he probably is the only one that knows the truth about it, so fuck yeah, tell me about it. You're the one who knows. Ha. Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. Uh-huh. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Reprobates. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. I can. That's what I'm fucking here for. Yeah, setting the record straight is exactly my goal. For that... You have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the Meyer Lurks off this wreck. About 40 years ago. Uh-huh. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Why was Everything first... else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. Uh-huh. Yeah, how'd you end up in here then if you used to be in charge? That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. Ah. She even took my seat on the council. <laughs> By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. She, she just, like, physically took his fucking seat away from him. Like, she, she, like, picked it up and just stole it and was like, This is mine now. Um. Yeah, what do you know about Project Purity? Who cares? God damn it. It's some hydroponics pipe dream that Lee has been working on forever. Waste of time and effort, I say. My fucking dad Apparently, died though, trying to... Make, my okay. teams cared more about it than they did about little things like defense systems or making this ship float again. That'd be dope. Treacherous bastards, all of them. <laughs> I can't imagine why she'd be more popular, even assuming this is all true. What are you suggesting, you little brat? Yeah. I may not be on the science team anymore, but I still know how to keep records. Good. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. It probably will, thank you. I appreciate that. Here we go. Rivet City Historical Records. Fuck yeah, and now we got the optional thing done. We did it. We learned about the history of this shithole. Don't let your guard down. You too. I'm gonna loot your house. <laughs> I'm gonna loot your house really quick before I leave. Y'all got any good shit in here? I'm gonna turn my flash on. Hold on, here we go. Excuse me. Now, it's all marked as stealing, so I can't do it in front of him, but, you know, I, I can do a little sneaky, sneaky, nabby stuff when he's not looking, yeah? I can't search this filing cabinet for some unknown fucking reason, okay. You got a bath? You got a fucking nice house back here, dog. You got a couch? You got a CRT? You can play Melee back here? You got a bathtub? <laughs> I love the refrigerator's, like, right by the couch. <laughs> nice fucking house, dude. He's got a bathtub in here. 
I wish my fucking house had a bathtub. Do you have any good loot, though, is the question. That's some scrap metal. I don't feel like stealing that, though. Some blood bags. Stealth boy. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it's a copy of Dean's electronics right here. I think I'll just, uh, I think I'll borrow that real quick. There you go. There's also a big book of science here, but, um, uh, I don't need science anymore because I have a hundred of it, so I won't steal that. Oh, his bottle caps here, too. Ooh. I should probably turn my flashlight off while I'm down here fucking stealing his shit, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'm gonna... He doesn't need these anymore. It's not like he goes out anywhere. He's, he stays in here all fucking day. He doesn't need bottle caps. Oh no, my karma went down. Whatever will I do? Also, you can have your fucking... Did I just take his lunchbox? Yeah, take your lunchbox back. I don't want it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna read that book immediately so I don't lose it. and get my repair skill up. Hell yeah. Do you have any other cool shit in here? Can't hack that. No? Okay, why is there a fucking dead bot? You know, I did... Oh, I I'm sorry, you're not dead. Yes, hello! <laughs> I'm just hanging around. Don't mind me. Help me, please. Pinkerton murdered me. He tied me up to the... No, don't leave. Where are you going? No, please. Come back. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna leave now. Okay. I don't know why there was a dead body in there, but sure. There was just a fucking... There was just a skeleton in this fucking room. Oh well, we're leaving. I'm not gonna ask questions. I came here to get information about Rivet City, and that's what I fucking got. Now we can head back to Moira, and then we'll be- I think we're done with the Wasteland Survival Guide. I'm pretty sure that's the last thing. If I remember correctly. Oh my god, it's fucking dreary outside right now, yeah? Hold on, there was a thing up here I wanted to look at really quick before we leave. I saw like a bunch of cars over here. Like, is there any, like, loot? I saw, like, a, like a car fort. Like, somebody, like, built a fort out of cars, it looked like. Yeah, what is this? Hello? Is this another town? Is it just more super mutants? I can't wait for it to be more super fucking super mutants. Shoo! There, it's just a, there's a plane here. It's, oh, it's just a big parking lot. There's nothing here. Oh, hold on. There's a Pulowski fucking preservation chamber thing here. What's in here? It's always a, it's like a little fun surprise grab bag when you open these up. What do you got for me? Oh. This one's fucking... This one's fucking empty. Oh. Great. There's really nothing here then, huh? Just a dreary skyline of fucking destroyed buildings? Okay. Well, <laughs> we're gonna head back to Megaton then real quick. Save my game. Why is my autosave look like that? I'm gonna save my game. That travel back to fucking what you call it? Back to Megaton. Okay, cool, cool. My fucking help! Help me! Stop! My chair's my chair's not cooperating with me. Help! Chair, please. Why did you do? Okay, thank you. It works now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go take a nap at the house real quick because it's nighttime and the store is not open. So I'm gonna go here, take a nap real fast. And then we'll head over to Moira, and then I- Yeah, we'll be done with the Wasteland Survival Guide, I believe. And we should get a really neat perk. Because I've been choosing all the Strength and Endurance options. Let's just take a- Let's just take a fucking 11 hour nap, sure. That's what I fucking do when I get home from work half the time, and I fucking wake up, and, I, and I'm like, Oh, I need to be streaming right now. I did not do that today. I came home from work today, and I actually, like, did productive shit. <laughs> I got home from work and, like, did stuff, and then I just- I was like, cool. I didn't fall asleep for once. I can go stream. I wish there were more people <laughs> like you in the world. Yeah? I want you to have this. I hope it helps keep you safe. Oh, hey, guess what? Hey, everybody, I want you all to know something. I want you all to know something right now. My chat just started working. I just, I want you all to, I was, I was really confused because I've been streaming for two hours and I haven't seen a, I see, I saw one chat message at the start of the stream. I saw one chat message at the start of the stream. And I was really confused as to why I wasn't seeing any chat messages. I just, I, I had to touch my phone because I'm watching, I'm looking at chat on my phone and uh, I can see chat now. Hi everybody, you guys have been talking this whole time. I'm an asshole. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Hi everybody. 
I'm a dickhead. Yeah, I, I just thought nobody was talking. I was like, oh, no one's talking tonight. I saw I, there was people. I, like, I saw the viewer count. I was like, oh, there's people here. Just no one's talking tonight. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I can see you now. Hello. I'm an asshole. <laughs> bless you. Yeah, bless me. What did, she, what did she even give me? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, fuck it. I, I'm glad I checked that because I was like, why the fuck is no one talking? <laughs> I'm like... I'm like, I know I'm a boring guy, but why is no one's talking? How come no one's talking? I was like, oh, well, at least, I was like, at least they're here watching me. It's something. Okay, well, yeah, we're here now. Hi. What the fuck are you guys talking about? I don't want to look at this. Yeah, God, you guys were talking. I'm a dickhead. Oh. God, I'm a penis. <laughs> also, hi. Welcome. Also, I'm glad you like that toe dial, by the way. Also, thank you. Did Yeah, you like my hat? Are you talking about this hat right here? Was this the hat you were talking about? I'm sorry, I just saw your message about the hat. You're talking about this hat that I'm currently wearing? I love this hat. It's good. I love this hat. Yeah, hi there. I'm glad you also I'm glad you like the Totodile emote. Yeah, there's a new one now even. There's two new emotes. You got the Totodile, and you got the Mario emote now, and then you got the fucking Kabu one that I just added yesterday. <laughs> I just added a Kabu emote. I might change Yay! it. Book's coming along well, thanks to you. Yeah. What's next? I might change the combo emote because I'm not sure about it yet, but I do have that now. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Yes. Oh. Rivet City is actually the remains of an ancient underwater civilization. No, I'm... <laughs> yeah. After a lot of searching, I got the real history of Rivet City. Aha! Uh -huh. Not bah. just as easy as asking around, was it? It wasn't. Good information takes real work to uncover after all. Mm hmm So, tell me all about it. Well, it began as a successful science station and traders settled around it. Uh-huh. It began as a research station. Uh-oh. It began as a research station, which is why it's still a scientific haven. They cleared out the Meyer Lurks and the science folk ran it. Are they cleared out them there fucking Meyer Lurks and them science folk showed up? Some old coot says he took some notes, or took these notes. They seem reasonable. Yeah, we're going to do the strength one again. It's not a very good one. We're going to do it. <laughs> Thank you for posting the combo emote. Yeah, I haven't seen that. I haven't actually, like, seen it used in chat yet. I, I, I'm still thinking about keeping it or not, because it's kind of like... I had to crop it really weird, because, like, that, that picture of buff Kabu is, like, really fucking big, and he doesn't, he, he, he doesn't fit very well in a regular emote size. <laughs> so I had to crop it. It looks okay. I don't mind it. Anyway, strength. I'll bet they used some sort of chemical device to drive off the Meyer Lurks. Or a sonic device. Combo sonic. Anyway, I guess it worked pretty well. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Big. Uh, speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. The next time you've got to be quick on your wits. Mentance? Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. What? You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Oh. I wish I would have gotten that discount before I spent hundreds of caps on ammo when I was <laughs> when I was there. Fuck. Well, I guess I have a permanent discount there now. That's kind of good. Too bad I too bad I just spent like 500 fucking caps. Oh well, whatever. Gumbo. Also, so yeah, my my chat's being really weird. Right, I have to keep touching my phone to make it appear. That's so. Why is it doing that? Normally, when I have my chat open on my phone, it just like scrolls by itself. But I have to keep my fucking weird. It's fine. I'll, I'll keep poking my phone occasionally. <laughs> anyway, are we done with the last chapter now? Yep. That's the last bit for the toughest survival guide in the wastes. Survivors of the world rejoice. And everyone else too. Uh-huh. For all your hard work, I want you to have this mini nuke. Uh, oh. I kept meaning to use it to dig a well. But honestly, it just makes me nervous. Don't use... Now, uh... I just need to do a few <laughs> last tweaks and it'll be ready to print and distribute. Thanks for all the help. Okay. Let me guess, you need me to go and print distributor, right? It certainly was an epic piece of work. Epic! So is the, is the final product worth it? I hope so, I nearly killed it. Do I, do, I, do I have to go print it? Do I have to go print it? So cynical. Oh? No, no. I can take care of all that with the few traders I know. Oh. What makes you think I'd force you to handle something so dangerous? Now you should just lie back and bask in the praise for helping with the book. Thanks, dog. All right. So is, is the final product worth it then? Oh my! It's it's brilliant. Even I'm astounded by my genius. Oh no! Oh, oh no, yeah. No, it's more than that. By 
our genius. Our. I'll share these with the traders, and soon everyone will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide. Hell yeah. But now, <gasps> the very first copy of our book goes to you. Oh, but what? It wouldn't nearly be as good without your input. You're the real Wasteland Survival Guru. Thank you. I gained karma, and now let's see if my perk shows up. Okay, as a result of your painstaking research, your survival skills have been improved. Neat. Oh, I leveled up. Cool. Also, I still never figured out why my pop-ups are showing up up here. Like, in the top left. Like, usually, when you get, like, an important pop-up, it, like, t it, it shows up in the middle of your screen, and you have to, like, actually confirm that you see it. Like, a, a little box will show up you have to click on. I don't know why they've been appearing up here. I don't know what mod is causing that. I kind of hate it, but it's fine. I, I'll just deal with it being up there. Okay, well, anyway, goodbye, Moira. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Goodbye. Cool, we leveled up. And now we're done with that. We're, we're completely done with the Wasteland Survival Guide. Hell yeah. You made an Oblivion mod that changes the Daedra texture so you can... You can summon a scum totem. That's fucking dope! You can summon a totodile and fucking... up. That's amazing. I love that. <laughs> that's, that's like actually fucking awesome as shit. Cool. I wish I fucking had that during my playthrough. Cause, okay, cause when I played Oblivion, oh, hold on, Kabu, hold on, Kabu, real quick, Kabu, 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 Kabu. But see, I wish I had that mod when I was playing Oblivion. Cause when I streamed that game, I had, I had a, a Daedra that I summoned all the time. It was I had the, I had the summon Daedra spell that I use all the time, and uh, I named it because I use console commands to name it, and I named it after my fucking Feraligatr from my Pokemon playthrough. <laughs> so like, that would have been perfect. If I had a, uh, if I had a skin to make it look like a Totodile, that would've been fucking perfect. Anyway, there's Kabu. Here, there he is. There you go. There's, <laughs> there's your Kabu for tonight. Kabu. Kabu, Kabu. Oh, okay, continue. Oop. Okay, here we go. What are we doing now? I still have 20 more points to put in. Um, I should get my repair up, yeah? You jacked that the fuck up. Um, Barter is kind of who fucking cares about that right now. My energy weapon is so goddamn low. Oh, it's not good. Hmm. Uh, melee weapons is good to get up too, but like I don't really need it up at the moment. I'm gonna get some sneak. Give me some more repair while I'm at it. Actually, just give me a fuckload of repair. That's good enough. Yeah, let's just do that here. Let's go for 60 repair and I'll keep my shitty 39 sneak. Okay, cool. What am I doing now? I had to, yeah, there's only one option. I had to redo my entire Oblivion playthrough. You're right, fuck. I gotta do it. I have to replay the entire thing. I'm gonna pretend like I never played it either. I'll, I'll replay the entire game, but just pretend that I've never played the game before. And I'll act surprised by everything that I see. What perk do I want then? Um, Should I do intense training again? <laughs> should I just go for intense training, but again? Uh. Fucking, I could a gun nut wouldn't be too bad because that would give me more repair and small gun skill, yeah, but. Hmm. Child at heart is I don't care. That's also weird. I don't like the I don't like I don't know. <laughs> I don't like child at heart. It weirds me out. Iron fist? No. Why would you ever take this perk? Oh no, you do oh no. Oh, it increases your damage. Oh, and it you know, I thought I just gave you five points in the unarmed skill, but no, it actually increases your just your base damage by five. That's pretty fucking dope. If I was playing an unarmed character, how would that be? If, if I was playing as my character from Oblivion, I would love that. I used to beat the fuck out of people in Oblivion with my fists in that game. Oh, what do I want? Anything? Do I, do I want some rad resistance? I think I'll just slap a fucking... I'll, I'll get size mad. I'll slap that on. There's 15 points of big guns. Why not? Give me that. Thank you. Okay, cool. And we're done. We're done with the Wasteland Survival Guide, so we got... She gave she gave us a copy of it. Right? Where is it? Yeah, right here. We, we have the Wasteland Survival Guide in our pocket now. And we got the notes for it. We'll ignore... Oh, yeah, hold on. So to make a Deathclaw Gauntlet, I need Wonder Glue, a Leather Belt, a Medical Brace, and a Deathclaw Hand. I think I have all that? I think I have all that back at the house, yeah? With this weapon, your unarmed, in quotation marks, attacks will have the ferocity and armor-shredding power of the Deathclaws. Uh huh. Rivet City Council. I don't care about this shit. Wasteland Survival Guide. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Lead author and subject matter expert. Johnny. Oh, I'm the lead author, am I? Uh, oh, and Moira Brown's the assistant author. Good. Wow, how nice of her to say that. 
<laughs> How fucking nice of her to say that. This indispensable guidebook contains everything that a survivor in the wasteland could need to know. Every page contains a gem of brilliant insight into how to survive in the waste, thrive among its denizens, and revive your survivor community. The spirit of vitality and determination practically radiates from the pages of this guide, and one cannot read it without feeling prepared for whatever the future offers. There we go, and I'll show you what the perk we got. So again, every time she gives you one of those options to pick, like a dialogue option when you finish a, uh, where's it at? Sorry, here we go. Yeah, whenever she, at the end of every quest, when she gives you that option where you can pick a bunch of different goofy dialogue options, the ones you pick determine what perk you'll get at the end. And the reason I picked all the strength and endurance ones is because now, is because now, you wrote the book on how to survive in the wasteland and have sh shared your secrets with humanity. You've gained plus six bonus, or yeah, a plus six percent bonus to poison resistance, radiation resistance, and damage resistance. That's pretty neat. I like that one. <laughs> I think the other options you could have gotten were like, uh, if you pick all the standard responses, you just get a you just get a straight health increase, which is cool, I guess. But I don't really care about having more health. And then if you pick all the like asshole like snarky remarks, you get extra critical chance, which is kind of cool. Like extra critical chance is kind of neat, I guess. But I don't really care for that. It's like whatever. And then if you pick like all the sciencey ones, um, you get extra medicine and science skill, but like I don't need that, so who cares? So I, I, I wanted the damage resistance, that's what I cared about. So, I have higher damage resistance now. Fantastic. Just a permanent straight damage resistance upgrade. It's very fun. And I got a free book! I got a fancy- you wanna see the book? Here! <laughs> you wanna see the dumb book that I got? It's right there, look at it. Look at it. It's got a skull on it. It's got Sans Undertale on the cover. <laughs> oh. Oh, it says something on the back, but I can't fucking read it. It's, it's too- it's like a, it's too blurry, it's illegible. And then you flip the page over and it's like... <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Give me. Good. Sweep. Okay, well we're done with that now. And again, as the title of the stream suggests, we're gonna keep doing some more Megaton quests while we're here. We're just gonna run around town and just do a whole bunch of quests here in Megaton. See what we see what we can and cannot get done. You know, there's one I want to do really quick. There's a pretty short one we can do that takes place right here in town that I would like to get done. So I'm gonna do that. Where am I gonna? What am I doing here? <laughs> I like how you can see me like flailing my fucking cursor around trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm just gonna dump all my shit in here really quick and I'll just I'll sort through it later. Why do I? Have, where the fuck did I get cram from? Where does all this food come from? Ah, oh, piss my ass. Okay, I'm gonna put that in there. I'll, I'll fucking set that up later. Put that in there. I got some weapons I gotta put away. How's how's the radio going? Is three dog on, on tunes? I don't care. <laughs> that was probably copyrighted music. Oh! The laboratory's completed a compound. What is it? What do you got for me? Mentats! Cool, let's make some more shit. I'm just gonna do it every time I come in here. It's pretty much just free money. Cause like, I'm probably not gonna use the, uh... The drugs that come out of it. I might use if it's like right away or something, I'll use I it, I guess. But going well with you, today, sir. you know what they are, Wadsworth. They're going real good. Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? Do you have any water? Certainly, sir. Here you are. Thank you. Do you have any more? Certainly, sir. Certainly, sir. <laughs> Certainly, sir. Certainly, sir. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, damn My it. condensation collectors need time to fully recharge before I can continue to dispense any more beverages. Beverages. Cool. Tell me a fucking joke. Oh, wait, can you explain how my infirmary works, even though I've used it like 500 times? An innovation from MedTech. The My First Infirmary will automatically diagnose and treat any injury you might sustain. It will also make any of the pesky rads you've accumulated in the wasteland vanish instantly. Hmm. Neat. All right. Uh, how do I use the? How do I use the laboratory? From the keen minds at MedTech, the My First Laboratory will instantly detoxify you, <laughs> removing any nasty addictions from your body. Knowing what you're addicted to, it might blow out the program altogether. The fuck? If you're feeling the need to experiment, <laughs> just set the lab to brew, and a day later it will produce a random, useful compound. Mm -hmm. Remember that while the lab is brewing, you can't use the detoxify functions. Okay, cool, thanks. Th thank you, Wadsworth. I'm glad my home came with a free fucking robot butler. 
What does the Duca Cola machine? I'm not. I'm not gonna fucking ask that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what comes out of the Nuka Cola machine, Wadsworth? Is it Nuka Cola? All right, tell me a fucking joke. Two atoms are in a bar. One says, "I think I lost an electron." The other says, "Are you sure?" To which the other replies, "I'm positive." Positive. Are you laughing? Is there? Are there? Is everybody? Is everybody fucking laughing? Are you side splitting? Wasn't that pretty fucking funny? Tell me another joke. My humor emitter array requires recharging. I hate you. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll be sure and tidy up while you're away, sir. Thank you, Codsworth. You're not, you're not fucking not Codsworth, Wandsworth. Don't ignore that. I just called them that. Don't worry about it. There's a reason I called them Codsworth. Don't worry about it. Okay. Do I have any clothing I want to dump off here? I do not. Okay. I do have weapons, all right. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got the auto axe now, so I'm gonna get rid of my ripper. Okay, here we go. And I can get rid of that magnum, because I don't think I. Do I have one of those already? Do I have a scope 44 magnum already? I do. Okay, well, I'll just keep. I'll fucking deal with it later. Dump these fucking bitches in here. Do I have any more stealth boys? I have one, okay. Dump my food in the refrigerator. <laughs> the fucking thrilling gameplay of, uh. Inventory management. You know what's really good? The game hasn't crashed yet tonight. I, I think I think those mods are working. <laughs> I think those fucking mods that a very nice person in my Discord fucking told me to download are actually working, and it's like, wow. Crazy. Like, actually fucking crazy. The game hasn't crashed yet. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Santa. Uh, put them all in. Wait, do I have any nuclear quantums on me? I don't want to make my quantums cold. I don't. Because I, I accidentally made five of my quantums cold, and you don't want that. You want to keep the regular Nuka Cola's quantums. You don't You don't want to make them cold. Because <laughs> for some stupid reason, these two are not interchangeable. Like, if there's any quests or things that require regular Nuka Cola quantum, the ice cold Nuka Cola quantums don't work for it. So, like, let's say it just hypothetically there's a character that wants me to give a Nuka Cola quantums. They don't accept ice cold Nuka Cola quantums. They only accept regular ones. Isn't that fucking cool? Isn't that cool how I wasted five of them on accident? I think it's pretty fucking cool. And then I'll dump all those in there. There we go. Okay, we're good. I think we're done here now, right? Yeah? I think I need to rebind. Or not rebind, but I have to bind my uh, axe to my ripper spot. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. We are fucking set. Maybe. <laughs> I have nine men. You know, here, we're gonna... Oops, sorry. My button. I'm going to sprint back over to Moira Brown really quick and sell her some fucking drugs that we have now. We have like a bajillion drugs in our pocket. I'm going to go sell those and then I'm going to go look for Jericho again. Would be nice, I guess. We can find him. We still have yet to find fucking Jericho anywhere. Where is he? Yes. Shall be mother and father to a trillion okay. civilization. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that guy. Good to see you. You too, random man. Hey I'm there. not see Armory. Oh, I can't go in the armory. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, can I loot that shit? Okay, well, okay, I don't see Jericho anywhere. Hello. You were you whistling? Could you do that again? I want to see your mouth move when you whistle. Because people's... <laughs> when people hum and whistle in this game, their entire fucking mouth opens and I love it. Okay, let's go in here. I'm going to sell Moira my fucking drugs. And then we're, I'm going to go do a quick little quest that I know is in this area. Huh. Did you know the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? I don't know about that. Oh, <laughs> what's up? I don't know about that, Moira. I'm here to sell some shit. Absolutely. Absolutely. I have like a shitload of fucking yeah. Take the psycho. Here's like a bajillion mentads. Take some of this right away because I don't. I, I rat X rather, not right away. I, I never want to sell my right away. Just a rat X. Okay, that'll do. Goodbye. Have a good day. Good hunting. You too. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Uh huh. Okay, cool. Yeah, you may have noticed earlier, I mentioned it before, how there's just fucking leaky pipes all over goddamn Megaton. Like, they're, they're just everywhere. There's, like, one right there. I think there's, like, one right here somewhere. Where's it at? It's, like, right by here. I know it's... Yeah, there it is. 
There's like, there's like leaky pipes all over fucking Megaton. We can fix that. <laughs> That's not just there for like aesthetics or whatever. We can, we can actually fix those. We gotta go up here to the fucking water. You can barely read that. It's like very hard to make out what this says, but it says water processing plant. We can go in here. There's a nice fella in here. Hello? Where are you? There you are. Hi. Uh, huh? Yeah. What is it? What? Hi. What do you do around here? I take care of the water purification plant. This old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water. For now. Uh-huh. So, like, what, what can, I, can I help out around here anyway? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't expect much from strangers. Me either. <laughs> you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. All right. Uh, how many leaks are there? From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Three. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll keep it in mind. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. Ooh. What did you need me to do again? I already forgot. No. Oh, I'm good. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Well, back to work. Yes, goodbye, Walter. So yeah, we gotta, we gotta go fix some pipes. <laughs> he said there was three of them. We already found two of them. Like, I just saw two of them, so we can get those really quick, and then I'll go, I'll, I'll go try to find that third one, yeah? So one's right here. We gotta, like, launch ourselves down there. Whew. And then activate leaking pipe. The pipe appears to be damaged, but the source of the leak isn't immediately clear. It'll take a master plumber to fix it. <laughs> a fucking master plumber. Repair of 30 or higher required. We got that. Fix it. You repaired the leaking pipe. I did it, Mom. I did it. It's me. I'm Super Mario. I fucking fixed the pipe. Hold on really quick. Hold on one sec. Keep your hands to yourself. Shut up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I fucking... I don't know why you... I, I, I don't want to do that, but I keep doing it because like you can just do that in this game. And it's like, why not just do it? If they put it in the game for some fucking reason, you can just push cows over. So I might as well do it when I get the chance. But anyway, there's two pipes done now. We got that one done right there. So there's one more fucking leaky pipe somewhere. And I don't remember off the top of my head where it is. Maybe it's over here? Oh, here's Jericho's house. He's not home, though. Okay. I wish I could find that son of a bitch. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Yeah. Boom. Here's the final fucking leaky pipe. Pipe is damaged, yada yada. I had to be a master plumber. You got it. I'm the king of plumbers. And then I repaired the pipe. We're done now. That was all three of them. Also, what the fuck is supporting this building? Oh, I guess it's like leaning on that one. This is not safe. What? <laughs> this isn't safe. This is like this is like fucking building violations. Yeah, like building code violation. Sure. This one's got some supports on it at least. That one just fucking hover in there. Megaton, the fucking city of scrap. Where's the- oh, it's up there. Whoop. Excuse me. Do you think I freak out the other town members by like running around and jumping over ledges and shit? <laughs> Do you think they appreciate me doing that? Just doing some fucking free freestyle parkour? Hi. What do, you, what do you need? I fixed the pipes. Well, I'll be. Whoa. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Oh, Thank boy. you, stranger. Boy. Thank you. You're welcome. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. Uh-huh. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you cash no, for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. Okay. We got a deal? You fucking got it. Sounds good to me. I'll bring you the parts that I find. Good. This just keeps looking better. Oh. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. I'm back now. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh. Uh, what's he? <laughs> yeah? He's just going... Okay, yeah. Well, there we go. That quest is... It's a, it's a very fucking easy quest. It's, a, it's an unmarked quest. It's not even like... <laughs> like, that wasn't even in our quest log. 
Like, it wasn't even in our fucking quest log. It's just an unmarked quest you can do. You fix the pipes. And then if you want now, you can bring... Uh, uh, buh, 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 buh. Don't fall. But if you want, you can bring him scrap metal. And you can give... You, if you give him scrap metal, he'll give you 100 caps. So now I have two different places to bring a metal... Or to bring scrap metal to. I can bring it to him for money, or I can bring it to the outcast for uh, ammo. And stim packs and the like. So that's good. The fuck is that? Hello, who are you? Are you just a random megaton settler? You are okay. Yeah? You need something? No, I'm just curious who the fuck you were. <laughs> Sorry, you caught me off guard, random man. Okay, what else should I do while we're here? Hi. No, you don't have a quest. I talked to you already, didn't I? The brass lantern. Best food in town. I talked to her when I came here for the first time, but I'll talk to her again anyway. So what's it going to be? Uh, you heard any good rumors lately? I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave a lantern. Oh. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? Uh-huh, I do know, actually. What can, you, what can you tell me about this town? Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. What the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. I'm sure they probably don't want their house to smell like shit. Like, this place probably, this place probably does, but whatever. Okay, I, goodbye. Have a good one, stranger. You too, at least you're nice. You're like the least rude person I fucking met. Hey there. Why is everybody walking around with just revolvers in their hands? Well, this lady has one too. Like, look, they're just walking around with guns in their Hello. fucking hands. Oh. Lucas Sim has his gun put away. He's a good guy. Well, now, how's my favorite explosives expert doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, tell me about this place. What do you want to know? I don't know. Fucking anything. Is, is there a doctor in the town, please? My, my, I have a boo boo. I guess, no, nothing else, I guess. Goodbye. All right, shoot. Uh, do you know anything about the area outside, Megaton? It's called the Wasteland for a reason. Wow, really? But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. Uh-huh. To the south, you've got Rivet City. I was already there. Don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. I was also already there. All right, goodbye. You stay safe. Thanks, Lucas Sims. You're neat. Hey. Oh. Also, hi there. Welcome. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome, welcome. We're playing some. We're, we're playing some more fucking Fallout. I had a goof earlier with my chat. I I wasn't able to see my chat earlier, and I just thought nobody was talking. <laughs> I just thought nobody said anything for two fucking hours. Ugh. But I fixed it. I can see my chat now. Help! Help! I'm stuck. Okay. <laughs> Blow up Megaton? No. We, we disarmed the bomb already. That, that, that big old bomb in the middle of Megaton? We already disarmed it. It's gone. We live here. My house is right there. I'm not going to blow the town up. My fucking house is right there. I'd blow my own house up if I did that. I keep all my stuff in there. I'm not going to blow my house up. <laughs> Should I check the men's restroom? <laughs> you think there's going to be any... There's gonna be any good loot in the fucking men's restroom? I don't think I've ever gone in here. Like, I don't think I've, like, literally ever, ever gone in here. Because why the fuck would I? No, it's just, it's just a bathroom. Who would it? Shocker. <laughs> Shocker, it's a bathroom. They got a bathtub. You can take baths in here? What if you're, what if you're in there taking a fucking bath and some dude comes in here to take a fucking shit? Like, what? what you, could you imagine? Could you imagine just, just... Some dude just comes in here and sits down while you're sitting there taking a fucking bath. Like, yo, what up? Ugh, fucking A. Alright, let's go in here. Blowing blowing stuff up is fun too. It, it is fun, it is true. It is very fun to blow things up. But like, I got people here to talk to. Everything else will cost you. I'm not here to talk, I'm here to talk to Gob, he's my friend. Also, I have to turn the radio off, sorry Gob. Hey, Pearl. Copyright claims. Uh, Ghana, you heard any good rumors lately? I couldn't tell you, really. I'd talk to Manya if you care that much. I did talk to her. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. She just told me your husband was crazy. Actually, yeah, where did you come from, Gob? A place called Underworld. <gasps> it's a ghoul city down in D.C. Underworld. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. <laughs> good. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. 
Oh. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. Oh, that's not if fun. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Okay. I'll keep a lookout for someone named Carol. Goodbye. Where the fuck is Underworld at? I marked it on my map, apparently. Where's Underworld at? Oop. What a fucking name, by the way. Is that it right there? No? No? The Museum of History is on there. I guess, is that where... That's where Underworld's at, yeah? Never mind. I think Underworld is inside the Museum of History. That must be why I marked it on my map. Okay. A traveler, eh? Yeah, hi. Who are you? I don't recognize you. New in town or something? I fucking live here. <laughs> Wait. I fucking live here. I've been I've been living here for like a week. But you know what? Sure, sure am. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. Shut up. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? I. It's sure. <laughs> sure, why not? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. Ar Arafu? I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. Is that a ligma? As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Okay. G -g -g oh. Blood ties. Uh, could you give me some information about Arafu? Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Uh-huh. Where the fuck is Arafu? Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Okay. Uh, who lives in Arafu? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family. Ewer. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Wait, why is your family called the Ewer family? Your last name is West, yeah? Oh no, the Ewer family is a different family. No, I, I fucking misread that. I'm like, what the fuck? I thought she said my family, the Ewer family. But no, she was like my family and the Ewer, whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay, goodbye. I'm, I'm good. Goodbye. Okay. I, I guess I'm going to deliver a message. Goodbye. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. You're welcome. I just met you. <laughs> I just met you. Hi. And look who it is. What can this humble barkeep do for you? I found my dad, asshole. I found my dad without your help, dickhead. And now he's dead. Now my dad's dead. Uh, you heard any good rumors lately? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Uh-huh. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that's Literally just one. talk to her. She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Oh. Okay. D d d heard any more rumors? I keep these yokels knee deep in booze and poon. Don't ever they say that word again. Knee deep in caps. It's a fair trade if you ask me. Do you have anything like useful to say? No. Okay. Good. All right. Fuck. Goodbye. I don't like you. <laughs> I await our next meeting with bated breath. I'm gonna break your ankles. All right. What are you afraid of? I really appreciate you doing this for me. I'm feeling better already. The weird asshole bartender man said you were afraid of something. Is it about your family? Is your family in danger? No, not really. Oh. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Oh, never mind then. Is there anything dangerous around there I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> No, it's completely safe. Oh, thank you. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Oh, fine then. God, goodbye. Okay. Well, I look like a fucking mailman. That's, that's not this game. Hi. <laughs> the mailman thing happens in the next game. Hi. Hey, man. What's going on? I'm looking for quests. You got anything? Got any rumors? Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the word? People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. I just fixed it. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. Yeah. And I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? It's, no, it's fine. I just fixed it. Goodbye. Catch you later. Thanks. These people aren't giving me... I, I, Lucy gave me a quest, at least. Do you have a quest for me? Hi there. I'm Nova. N New to Megaton, huh? Nova, I've been living here Do for at least a, a week. Favor. Keep walking. No. Some of us stay for a few days. 
And then it's five years later. How come these people don't fucking know that I live here? <laughs> I mean, granted, I don't really talk to anybody around here, so I guess that's why. But, like, I've been here for a while. Uh, what, what's the story with the ghoul? Who, Gob? Gob. <laughs> well, if you can get past how he look, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, why is Moriarty hard on... Did... Do you ever... You know, do you ever... Do you ever work with him? That, that's gross. I'm, why is he so hard on him? Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. But Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? Because he's a weird flesh monster? <laughs> where did he come from? He told me already, but where did he come from? Underworld? He don't talk about it much. But apparently, there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times. Goo -goo. But other than that, he won't really say. His ghoul mom? He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. Oh, that explains why he's such a cock to him. He, he's a slave. Ah, gotcha. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? I Anything besides the horizontal monster. No, nothing. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Nothing about, no, I, I don't need your services. Okay, well, <laughs> if I had any more reason to hate Moriarty, now I, now I have more. I have more of a reason to hate him. Is Mr. Burke's body still down here? Remember when he- Ooh! No, I think it's gone now. Remember when I just found Mr. Burke's fucking corpse just sitting outside for some reason? I think they got rid of it finally. I don't see it anymore. <laughs> I threw it over the railing. It doesn't appear to be here anymore. Okay, good. Oh! Uh... Never mind, I spoke too soon. I found his corpse. <laughs> Never mind, I spoke too soon. His dead body's right here. Mr. Burke, you need to go home. Like, come on. Megaton's a good place, you know, you, you, you'll you see the light eventually. I know that you had a hard time around here and you wanted to blow the town up and stuff. We had a little bit of a disagreement, but like, come on, dude. You have a house here. You have something to live for, bud. Come here. Come on. Let's, <laughs> let's, come on, you're going home, buddy. You're drunk. You gotta go home. Come on, Mr. Burke. Why is this corpse still here? Like, I, I, I'm more concerned about why his body's outside. Because, like, he died inside of the, of the saloon, so why the fuck is his body outside? Do you think he'll like, do you think his body will go inside if I fucking leave it? Wait, what happens if I do this? Hold on. What happens if I fuck around with some console commands? What happens if I, what happens if I resurrect him? I'm curious. Will he get up and attack me? Oh, 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 he put his clothes back on. Hey. You self-righteous little. <laughs> do you have any idea what you've done to my employer's development plan? Oh. A word of advice. Watch your back. Oh. I... Wow, Mr. You will come to regret your actions. That was very rude, Mr. Burke. I just I gave you another chance at life. And that's how you repay me? That's it that's okay. Well <laughs> Hey, no, don't you run! Don't you don't you fucking run! Don't you fucking run! Stop! <laughs> I like how nobody stopped me from doing that. I like, <laughs> I like how nobody attempted to stop me from shooting him. Nobody fucking cares about Mr. Burke. Oh, you poor asshole. I probably shouldn't loot this. It's like, I'm just like stealing. Yeah, I like cheated a little bit. I'm gonna load my save again. Okay, we'll just leave Mr. Burke's dead corpse there for the time being. No sorrows, no suffering. I don't know why his body's still there. That's what I'm confused about. Cause like he he tried to kill Lucas like Lucas Sims went to go arrest him yeah and then he tried to kill him so we stopped him. Weird that he has dialogue for that. That's hmm. I guess if you let him kill Lucas Sims and then talk to him afterwards, that's what he would say to you normally. That's just so weird to me. Also, where the fuck is Jericho at? Like I haven't seen. I want to recruit him. Where the fuck is he? He just disappeared. Like he heard me mention that I wanted to get a, a fucking partner and he just left. He just hightailed it the fuck out of Megaton. I'm not that ugly, am I? Harden, am I that ugly? Harden, am I ugly? How come no, how come no one wants to be my friend? <laughs> I got a cool hat. How come no... <laughs> is, is my hat cool? Uh, You're not fucking... You're not... Luke, you're not... What the fuck? Was it Moriarty? I forgot his name already. No wonder he fucking hates me. I can't even remember his name. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna head to Arafu then. 
deliver that message for Lucy West, yeah. We haven't, man, we haven't gotten to here yet, actually. Hold on, let's check out, the, maybe, maybe Jericho's in here. Maybe he's having some noodles. He's not in here. There's some old lady in here, though. Hi. Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Goddamn. Yeah, Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, w heard any good rumors lately? Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. Oh. I don't like to spread stuff around, you know what I mean? Everybody has their secrets. Let's keep them that way. No. Tell me your fucking secrets, asshole. What do you do for fun around here? <laughs> well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy. But really, that's none of your business, is it? Why are you so shady, dickhead? What are you talking about the town? What's to tell? We're alive, so we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I've got a restaurant, so Ooh. I have it better than most. Neat. Goodbye. No problem, buddy. Yeah, later, dude. He just sells food, right? What's on the menu? Sure thing, my man. What do you, is it just food? He just sells food? Does he have stim packs? He does have stim packs. <laughs> my favorite food. Very yummy. Mmm. Yummy, tasty stim pack. Good for my tummy. Goodbye. Anytime. Is there anybody else in here I should talk to? You're just a random settler. You're a random settler. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. You're literally walking into the back of the... I mean, I am too, but like you're walking behind the counter at a fucking restaurant, dude. Like, are we allowed back here? Are the customers allowed to just <laughs> wander around back here? I guess they are. Okay. Weird. Alright, goodbye. Come! Alright, well, Jericho's nowhere to be found. Let's just... Let's head to Arafu. God, you like that fucking noise it makes every time I jump up the... <laughs> That's me jumping up the stairs, by the way, in case you're wondering what the fuck that noise is. It's me doing that. It's really good. Oh, also, I didn't even realize I have 40... Or I have 50 fucking shots with my sniper now. I didn't realize that. I've been, I've been buying up all the ammo. It's good. I can finally, like, snipe things now, like, more frequently. <laughs> fucking Mr. Burke. Uh, maybe I should re maybe I should resurrect him and like let him stay alive and see what happens. I'm curious. I've never had him. Ooh, my favorite vendor is here. Hey, you got, any, you got any goodies? Looking for that special something? Yeah, give me your shit. Also, can you repair my stuff? I'll see if I can't take a whack at it. My stuff. I didn't mean to say stuff. That way. Hundred caps. I can just repair everything for fucking three hundred caps. That's not too bad. <laughs> I could repair my fancy hat. You know, I should do that. I, I would be devastated if my fucking fancy hat broke, so fuck it. Repair all my stuff for me. Thank you. I love you. Do you have anything cool? Please. Enjoy my selection of high-quality problem solvers. You ain't got nothing new, dude. Oh, he's got a schematic for a shish kebab. Got some more amp. No, I'm good. Okay, goodbye. Have a good one. Until we meet again, keep yourself alive out there. Me and him have the same hat. <laughs> That's how you know he's a cool dude. Because we both? Hold on. We. Because we both? No. I did I, I turn on. Did I turn collision off? What just happened? What the hell did I just do? Oh, I just turned off collision for Mr. Burke. <laughs> I just. Oops, hold on. Let me turn his collision back on in case I go back in there. There we go. Wait, no. T. T. There we go. What the fuck is the button? I, I was going to make a dumb joke. It's not even worth it now. I wasted too much time. I'm going to do it anyway. Here. T fucking TFC, there we go, God. Was this worth it? No. But the, what, I didn't go, I, I'm done. I, <laughs> I need to stop doing these things. I forgot you need to be in third person. I did this all the time when I played Oblivion. I did this all the fucking time when I played Oblivion. There. I just wanted to point out that we both have the same hat on. That's all I wanted to do. Was that worth the time and effort it took me to do that? No. It would have been worth the time if, I'm not, if I wasn't fucking inept. <laughs> <laughs> but sadly, I'm inept. Same again. And now where, oh where am I? Where am I headed? Alright, oh, to Arafu. God, I already forgot. Okay, let's just, let's just walk there. We've already picked clean Springvale. Oh, you know what I should do? I should check out that thing I mentioned earlier in the stream. Um, I, I talked about how there's like you can find random encounters in this game. 
and there's a really neat random encounter. They, there's, like a, there's a spawn for a random encounter up there. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. But yeah, um, I mentioned that there's, there's a spot on top of this hill right above Vault 101 where a random encounter can happen. And I think I might show that off really quick. I'll show off how the mechanic works. I'm going to just save my... That scared the fuck out of me, that little... <laughs> I thought that was like a ghost or some shit. It's just dust. It's just dust in the wind. That scared the fuck out of me, though. But here, I'll show you how this mechanic works. And if I'm lucky, maybe the one that I want to happen will happen. That'll be good. Because there is a specific random encounter that I want to get because you get a really cool gun out of it. But I'll, I'll, I'll at least show you how it works. Hello, doggy. Okay, I'm going to save my game back because I'm not sure what the radius on this thing is. I'm pretty sure you can get relatively close to it before it triggers, but... I'll just head back here real fast. I'll save back here. And then I'll walk towards the spot where it happens. Yeah, it's over there. I should wait till nighttime, actually, because it'll help me if it's at night. At least for the specific one that I'm trying to get, anyway. If it's nighttime, it'll help me. Okay, here we go. You are no longer well rested. G. I I wonder why. Is it because I just... Okay, see, see this barn right here? See this barn? A random encounter can happen here when you approach it. So let's see what I get. Oh, see, I got the Chinese radio beacon signal. This is the one that I got when I approached here. So now I'm going to head inside the barn and there should be, I think, I don't know, what's in here? I don't remember off the top of my head. Let's see, what did I get? There's nothing in here. What the fuck does the Chinese radio signal do then, if you get that one? It just kind of... Bison, oh. bison. Yeah? <laughs> also, hi there, welcome. How you doing? I'm showing off a dumb mechanic. What is he saying? Any of y'all speak Chinese? I don't. I'm gonna reload my save. I'm showing off how this mechanic works. So now, when we, when I approach the barn again, something different should happen. And this is a thing that you can find all over the wasteland. There are little spawn points like this where just random shit happens when you come near them. Oh, there's there's something in there now. Let's see. I see a bunch of friendly shit. Uh, I see a bunch of stuff on my radar. What's in there? <laughs> You're doing my mom. Great. Who are you? Good to see you. Hi, we got a bunch of wastelanders spawned in here this time. The hell do you want? We're busy. What are you busy doing? Hey, you guys lost? We're trying to find this place up north called Oasis. Oh? Supposed to have a lot of good stuff to grab. Yeah? But we ain't interested in sharing it with every dirty waster that wanders in. Oh. So now we're gonna have to kill you. Oh. That's not very nice of you. Hey. Too bad I have a gun and you guys have knives, you dumb fucking morons. <laughs> good. Well, there you go. There's that. There's that random encounter. So yeah, now when you bump into three dudes and they tell you where they tell you about a place called Oasis and they try to murder you, let's see what I get this time. I'm only gonna do this a few more times just to show this off, because it's a neat mechanic and I like it. And I'm also like stalling for time to see if maybe I get the if I get the special one that I want. Oh, there's a bunch of enemies on my radar. I think I hear ants. There's ants fighting something. Oh. No, it's a giant rat scorpion fighting a bunch of ants. <laughs> uh, that fucking rat scorpion's winning. Also, why is it not hostile to- are you friendly? Hello? Hi. No, no, you're, you're mean. You're very mean. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it couldn't handle me. Where is it? Come on. I don't need to kill this guy, but I want to. There you are. Hi. And now you're dead. I'm going to do it one more time. <laughs> I say, knowing full well I'm going to be here for like fucking 20 minutes probably. I promise I won't do that. I, I promise I'll do it like maybe one or two more times and that's it, Tobbs. What's in there this time? Oh, it's Talon Company. That's a lame one. Just fucking Talon Company dude spawned. 
That's like the least fun one you can get. Yeah, 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 you and your fucking guns. Come on, shoot me. Here, I'll let you win in this timeline. You guys want to win? There, you won that time. You guys happy? <laughs> you can take home the bounty this time. But yeah, there, there's a specific one that can happen where a, uh, you get a really fancy weapon. And it's a unique gun, and I want to get it. And if it doesn't happen, I will probably just do it on my own time off stream. What happened this time? Nothing's on my radar. What did I get this time? Nothing? Did I just get the nothing event? <laughs> There's... Okay. That's fucking lame. Look at the moon. Look at the moon. That's that's that, that's sad thing. I, I did nothing happen that time. Okay, last time for sure. <laughs> last time for sure, I promise. I keep looking up at the sky because the thing that happens actually happens slightly above up in the air. It didn't happen this time. What did I get this time? Oh. I got a couple of dudes hiding around a, a fire barrel. You guys camping in here? How y'all doing? What are you up to? Oh, it's a bunch of ghouls. Hello. Hi. Thanks for not attacking us. Most people don't tolerate ghouls. Yeah, what are you doing wandering around here? We were on our way to Wonderworld. But we couldn't make it past the super mutants. So why are you way out so here? We're just going to find our own place in the wasteland. Oh. Okay. What, yeah, what's Underworld? It's a city of ghouls. It's the only place in the wasteland that belongs to our kind. And that's where Gob came it's from. It's hidden inside the Museum of History. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Thank you. Goodbye. Then leave. We'll do just fine without you. Yeah, later. Have a good one. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. That's how that mechanic works. I'm not going to go there again. I'm gonna continue like going the way I should go for for quest progress here, but yeah, I will almost certainly return to this place though to see if I get the one that I want. I think the one where you get the fancy gun can happen in other areas. Oh, there's Dogbeat. Hi. <laughs> yeah, here's where Dogbeat goes. I forgot. I forgot about that. There they are. There's Dogbeat. This is where they end up at. If you dismiss them, they just they just fucking hang around here. Like the poor, sad animal they are. I feel so bad leaving them here. It's like such a dick thing to do, but like, you know. I need to, I need to dismiss dog. I, I, you know what I'm going to do in between the stream and the next stream? I'm going to download a mod. That lets me have multiple companions, because I don't like having dog meat sitting there. I want dog meat to be back at my house. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a mod installed next time I stream, so I can have multiple companions. Literally just so I can have dog meat stay in my house. <laughs> That is the only reason. There's a fucking helicopter. Oh, Enclave. Right, I forgot. <laughs> There's Enclave here. Do I have a sniper? I do. Or not do I have, do I have ammo is what I meant to say. Alright, how am I going to fucking handle this bullshit? Uh, I'm going to save, first of all. Before I get fucking obliterated by these guys. I got a fancy helicopter. Should I just take out the officer first? Pew! Did that guy even... He didn't even notice. <laughs> oh no, they're both dead. Well, that's the Enclave, everybody. That's the Enclave. He's oh, oh, wait, he noticed. Oh, the guy pulled out his gun. He's paying attention. He's like, what? What happened to the commanding officer? What happened to their head? Fuck, I missed. There we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy shit. The fucking situational awareness on these dudes. Give me that. Isn't that crazy though? Like, look at my sneak skill, by the way. Okay, look at my sneak skill now. Like, just getting my sneak skill up to 39, it was at like what, like, like less than 20? Or like maybe in the 20s previously? And now that I boosted it up just slightly to 39, they, they just can't see me anymore. <laughs> they just let me snipe them. Like, I, I just killed three people without a single one of them noticing I was there because my sneak skill is slightly higher. Isn't that ridiculous? Imagine what it's going to be like when I have a hundred sneak. Anyway, here's this fucking helicopter. We, we can't do anything with it, sadly. I wish you could fly it. You can't. You can't just hijack their helicopter. Sadly. Or their vertebird. Should, should I call it a vertebird? Is there going to be a nerd out there that gets mad at me for calling it the wrong name? <laughs> it's not a fucking helicopter. It's a vertebird. Also, I got an auto axe on him. Give me that. I can repair mine with it, yeah? Fuck yeah. Now where did- there they are. I was gonna say, I knew there was a fucking third corpse. 
Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Is that it? Is that all that's here? It's a helicopter and a couple of crates, yeah? Okay, well. <laughs> Some buildings here I haven't searched yet. Doo -dee -doo. We'll get to Arafu eventually. Maybe. I would like to get that quest done during this stream, so. It's not a it's not a, like a overly long quest, but it does take at least a little bit, so I should probably head there and work on it, but. Where wait, which way is it's that way? Oh god, it's way over there. Fuck, I've barely made it. <laughs> I thought it was way closer to it than that. Whoops. Alright. Oh, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, 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 I'm walking. I wonder how long I'm going to keep wearing this armor for. I might just be wearing this the entire game. Who knows? Because, like, I do have power armor, but, like, the power armor is kind of hard to keep repaired currently. So, like, I just wear the fuck... There's more Enclave over there. We have the oh, hold on. There's a giant scorpion there, too, though. Hold on. <laughs> it's, is, it the, is the scorpion fucking him up? Yeah, get him. Kill that robot. And it exploded. And it's on fire now. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. The, oh, there's another one. Yeah, get him. Get him. Look how many there are. Ooh. Yeah, get him. Punch him in the cock. I feel like a scorpion has like nothing. To, I feel like a rat scorpion shouldn't be able to hurt a fucking uh, a robot. Like, how the fuck is it damaging it with its pincers? Whatever, time to kill. It's time, it's time to kill again. Wait, hold on, stand up. I keep forgetting I can't save when I'm crouching because it might fucking permanently make me crouch. You don't see me, fuck off. You don't see me? Stop it. That's a missile. That's a missile. Oh, but what he doesn't know, it's a minigun. It's a, it's a laser minigun. Ooh. Oh, good. I'm very underprepared for it. Wait, do I have pulse grenades? I, fuck, I, I gave him the Moira, didn't I? Fuck. <laughs> I gave him my pulse grenades to Moira. Shit. That would have been real handy right about now, wouldn't it? It was fine. I got this grenade still. Oh. Oh. Stop shooting me. You're mean. Ah. Please? I'm dying. I'm dying. <gasps> Yaogwai. This is the Yaogwai. Maybe the Yaogwai will help me. Let me just munch on some stim packs. Eh. Yaogwai, can you help me? Yeah, go get him, bud. Go get him. Please don't die. <laughs> Please don't die, Mr. Bear. Don't light my friend on fire, penis. There we go. You okay, buddy? He's almost dead. My bear friend is almost dead. I'm not a huge fan of that. Please don't kill my bear. Oh, good shit, dude. There we go. See, look at that. <laughs> the animal friend perk isn't completely useless. He only has one HP left, though. Oh, no. Please don't die. I love you. Hey, 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 you. Hey, 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 <laughs> look at me. Quit, quit looking away from me. I love you. Hey. Hey. Mwah. Thank you. Where's those corpses at? I want to raid them. Or fucking loot them. Fuck. So, like, do you even need the goddamn animal friend perk, like, level 2? Because, like... Isn't the whole benefit of getting perk 2? Or rank 2, rather, of animal friend that the animals come and help you? Like, I didn't... Like, it, it just came and helped me right there. Like, did I even need the fucking sec- Like, is, is the second rank of that perk just fucking worthless? Like, why would I ever get that? Here we go. And then you? Hell yeah. I like how there was just a fucking army of scorpions attacking him when I got here. And then thank fucking god there was a bear there. Look at the size of this rad scorpion, by the way. Like, look at the size comparison here. That is ridiculous. Hi, you can hug me. Hello. <laughs> you want to hug me with your disgusting crab arms? So what were the Enclave doing here? Anything cool? They don't got any goodies in here? There's a dead dog in here. That's not very cool. That's like the opposite of cool, actually. Dead bodies? An ant? Were they just fucking hoarding dead bodies or what? <gasps> a shovel? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, give me that shovel. 
I don't have one of those yet. Oh, excuse me. I just kicked a rib cage. Give me that. 40 bottle caps, fuck yeah. I'm basically a millionaire now. Give me your glands. We do need some of those for crafting, but also like I can just sell them. Or put them on display in my house because I'm a freak. The bear's still there. <laughs> He's still wandering around. I love that bear. I love that bear. I would rename... You know, here. Sh should I give the bear a name? What the fuck should I name the bear? Should I give the bear a name? I, I could use console commands to fucking name the goddamn bear. Though I would feel horrible because he would die immediately. Also, that might just change the name of every bear in the game. I hadn't thought about that. I think if you rename random Yaogwais out in the wild, it'll change the name of every single Yaogwai in the game. <laughs> Which would be really funny. That would be very fucking funny, but... It's like when I change the name of the Daedroth in uh, Oblivion to Karog or whatever. Like I named him after my Feraligator. And then every Daedroth was named Karog after that. <laughs> well, not every Daedroth. All, all the summon Daedroths were anyway. Should I... Should I stop? I'm not gonna stop in here right now. I'll fucking ignore that. There's a town right here. Oh, maybe I should go in? Hold on. Maybe I should go in here. Just to, like, get it marked on my map. Because I want to go to Arafu. I don't really want to stop in here and do anything right now. But let's check this place out real quick since we're here. There's a town here. I think. Where the fuck's the gate? Oh, the gate's way over there. Oh, maybe, maybe, I, just, maybe I will just walk by it, yeah? Because I don't remember if walking in here starts a quest immediately or not. I'd rather it didn't, but... But also, since we're here, I might as well. I don't remember Arafu being this fucking far away from Megaton, by the way. Holy shit. This is a nice little playground here. <laughs> you see people come out here often to play around? I feel like you're prone to getting murdered if you fucking walk out of the town. Ooh. A letter from vault -Tec. Neat. I don't care. But I'll take it anyway. Should I read that letter? What's it say? No, it's... Never mind. It's not in my inventory. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, we haven't read this yet. I, for I for listened to this, rather. This is like quest for the... The fucking... The android. Never I never listened to that. I'll, I'll, I'll continue to not listen to it until we, uh... What happens if you... Do you know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna be real with you. I completely forgot Kabu was there. I forgot Kabu's been there the whole time. Kabu, you gotta go away. I'm sorry. I just realized he's been there. I, <laughs> I forgot he was there. Oh my god. Sorry, Kabu. How long is he? I, I gotta look. How long ago did you fucking redeem that? How long ago did you redeem that? You redeem that was like that. Kabu was there for like an hour. I think that's the longest I've ever had Kabu sit there for, for one time, period of time. Oh my god. Jesus. But also, but it, so if you if you redeem more than one combo, here I'll, I'll just show you what happens. If you redeem more than one combo, this is what happens: you, you get you get the one combo, and if you redeem another one, you get another combo, and then another combo, and then another combo, and then another combo. <laughs> you just get a bunch of combos. Is what happens. Up to up to a maximum of five, you get five combos. I completely forgot he was there. God, I hope you enjoyed that extra long combo. No, give her that. Remove it. There we go. That was a big combo too. He was like, he, I, that was a really large one, and I, I, I made him bigger than usual. So like, he was like, <laughs> he was taking up a lot of room there. Oh boy. Oh. See, the reason I did, I forgot that he was there, is because when I'm playing, uh, when I'm playing this game in particular, I actually can't see my OBS window, or like I can't see like my OBS display. I can only see my game capture. Like I'm just seeing the raw like game footage, and Kabu's not down there. On my on on my end, I can't see him currently. I can only see him when I'm like in my OBS view. Usually when I'm streaming, I can see. Like if I'm streaming like Pokemon Snap or like Breath of the Wild or whatever, but like certain games, I just can't see. Certain games, I'm not, I'm not actually able to see my uh, OBS capture, so I just completely forgot Kabu was there. What the fuck? I mean, this isn't really that crazy, but like, I just found a BB gun with 100. <laughs> I just kind of freaked out because it said 102. I'm like, ooh. But that is literally just a BB gun. I'll take it, though. This should be a super rare shiny Kabu. I mean, I, I could do that. I, I could make a rare shiny Kabu. 
I could fucking slap him into Photoshop. Or not Photoshop, my fucking Krita is what I use. I could slap him into fucking Krita. Change his colors. Gamu. Gamu, Gamu. Gamu? Gamu, Gamu. Where the fuck is the, Did I walk past the gate? Did, did I just go in? I, I think I just did. I think I just walked in. I did. I walked in an entire circle around here and didn't go in the gate. <laughs> Where's the front door? I was distracted by Kabu. I just want to go in here and check the town out really quick and then we'll come back later. Because this is like a semi-important like area. This town right here is. We, 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 we will be coming back here quite a bit later on. Where the fuck is the door? It's like a goddamn Minecraft house. Somebody just like built a giant wall around their fucking village. Here we go. Here's the front door. Same the game again. Because I feel like this starts a quest when you walk in here, but... Hello! Hey, who are you? Buh. I'm the king of the wasteland. What does it fucking matter? No. I'm, I'm but a simple traveler, my friend. Right. What do you want? I, I don't know. <laughs> Did you harass all your fucking visitors like this? I just want to look around a little bit. Well, you can never be too careful. Be warned, it's not safe here. Super mutants have attacked recently and carried off some of our friends. Oh. Come in, just don't cause any trouble, okay? You got it. Okay. Well, here we go. We're in this town now. This is Big Town. Also, yeah, see, look at that. Quest added Big Trouble in Big Town. That's why I didn't want to come in here. Because <laughs> I knew it would start a quest. Ask the people of Big Town about their capture. We'll do that later. But yeah, I just wanted to discover the town and have it ready for when we want to come back here later. We'll be we'll, we'll be here at some point. But yeah, just remember that. It's good to have that marked on my map so that way I, I, I like remember to come back here. Cool. Now anyway, onward to Arafu. Back to what I was fucking doing. Shoop. I like how it's called Big Town too, by the way. And it's fucking tiny as shit. <laughs> it's like a very tiny town. Big Town. Speaking of super mutants, there's one right there. Hey, you want to fight? Come here, buddy. That one has a minigun. Oh, I probably should have shot him oh. first, huh? Probably should have engaged the guy with the minigun first. It's fine, I have cover now. I'm practically invincible behind this wall. Yeah, look at you. Oh, it's a master. That is, <laughs> that is a super mutant master. Those ones have a lot of HP. But what he doesn't know is that I have an assault rifle. Please die. <laughs> yeah, these guys are fucking bullet sponges, the masters are. They, they take a lot of... They can take a lot of abuse. But also, I can just, like, kite around. Because he's holding the minigun, like, way down there, so he can't fucking shoot me. <laughs> Good. Fucking moron. Give me your ant meat, too, while you're at it. Fuck it. Do I want the minigun? No, I don't want that. It's fine. I already have a minigun. You have a minigun at home. Gumbo. I gotta, I gotta pay more attention to that. Goddamn! I fucking, <laughs> I can't believe he was there for an entire hour. I wonder if any like, because I, I do get random people that come into my streams all the time. Like according to the, 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 the fucking like stream summaries that I get from Twitch, I do get quite a few random people that come into my streams like all the time. And like I wonder like, <laughs> how many people came in and just saw that superimposed combo in the bottom left corner and they're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Like, what the fuck is- is that their fucking stupid VTuber model? What is this shit? Is that that guy's half-ass VTuber model? Whiskey. Moonbeam Outdoor Cinema. <gasps> What's happening? Oh. <laughs> it's a fucking fly. Time to test out my new fancy fucking chop-chop thing, yeah? Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. There you go, rip and piss. Fucking hate bloat flies, they're gross. <gasps> Teddy bear? Don't mind if I do. Crunch, 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 crunch. Ooh, Pugilism Illustrated, fuck yeah. Not that I use hand to hand that much, but you know, fuck yeah anyway. I'm gonna read that right now as a matter of fact. <laughs> Get my unarmed skill up that I never use. I don't have any other skill bucks on me, do I? And then I no, okay, I was gonna say I've been like hoarding one on accident without realizing. Okay, well that was something, I guess. I got a skill buck from this place. 
Wasn't much. Am I in fucking Arafu yet? There's some Mire Lurks down there. Should I go kill that Mire Lurk? I'm gonna go kill that Mire Lurk. I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood to murder a Mire Lurk. Murder me, you're leaving me. I can't fucking talk. <laughs> murder a Mire Lurk. Enunciate my words when I speak. The robot over there. Bitch. Hey, come on, approach me, do it. Oh, he's juking me. <laughs> Duh. Ah! There we go. Yeah, show me your face, bud. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, but I missed every shot because my fucking character sucks ass at aiming, apparently. Duh. Got him. Oh, come on. Fucking A. There. I'm also gonna go murder these robots, maybe? Sure, real quick, yeah? Question mark? Sure. Go kill these robots, because it looks like there might be some shit over here. There's like a dock here. This used to be a lake or something. <laughs> the water level has uh, drastically lowered, as you can tell. Not that one, this one. Shoot. Shoot gun very hard. Ow. My HP's looking a little bit low there. Like, I could, like... <laughs> like, normally that wouldn't be too scary, but, like, if I get headshotted right now, I'd probably die. Because, again, remember, that headshot mod affects me, too. Duh. It doesn't affect robots, though, because, I mean, it's a, it's a robot. Headshots don't fucking damage robots any, any more than body shots do. Do robots have a weak point in this game? Pretty, I usually just end up shooting robots, like, wherever. Like, I just kind of dump bullets into them. I know you can frenzy robots if you like shoot their like uh, like circuit board shit. You can like frenzy them to make them attack other people, but like, do they have like a definitive weak point? Like, hu like cause you, humans, you just shoot them in the fucking head. Like you shoot most enemies in the head, but like robots, I feel like you just kind of shoot them wherever, yeah. Unless you're specifically trying to frenzy the robot. Ooh, give me that stealth boy. Oh. <laughs> You having a good day today? Yes! I'm stargazing with my friend. We're having some mac and cheese. That's good. <laughs> I'm not gonna I was gonna take that teddy bear, but you know you can keep him. Also, please don't stare directly at the sun. I know you're stargazing right now, but it's currently the middle of the day. And the only star in the sky is the fucking sun. I know. Where do you think my eyeballs went? Oh. I see. Have a good day. You too. <laughs> You too, fucking skeleton. Uh. I don't know why I insist on, on, on fucking role-playing with the skeletons. I just do it every time. I can't help myself. I did the same thing when I played Oblivion. I piss in my ass. <laughs> Fuck me. Where's it at? There it is. Oh, hold on. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> Please don't tickle my feet. Give me your loot. There you go. Cool. Was that worth it? Sure. I, I I got to see a skeleton. It was it was it was kind of worth it. I did get to see a skeleton for a couple seconds. Do I have any coffee left? I do. Hmm. This is my only coffee I've had all day. If you can believe that. I didn't have any coffee yesterday. It's a fucking miracle. I didn't fucking chug six fucking. <laughs> I didn't chug fucking like six cups of coffee in one day like I usually do. That's not true. I usually have like three though. I do normally have at least like three or four cups of coffee a day. I didn't have any yesterday. And I've only had one today. Nature's healing, everybody. <laughs> Nature is healing. Let me up here. Eh. <gasps> dog? I see a pupper. That's not dog meat though, is it? It looks like dog meat, but it's not. Hello? Oh, hi. Is that your dog? Scavenger? <laughs> is that is Scavenger's dog? Are you, are, are, are you Scavenger's dog's human? What do you need? Hi. Can you, you got any cool shit? A few odds and ends. Yeah? God, you're fucking sweaty, dude. The guy, the guy is very sweaty. Did you see his face? Uh, I want some plasma mines? Sure, take these. Take them. Take my plasma mines. I barely ever use mines in this game. Uh, he only has 192 cabs. <laughs> you want some fucking rad scorpion poison glands here? Here, take them. 
I'm going to keep a couple for myself. And by a couple, I mean one. Ah, fuck. Do you have any ammo? Some buff out. Q ball. Do you have any ammo? Oh, yeah. Oh, shotgun shells. Fuck yeah, dude. Give me that. Okay, goodbye. Have a good day. A pleasure doing business with you. Yeah. See you. Yeah, see ya. Have a good one. Can I steal your other shit though while I'm here? Do you got any cool, you got any cool loot I can I can I can, I can scavenge off here? No? Okay. <gasps> Who's a good dog? Woof! You also have two different color eyes, just like <laughs> what does, does every I guess they just have one dog model in this game? They all have heterochromia. Or fucking <laughs> or for fucking what uh the person in my chat said the other day had heterophobia. <laughs> they hate gay people, or not gay people, they hate straight people. All the dogs in this game hate straight people. It's like, I'm sorry, I can't help it, they just got heterophobia. There's something on my radar too, what the fuck is this? Heterochromia. Oh, it's a Meyer Lurg. Can I? I'm pretty sure you can't shoot things that are below the water in this game, yeah? I'm pretty sure bullets just stop water, yeah, water just stops bullets in this game. Oh my god, I should really heal, but... Uh, there's a lot of stuff on my radar, actually, at the moment. Why do I suddenly have, like, a bajillion things on my radar? I'm scared. I'm gonna heal, actually. <laughs> I'm actually afraid now. Also, I'm gonna whip with the... It, it, we're having crabs legs for fucking dinner, everybody. I'm not in the mood to fuck with these guys. I'm just gonna eat them. Does anybody know anybody in real life that has heterochromia? Like, has anybody ever witnessed that in real life? Like, a person with two different colored eyes? Because I haven't. I've never seen a person in real life with different colored eyeballs. Like, personally. I mean, obviously, I've seen photos of it and shit. I'm talking like, like I'm talking like personally in real life. <laughs> like... Because I have not. In here. Nothing in there. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. I'm just camping. I'm here fishing for crab. You have partial heterochromia? Oh, really? That's dope. So, like, how does that work? That if it's partial, like, is it like, is it like multiple different? You have blue with green centers and a brown spot in your right eye. That's fucking fantastic. <laughs> you have like galaxy eyeballs. You have a friend that has two separate colors in one eye. That's cool as shit. And then there's me with my regular ass green eyeballs. Actually, I don't I, I, you know, I'm gonna be real with okay, I'm gonna be real with you, everybody. I don't actually know what color my eyes are. They're either green or blue. <laughs> I, I don't actually know what color my eyes are. I think they're green? Are they brown? I don't actually fucking remember what color my eyes are. What color are my eyes? I think they're green. Maybe they're brown. <laughs> I think they might be brown. I don't know. Whatever. I'll fucking check later. Then again, how am I gonna be able to tell? I'm fucking colorblind. I get gr I get green and brown mixed up a lot. Oh. You've seen it on the internet, and the internet is real life, right? Yeah, definitely. The internet's real. Everything on the internet is real, and you should always trust anything you see on the internet. All of it's real. Especially me. Check my driver's line. You know, I could do that. That is true. I, I, I could check my fucking ID or whatever, yeah. It'll probably say it on there. If I probably, I mean, it will. Getting green is a more interesting color than brown for eye color. Maybe? I just, I, don't, I never really think, I, I mentioned this before. I, like, I don't really ever think about people's eye color. Also, hey, look at that. There's a nuka cola quantum up here. Boop. But like, yeah, I don't really ever like notice people's eye color usually unless they have bright eyes. If they have bright eyes, I do pay attention. Like if they have like bright blue eyes or like bright green eyes, I notice it. But like if they have like dark green or dark blue, I just never notice it. Like I just don't pay attention to people's eyes if they have like darker colored eyes. <laughs> what about red? Red's pretty fucking dope. <laughs> I don't think I've met a person in real life with red eyeballs, but that is pretty fucking dope. Purple is also fucking cool. Yeah, I, I, I've talked about this before, haven't I? Like, I, I, how I wish people in real life could have, like... Like, I wish there was, like, more diversity when it came to, like, eye color and hair color. 
There's fucking Wolfgang again. Goodbye, Wolfgang. I hate you. But like, I just think it'd be neat. Oh, here's our here's our food, by the way. We made it finally. We're here. That took long enough. There's also a bunch of dead cows. <laughs> Excuse me. Why are why are all your uh, why are all your cows dead there, Sport? What? Okay. Let's. Just, all right. I'm sure that's normal. I'm gonna save my game before we go up there. Your friend had albinism and they had red eyes. That is. That is insane. Is that how you say that? Albinism? I never said that word out loud before. Al like, because it's like, it's like albino, yeah, but like al albinism? Is that how you fucking say that? <laughs> I've never said that word out loud in my life. That's, that's kind of neat, though. Like, I wish people could just, like, naturally have, like, all sorts of different color eyes. Like, it's like, fucking, you know how cool purple eyes would be? You know how fucking neat purple eyes would be? Hello. Hi. Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Yeah, you did, asshole. Get over here before they spot you. Who? Who, Wolfgang? <laughs> the fucking Wolfgang? Crazy Wolfgang? What do you mean, him? Hi. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? I'm here to deliver some mail. I have this, <laughs> I have this letter for the West family. That's great. But I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. Good for you. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. What are you... Yeah, what are you talking about? What, what kind of trouble are we talking about here? Well, at first they do their typical gang bullshit. <laughs> you know, break stuff and make lots of noise. Typical gang they bullshit. Their distance. But this last time they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. Ah. Uh, I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know. Oh, that explains it then. All right. It's alb albinism. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Albinism. Albinism. Albany. Albany, New York. <laughs> What's got you so spooked? Ah, uh, look. You can call me crazy if you want. But there is something odd about those creeps. Who? I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. What? Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? You haven't mentioned who They're these people really are. In a bad way and could use some help. Okay. Sure, I, what do you need? I'll help you. I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Okay. Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. Ewers. Okay, I still have a message for the West family. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. Okay. Uh, what else has been going on around here? There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. There's no green in this Those fucking wasteland. Those that are living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. Okay. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. Yeah, you, you fucking showed that when you almost blew me in half when I got here. Okay, well, there's somebody called the family, I guess, harassing these people. <laughs> I they didn't really explain to me who the family were. That was an eyebot down there. Yeah, they didn't really explain who the family were. He just told me that he just kept saying they, 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 they every two seconds. Oh, hi, yours? Hello, knock, knock. Somebody order a pizza? Knock, knock. Hello? Is this the mailman? Uh, yes. Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. Yeah, what do you... Yeah, Evan King sent me. Oh, Evan. He's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. Thank you. Also, did who, who walked into a wall? Him? Did he walk through a wall? Well, is everyone okay? I'm not done talking yet. But did, did, did fucking Evan King walk through a wall? I wasn't paying attention. He probably did. It is Fallout. People do just fucking clip into things in this game. What the hell are you doing in here? What? Get the fuck out. Your wife let me in, dickhead. Yeah, your wife let me in. Something about a catalog. <laughs> Oh, for the love of... Look, she's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? <gasps> if you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. He also said so that. what the fuck do you want? I also say dumber than a bag of hammers, but also you're an asshole. <laughs> Heaven King sent me here. Yeah, 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 he sent me here. Is everything all right? We're great. 
Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. I bet you fucking Tell do. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. Okay. What's going on around here, bud? Everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. Okay. You want to know more? Talk to Evan King. Okay, goodbye. Hold on, I'm gonna- can I turn your fucking radio- I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Turn your radio off. There we go. <laughs> Look, I want to be left alone. Can't you tell? Yeah, but I, I need to ask you more questions. What do you know about these people? The family? They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they're a fun bunch. Fun. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. I mean, they killed a couple of cows, dude. Like, do you think you can... I I'm pretty sure you got, like, more wits about you than a few cows, yeah? Good. Now get out. Okay, I'm gonna talk to your wife first, so hi. You must be exhausted from all that walking in this horrible heat. Oh, and hungry, too. <laughs> Sit, please. Yes, hello? Braley Ewers is the name. Don't mind my husband, Kenneth. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. I'm sure he fucking did. Is everything okay in here? Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make more of those preserves he loves so much. Mm hmm. Mm. I got water in my mouth. Wait, wait, what's going on around here? Can you tell me more about it with the family? Oh, my, I don't know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch mm -hmm. of her famous cookies, and all the kids are playing in the yards. What yard? It's so nice outside. The grass looks lovely this time of year. Uh huh. You know there was a war two hundred years ago, right? I, you know what? I I I got I gotta go. Oh certainly. Close the front gate when you leave, and mind my begonia garden. Begonia. I just planted them. Okay, goodbye. Your wife's kind of weird, bud. Anyway, goodbye. Is this the game with the lottery? Oh no, the lottery guy is in New Vegas. Yeah, no. <laughs> the, the, the dude who screams about the lottery, that's in New Vegas. Yeah, that's not in this game. This is Fallout 3. We'll see him whenever I stream that game. The most annoying character in any video. Well, I, I, okay, I shouldn't say that, but <laughs> he, he is pretty fucking annoying. What's his name? Swank or something? No, it's like all. Is his name Oliver Swank? Is that his fucking name? The lottery guy from Fallout New Vegas? Also, what the fuck is that building? Hold on, what is that? Where's my sniper rifle at? What is the building? Oh, it's a church. Huh. Maybe. Anyway, hello? Knock knock? Shenzi. Shenzi residence. <gasps> knock knock? Yes. Who is it? It's Knuckles. Let me in. Oh, <laughs> I'm from the family. No, Evan sent me. Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Uh huh. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. Great. Let me in. Kerchunk. Hello? It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. Hi, the lighting the in here is kind of dark. Uh, uh, is everything okay in here, ma'am? Scared out of my mind. Good. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. Uh-huh. Wait, what the fuck's going on around here? We're scared shitless. Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. Hmm. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. No. Alright. Do you know anything about the family? All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw bottles at our houses, and scream at us. Uh-huh. If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits. Especially after this last attack. Okay, well, goodbye. <laughs> sure, go. Just like everyone else. I'm fucking, I'm here to help you, penis. You got any cool loot? <laughs> you got any cool loot before I leave? No? Alright, goodbye. Goodbye, Karen. You got a gun? Next time the family come by, just shoot them. Y'all got guns? You heard that pretty much half of the characters are voiced by him and you love him? He's, he's funny? He, yeah. He voices a lot of the characters. I mean, well... I mean, just in, in Bethesda games in general, like Fallout and the Elder Scrolls games, th there's like a grand total of like six, but what the fuck? <laughs> Where did the bear come from? Why did a bear, what is happening? What the fuck? What, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> 
Hey! No! Hey! You just fucking killed him! What did- Why- What did- I- Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Cool. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck just happened. I'm very confused. Is another bear gonna spawn? I, I'm- is, is there gonna be another bear? Why did this bear just spawn? Wait, where'd the Yangwai go? What just happened? Wait, are we good? Evan King, was that the family? <laughs> is, is, is it a family of bears? You didn't fucking tell me that. Is it a, what just happened? What? You know what? It doesn't matter, it's Fallout. Why am I even surprised? It's fucking Fallout. A bit, sure, a bear spawned, why not? A bear spawned, everybody. A fucking bear spawn. There's Evan King's house. Can't go in there yet. Or no, actually, no, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go search Evan. Yeah, I'm gonna search his house. Fuck it. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So yeah, in these games, <laughs> in in the Elder Scrolls games and Fallout games, they have like a handful of voice actors that voice like every character, pretty much. Like you're gonna hear the same voice actors like fucking a million times in these games. Oh, I look a bobblehead. <laughs> How convenient. It's a repair bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, Why go down with the ship when he can try and fix it? Your repair skill has been permanently increased by 10 points. Nice. Fan-fucking-tastic. I forgot that was in here. I just wanted to, like, loot his house. And hey, look, he's got loot. But, but you know, should I take this shit, though? I feel bad. <laughs> should I take his stuff? Yeah, I will take it, actually, as a matter of fact. Fuck it. I'll let him keep some of the- I'll, I'll just take the shotgun cells and the 556. How about that? I'll be a- I'll, I'll be a responsible thief. I'll just take- I'll just take a few things here and there. Just- just- just, just a little bit of thievery, eh? What does he need shotgun shells for? What does he need that bobblehead for? Nothing. It's my bobblehead now. Also, what is my repair skill at now? Like 60? Is it at 60 now because of that? Let me see. Where the fuck is my- here. Skills. Oh, no, oh god, it's 70 now. Holy shit. <laughs> I got 70 repair now. Hell yeah. I'm still paranoid of a bear spawning, but... I I genuinely wonder what caused that. Like, do you think it was the same bear earlier that helped me fight the Enclave? And then maybe it just, like, it's... It's coordinates got, like, fucked up or something and it spawned here? I wonder what the fuck happened. That was so weird. Is it down there? No. Huh. Whatever, I'm gonna save my game again before some- what? Wait, no. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save my game again. We have one more house to check. <laughs> Go check on the Wests. It's the only fucking family I haven't talked to yet. What a weird fucking game. Knock, knock. Oh, it's open. Oh, oh. Oh, you guys doing okay? You guys- You guys- You guys doing okay? I think I found where the bear went. I think I think if oh ah it says the family on the wall. I we are dealing with a family of bears. They mauled them. They're dead. You okay, Matilda? The bodies of the West have bite marks on the neck area that go to the bone. The lack of blood stains on the sheets is strange, as any bite or wound of that depth would have caused excessive bleeding. What do you fucking mean? There's no blood on the there's blood on the floor. There's nothing else on the corpse to indicate what happened. Ah. Oh, oh, sorry about that. I just, just stepped on his fucking skull. Well, they're dead. You guys okay? You guys are fine. God, look at his neck. Ew. Ugh. Y'all okay? Matilda, I have a letter for you. Do you want me to... <laughs> Can I... <laughs> Should I just leave it on the table? Should I just... I, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave it... Here, let me... Hold on. I'll, I'll put it in your dresser. There. Your letter's in your dresser. Have a good day. <laughs> have, have a good... Have a good day. Have a... Have it, let me out. God. Okay, yeah, dude. <laughs> hey, Evan, uh, you, you, one of your, what, there's literally a, a, a building full of dead people behind you. How'd you miss that, bud? How'd you let that slip by? How did somebody get mauled to death in their house, like two feet behind you? Can you explain that one to me, bud? I'm gonna save my game again. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? Yeah, they're fine. Did, did you know the West are dead? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. What? Sons of bitches. Damn it. We're on it. 
If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? I did not. I, I fuck. I, I found. I found two dead parents. I guess. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the <laughs> that river. That weirdo leader. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Okay. I have a message for the family from their daughter. <laughs> I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it back to Lucy or to Ian if you can find him. Okay, fine. Fucking. Yeah, they had bite marks on there. Are you, like. Do you want to tell me something about the family? Are they like, are they bears? There was a bear here earlier. Is that who the family is? Bite marks on their necks? Yeah. That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Sure. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. Oh, I like your hat, by the way. I just noticed he has the same hat that I have. <laughs> Good. He also has the same hat as me. I'll, I'll figure out what fucking happened to him, I guess. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Thank you. You're welcome. Where the fuck is the family at? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. Ah. Uh. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. I already went to... The Moonbeam Cinema, they weren't there. Next time I see the family, there's gonna be hell to pay. You got it. Anyway, I, so how... I'm still confused as to how did they... Because, like, the, the West House is at the very back of the fucking freeway. And, like, this is, like, a dead end. Isn't it? Right? No, hold on. Oh, it keeps going, I guess. Hold on. There's an enclave fucking post right there. Great. That's what I needed right now. You know, look, it's just, a, it's a dead end. So how in the fuck? <laughs> how, I, how did the, how did the family get to the very back of the town and kill just one family and then leave? Did they jump, <laughs> did they jump off the side of the freeway when they were done like I did? I didn't survive that. We, we just saw that happen two seconds ago. I didn't survive falling off the freeway, so how the fuck did they do it? You're gonna tell me they, they, they snuck all the way back here, murdered a family, and snuck all the way back out the front door? Mr. Evan King? Is that what they did? Is that what they fucking did, asshole? You're a real good guard, you know that? You're back already? What do you have for me? Nothing. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, cool. We gotta go find the fucking family now, I guess. We gotta go find them. He gave us three places to check. Um... Yeah, Hamilton Tideaway and Northwest Seneca Station. We were already at the Moonbeam Cinema. I guess I could fast travel here and then like check out the hideaway. Let's do that. Let's go check out the hideaway. Even it, it is nighttime right now. Maybe we'll find them outside. Yeah. Maybe we'll just bump into. Sorry, I heard something that scared me. What the fuck? I heard a noise. Yeah, maybe we'll just bump into them while we're walking around. That'd be pretty fucking good. Yeah. If we just happen to stumble upon them. Where am I going this way? Okay. Ooh. My coffee's gone. <laughs> I just I just finished off my coffee. So where the hell is this Hamilton's hideaway? Where am I? This is a this is a fucking pit. There's nothing here. Oh hold on, wait, I see something. <laughs> this is a cave. I found somebody's fucking Minecraft like shaft. Hello? Y'all digging for diamonds in here? Ooh, spooky. Hello. I'm uh, gonna get my shotgun out. I'm, I'm just, gonna, just gonna get my, my safety shotgun out, you know? Just, <laughs> just, just for safety reasons. It's pretty fucking dead in here, though. There's nobody here. There's nothing on my compass? Hello? I got a flashlight. There's nobody in here. <laughs> good. It's a free fucking loot though, yeah? Yeah, give me that. Scrap metal's always good. I can bring that to 
What's his fucking Protector Kazan is the name, yeah? Gimme, gimme. Ooh. Bottle cap mine? Fuck yeah, I can sell that. <laughs> I never use bottle cap mines, it's just free money basically. Why is this place such a shithole? Wait, come on, come down here and clean your fucking town your house is up. Duh! Get away from me. Oh, are you stuck? Are you <laughs> oh 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 never mind, you're not stuck. Oh he was having a fucking giggle. He was joking. He was merely pretending he, he couldn't climb the fucking stairs. Don't ever do that again. That scared me. Hello? What is this? What is this, like, structure I'm in currently? It's like just a bunch of, like, mechanical shit inside of a cave. Like, what is this place meant to be? Uh huh. Hello? <laughs> oh, hello. Are you part of the family? Excuse me. C can you help me? I'm looking for somebody to Ian West. I have a I have a letter to deliver to him. No. Okay. That's fine. Well, there was one red scorpion in here. There's no bears, at least. Oh, hello. Hi. Do you know where Ian's at? No, of course you don't. Why the fuck would you- Die, please! Thank you- Oh god, her head exploded. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, hell, help me. I sneezed. Alright. What's this? I, you think I'm gonna read all these? Are you kidding me? Oh no, these are from 200 years ago. These are from 200 fucking years ago when the bombs fell. His hair is falling out within a week of him showing up. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to believe it could save him. Nothing I do, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what the lore right now. I'm looking for Ian. Citizens of Recopolis! Oh, I can hear it skittering and then fucking sneaks. I don't like that. It's gross. I'm in a corner. I'm in a corner. Help. Now you're in a corner, bitch. Ooh! I got a skill book. And a new Coca Cola Quantum. Fuck yeah. Uh huh. Y'all you know, liking the radio play going on in the background? You guys enjoying that? Oh, now music is playing. Go away. Shut up. No music. <laughs> YouTube doesn't like when I play music. I don't know what I just picked up. I don't know what I just fucking picked up. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll let the radio play when there's people talking on it, but the second music comes on, that shit's getting turned off. <laughs> Sadly. Hello? A dead raider? Oh my fucking god. Get away from me. I shot the dead one. Oh, you can't come back here. Too big? <laughs> Too big? Wait, I have a fucking... What am I doing? I have a flamethrower. What am I doing? Come here. You all ready to eat a fucking bug? You want to eat some bugs? You all ever had a fucking fried scorpion? Come here. Yeah. You know, speaking of that... That reminded me, just thinking about eating a scorpion reminded me of those fucking... Has anybody ever seen those like weird like lollipops you can get? That have like a scorpion inside of them? Like it's like, it's like a see-through like candy like sucker. With a fucking scorpion inside of it. Like why are those a thing? Do, do people buy those? Do people enjoy it? Did, did, did anybody ever have one of those? Anybody ever eat a fucking scorpion sucker? I never have. I've seen them before and I'm like why would I want that? Also god look at the size of this fucking thing. Out of my way please, you're blocking the door. <laughs> you're blocking the door bud. Hello? Oh! And now you're dead. And you're dead too. <laughs> yeah, have you, have, you, have you heard of those things before? They're gross. I fucking see them on sale sometimes in places. I'm like, who the fuck eats those? Like, it's cool for a neat little novelty thing, I guess. Yeah, to like show somebody. But it's like, has anybody ever actually eat one? 
I, I can't imagine like sucking on that sucker and then like suddenly getting to the center of it and there's just like, a fucking scorpion in the middle of it. It's, it's, it's gross. Or sometimes, sometimes it's not even a scorpion, sometimes it's like other fucking bugs. It's like, why do, you, why do people do that? Not that eating bugs is exactly gross, I suppose. Like, you can eat bugs. <laughs> but, I mean, they, 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 I don't know, they're full of fucking protein, right? They're good for you, right? You can eat bugs. But, like, why, though? Like, why would you voluntarily choose to get a sucker with a fucking scorpion in the middle of it? Just nasty. There sure are a lot of beds in here. With no mattresses, sadly. The fucking mattress fairy show up and steal everything? <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Hello? Hi. I'm the exterminator. I'm cleaning this place. I'm looking for Ian. Also the family. I'm gonna take a while to guess the family's not in here. <laughs> Don't eat bugs, the legs will get stuck in your teeth. Yeah, it's like potato chips. It's like when you do It's like when you're munching on some potato chips. It's just like that. Just like a little bit more crunchy. A little bit, <laughs> a little bit more crunchy and meaty. Mmm. Very tasty. Ooh. Oh, God damn it. I don't think I've ever eaten a bug before in my life. Funnily enough. That's not. No, I, I, I guarantee you I fucking ate an ant or something at some point as a kid. There's no fucking way. There's no way in hell I didn't eat a fucking. I, I didn't eat a goddamn. Oh, oh, oh fuck, goddamn it. Kabu? Kabu's here? We're talking about eating bugs and now Kabu's gonna show up to fucking. Yeah, Kabu, hold on. Here, hold, Kabu, come here. I'm gonna make you smaller though, buddy. You're, the, you're a little large right now, Kabu. I'm gonna make you a little bit smaller. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry, Kabu. I'll stop talking about eating bugs. I apologize. Kabu! Kabu, Kabu! <laughs> would I eat bugs in front of Kabu? No, I would not. I would never do such a thing in front of Kabu. Kabu? Oh, am I done? Did I already... There's no way I searched the whole fucking level already, yeah? <laughs> you ate a grasshopper as a kid, but because you did it because somebody else did it. You didn't want to get one up by them. Good. That's as good a reason as I need to do something, yeah? Uh, oh, hold on, there's a hole back here. Hole reveal. What? What do you mean requires key? There's shit back there. There's a mini nuke and a stealth boy. There's a gun, there's a book of some kind back there. What is that? What is that? That's a guns and bullets book. Motherfucker, where's the key out for this damn thing? God damn it. There's no family here though. I think I searched ugh, pretty sure I searched the entire place at this point. There was like one raider in here. There was a single raider and a bunch of rand scorpions. <laughs> you once cross-dressed this thing Snow Halation on stage. I'm pretty sure I saw that. <laughs> I think I saw you post that in somebody's Discord. Ugh. Ooh. I don't want to search him again, god damn it. Kill, there was nothing in here, that was a bust. I gotta find the key for that fucking storage room. I thought this I, I thought this sledgehammer was a giant comically large bone for a second. I thought it was like a, just a very large, comically large sized bone. Whoop. What am I doing? I guess there's only one other place to check that, yeah. We already checked Moonbeam Cinema. And now we checked Hamilton Tideaway. Hamilton, I said that incorrectly, but <laughs> we checked out Hamilton Tideaway. We got one more place to go. Gotta go to Northern Seneca Station. I'm glad the game auto saved, by the way, earlier when fucking Evan King got murdered by a Yao Guai. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. That was so fucking weird. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. So where is Seneca Station at? Oh, it's to my Oh, it's like right there. It's up there somewhere. Okay, cool. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Isn't it nice that I can walk around the night in this game now? I know I mention that like every fucking time I'm out here, but it, it, it's just nice. 
I can walk around and enjoy the game at nighttime now. And I can actually like have a viewable stream at night. Because <laughs> it's not fucking pitch black anymore. Is it unrealistically bright now? Yeah, a little bit. It's a little bit unrealistically bright, but also fuck you. Yeah, there's fucking RFO. Hello? Cornucopia fresh groceries. Hold on. Ooh. Do they got bananas in here? Do <laughs> they got some bananas in here? Oh, there's a rat roach in here. That's disgusting. You, you, you can come here real quick, button. Thank you. You having fun there, bud? You having, okay, you, having, you having a fun time there, Mr. Rad Roach? <gasps> a new Coca-Cola truck. Fuck yeah, it's going straight to my house. What the fuck is John Henry Eden talking about right now? Oh, we're talking about baseball. I don't even know how audible the radio is in this game for people watching currently. Like it's, I can hear it, but that's because I have a fucking headset on. <laughs> and even for me, it's like mildly quiet, so I'm sure you guys can't even fucking hear it. Anyway, let me hack this terminal that I can't, uh... No. I don't need to hack this terminal, but I want to for the experience. So bottles was not even close to correct. <laughs> based on what? It's, it's baseball. It's baseball. Everybody wears drip in baseball. Annoyed? It's annoyed. Gotcha. You know who isn't annoyed tonight? Me. <laughs> I'm not annoyed tonight because my game hasn't fucking crashed yet. It's the first time I've streamed this game without a single crash happening. It's a miracle. It's gonna happen now, obviously, because I mentioned it, but... At least I'm happy for the time being. This is John Henry Eden, signing off. And now he's playing Happy... I mean, does this shit get copyright claimed? Does fucking Happy Good Time America music get claimed? Something something purple mountain majesties. Please don't DMCA me. America, America. Is there any other good loot in here? <laughs> no? Okay. I got to kill some rad roaches, I guess, and loot a safe. That was something. Alright. <laughs> Baseball, though. What the fuck? I'm trying to look at Jack Penis. Jesus Christ, it scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I, was, I was laughing at baseball. Or baseball, whatever the fuck. Here, let me... Okay, we're getting attacked by talent company, it turns out. Fuck me. You're coming at me with a knife, idiot? You're ugly. Wait, no, I didn't want your knife. I wanted your armor. Fuck, I'm stupid. God, scared the fuck out of me. I was loud as shit. What the hell did he shoot me with? I almost died. Like, whatever the... Not the guy with the knife, but the guy... The other guy fucking shot me with something and damn near killed me. He must have got a headshot, I guess, yeah? Oh! <laughs> oh! I, he has a fucking tri-beam laser rifle, I think, is what he's shooting me with. Ow! That's a new weapon we haven't seen yet. Tri-beam laser rifles are real powerful. There we go. Give me that, I want it. Mute fruit, yada yada. Yeah, tri-beam laser rifle, fuck yeah. A tri-beam laser rifle is about what you would expect it to be. It's a uh, laser rifle <laughs> that shoots out three shots at once. It's real good. It's a real strong fucking weapon. However, my energy skill... Oh, what's the sight gonna look like on... Oh, it doesn't have a sight. I can't... There's no iron sights on this, I guess. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, um, even though my energy weapon skill is real low, I'm pretty sure this is still a pretty decent gun. I'm gonna keep this. Don't shoot me, penis. <laughs> yeah, that guy's dead. I cut his fucking head off. I just cut his entire head off with that. How you like that, you fucking nerd? Huh? How do you like that? Your head's got cut off. You ever get your head chopped off by a gun? You just did. Now you're in the trash. Good. 
I got a fancy new gun now. This thing will probably be overpowered as fuck once I get my energy weapon skill up. Because, like, look how much damage this thing does. Where's it at? It does 35 damage per shot. And I think that means each of the beams do 35 damage separately. So, like, if they get hit with all three beams at once, it does, like, over 100 damage. <laughs> like, that's insane. And that's with me, uh, only having 17 in my energy weapon skill. So imagine. Imagine if I just start dumping points into this bad boy. Real fucking powerful weapon, that. I can't aim down sights with it, which is kind of annoying, but whatever, it's fine. Cool, cool. Time to check out the Seneca Station, finally. And they have to be down here, right? They can't be anywhere else? He only gave me three... I mean, then again, I guess they could be somewhere else. <laughs> they don't have to be in one of the three places that they said, but... There's a dead body. I see friendlies on my radar. Hello? Hi. You're not... Not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? Who the hell are you? Yeah, what secrets? The secret of making Ultra Jet, obviously. Ultra Jet. Oh, damn it. Now the cat's out of the bag. Typical me. Yeah, what the... Yeah, what, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? You've never heard of it? No. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Hmm. Only trouble is it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Oh, yeah? Say, you might be able to help me with that. That depends. What are we talking about here? What do you, what do you need, buddy? What do you need? It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. Sugar bombs. I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, Ultra Jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? Is that all you got, 15? Make it 30, my man. Fine, anything to get what I need. Now scram. I got some preparing to do. Neat. There you go. <laughs> there's the there's the dude. That's the guy I was talking about earlier who wants sugar bombs. We've been collecting sugar bombs all game. It's for this motherfucking guy. He's, he's, he's down here making drugs. And he needs sugar bombs to make said drugs. So what did you bring me? I don't really know why he needs them, but uh, yeah. Fucking. Yeah, here's all the sugar bombs I have currently. Nice work. The Ultra Jet's coming along nicely. Uh-huh. I had two sugar bombs on me. That's, th that's fucking 60 caps. Thanks. So, what did you bring me? Can I? Can, can, I, can I buy some Ultra Jet? Yeah, as soon as you bring me some more sugar bombs. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Goodbye. Yep. Yep. Also, who's this guy? Is Barrett? Yeah. The hell you looking at, smooth skin? What did you just pick up? What did you... Perfy, where are you... Where you going, bud? You okay? That was fucking weird. Hi, who? So, what did you bring me? Who's Barrett? What's he doing there? He's my assistant and my backup. In case things get rough. I wouldn't mess with him if I were you. Okay. Sorry that I keep, like, popping my, <laughs> my fucking bones right into my microphone, by the way. Sorry about that. I can't help myself. Alright, have you heard of the family? I guess since we're here, have you met are you part of the family? Sure. I stay away from them and they don't bother me. Oh. It's a good relationship. They live somewhere east of here. If you're feeling foolish, I think there's an underground way through their place deeper into the metro station here. Oh. Okay. Goodbye. Yep. Do what you gotta do. Yep. Okay, cool. Can I take any of your shit? You got any skill books back here? <laughs> That's all I'm here to loot. If you got skill books, I'll take them. Or some bobbleheads, maybe? No, okay. You ain't got shit. All right, well, there we go. I, I might come Damn back. One ugly son of a bitch. I'm going to punch you in the fucking cock, Barrett. But, like, I can, uh... I'm going to come back here later to... There's some goo. I guess we're going down here. <laughs> we're going down here. But, um, I'm going to come back here later because I do want to get some Ultra Jet. I don't want it for... I don't want it to use it. I just want it to have it. <laughs> because, again, I can't help myself and I want to collect one of everything in this game. So I will come back with some more sugar bombs, sell them to Murphy, and then buy some Ultra Jet. 
probably off stream. Oh good, there's Mario Lurks here, lovely. Little do they know that I have my patented triple laser rifle. Get away from me. Oh. Bitch. Hold on, wait, hold on, time out. <laughs> time out, I gotta reload. Nerd. Shouldn't let me get a timeout, you dumb dumb. There's no timeouts in baseball. Oh, big damage. Fuck. This thing's pretty good. Wait, does it take three shots? Wait, hold on, does it? Oh, it does. I wasn't even paying attention. It, it does take three ammo per shot. That makes sense, but I didn't even realize that. Do I think Prince Philip referred to others as smooth skin? I, I don't know about that. Maybe. I don't know fucking anything about Prince Philip other than that he, yeah, he looked like a corpse a little bit, yeah? That's about all I knew about that guy. I saw pictures of him and I'm like, ooh. And then he died apparently and I was like, okay. <laughs> There's a grenade bouquet up here. Give me that. Thank you. Wait, can I, wait, I can't disarm this yet, can I? No, my fucking explosive skill isn't high enough yet. God damn it. Oh, hi. Dead Meyer Lurk, are you okay? No, you're not. You're fucking dead. What do you mean, are you okay? Give me that. Give me that. Oh! What the- Ow! Ah! Ah, I see there's bear traps on the floor. I should probably turn my fucking flashlight on now so I can see- Why does that- are you, Why were you moving a second ago, bud? <laughs> why was that Mario like moving a second ago? That was weird. Okay, whatever. I gotta be on the lookout oh. for you! I gotta be on the lookout for bear traps. He says, walking directly into one again. I should probably heal real quick, yeah? <laughs> Before I step on another bear trap. That'll do. You recently learned that there's some tribe somewhere that worships him as a god? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Why? For why? But for why? Is this the right way? <laughs> Let me just walk into every single trap. I'm gonna walk into every single fucking trap. Yeah, you, rig shotgun. Oh, I can disarm it now at least. Great. Cool. At least I disarmed it after it shot me in the stomach. Oh. Why did I get microfusion cells for dismantling that shotgun? What the fuck? Like, I got shotgun shells, but I also got microfusion cells for some reason? The Prince Philip movement is a religious sect followed by the Castom people. Hold on, I'm trying to look at my screen. Castom people around the villages of Y- I, I can pronounce that word in Yakel on the southern island of Tana in Van Vanuat Vanuatu? Vanuatu. It is a cargo cult of the that word that I can't pronounce tribe who believe the divinity of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. They believe in the, they, what the f why do they why? <laughs> <laughs> Again, the why? Oh, here's a trap. Is that a fucking... That's a hunk of Brahmin meat. That's a cool fucking trap you got there. Sure would be a shame if that fell down and hit me, yeah? Oh, I'm detect... Oh, it's a friendly here. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Did you lay those traps down? Hello. I'm gonna save my game before I talk to this guy. It's fucking weird, though. Why the fuck do people worship that guy as a god? He's dead. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? I'm looking for the family, as a matter of fact. Uh. Yeah, I have a letter for Ian West from his sister. Wait, should I do that or do the speech check? Because, like, it's 100%, so, like, it's just free XP. I, I'll just do it for the free XP? Sure. All right, all right. I guess you look harmless enough. Thank you. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. The mezzanine, what a fucking word. All right, uh, what is this place? <laughs> this lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the hole. headquarters of the family. Tell me about the family, are you, are you part of the family? We are a badass gang and we don't take shit from nobody. We also don't uh -huh. like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. I'm gonna punch you in the cock. Goodbye. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. So why'd you kill those cows outside, bud? Like, like why'd you... 
Why'd you why why'd you kill those Brahmin outside? Any particular reason you murdered those Brahmin? It was probably weirder when he was alive. That is true, yeah. I guess worshipping a living like a random living man's kinda of fucking weird. Alright, well, you got any loot here? I'm not gonna loot all the random garbage, but like if they have any skill bucks, I'll, I will absolutely take those. I want skill bucks. There's ammo everywhere. Oh, the adventures we had. <gasps> oh. Well, oh, wait, this doesn't count as stealing. Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know why that doesn't count as stealing. Too bad it's a skill book that I don't need because I already have a hundred fucking lockpick. A single bottle cap, it's mine now. How many of your children can say the same? How many of this nation's youth are truly happy? You think he'll care if I just check his uh, terminal? I'm just gonna check his terminal real quick. I think, think he'll notice. <laughs> I think he'll give a shit. If I, just, if I just hack his PC real quick. I like how he fell asleep, by the way. He let me in, he's like, I've got my eye on you. And then he immediately heads to his bed and fucking falls asleep. It's like, yeah, good job, asshole. Shut the fuck up, John Henry Eden. Ooh. Oh, there's only one left. I'm done. Survival list. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. All right, cool, cool. Is there anything cool in this terminal? Oh, no, it's just unlock. Okay, never mind. Lame. It's just a one. I mean, it was free XP, I guess. It was free XP. Hello, Ian. I have a I have a letter from your sister. Also, your mom and dad are dead. <laughs> also, your mom and dad are dead. It has nothing to do with the letter. I sure hope the letter isn't about mom, your mom and dad. That'd be that'd be a real fucking shame, wouldn't it? If Lucy West was like sending a message to ask about how the parents were doing. Hi. Y'all got a y'all got a nice club down here. Fuck is this shit? Shut up. <laughs> no music. I'm gonna mute that. Alright, there's like nobody fucking here. There's two people up there. I'm gonna talk to them, I guess. I was wondering if the sweet girl. Yes, my love. I wonder if the family will really work. Sometimes uh. with all the troubles we have, it seems impossible to hold it together. Don't even think of <laughs> Oh, come on now, Vance. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. You're doing what's best for these people. If it wasn't for you, they'd be living in the waste. What you guys or talking dead. about? You always have had a knack for making me feel better. It's the least I can do, Vance. What you guys talking about? So much and rarely receive. I'm glad I'm here to help. What you guys talking about? Welcome to the rest. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Sorry. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Sorry. There we go. Hi. How you doing? Who the fuck are you? I'm saying my game before I talk to you. Look, you're gonna murder me. Welcome to our home. Hello. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. So why'd you kill and those to cows? Do I owe the pleasure of your visit. Why'd you kill those cows? Uh. Yeah. What? What is this place? <laughs> I've stumbled upon the world's first underground insane asylum. No. What is this place? What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is oh, yeah? a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. I left my thesaurus at home. The Thor you got like my fucking lisp there? That was horrible. The Thor I can't say the word thesaurus. Thesaurus. God, Dino T Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, continue, dickhead. We are the remnants of society. Cast aside like the clean picked bones of a hunter's feast. Yeah? I led my flock beneath the sun baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, mm. eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. I mean, do you eat human flesh? Do you. Do you. Yeah, what do you. Should I do that? I know exactly what you are, do I? <laughs> I don't know what they are. Johnny apparently knows what they are. <laughs> Fucking Johnny's got a speech check here that he apparently is very confident and he knows what they are. I don't, I don't know what the fuck they are. Sure, let's click on this one. 
None of this talk is necessary. I know exactly what you are. You amaze me. <laughs> Never have I met a human with the gift of cognition that you possess. Wow. Tell me then, what are we? I, oh, I, oh, he's gonna call me on my bluff. Uh huh. You're a collective of seriously messed up freaks. You're cannibals. If I said vampires, you said I was right. We both be crazy. You're <laughs> you're vampires. At least you are they vampires? What do you mean they're vampires? They they eat people. You know, yeah, you know, you're vampires. I guess we're both fucking insane. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? No. Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Yeah. Now ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I still don't know you, who you I've are. these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter. Organization and a sense of belonging. You show them the ways of the vampire. They're just a little bit edgy. Yeah, a little bit. Fucking, I mean, I like Shadow the Hedgehog too, dude. But you don't see me acting like this. Fucking. Yeah, you do this by teaching them that they're mythical beings? Now you disappoint. Me. <laughs> you need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. Why do you drink blood, penis? I've reined in their cravings and Why do you drink to blood? Not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Why do you drink the Most blood? Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Yeah, sure. Anyway, I'm looking for <laughs> I'm looking for Ian West. It's cool that you guys sit down here and you have a little, you know, you have a little get together and you drink blood and shit, but like, I'm looking for Ian? Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? I, he needs to go home. I guess I have a letter for him. Yeah, you murdered his parents. But anyway, I got a letter for him, I guess, from his sister. Then a part of his human family still remains? Uh huh. Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. What do you fucking mean? He is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. That's cool, dude, but... Yeah, wh wh what happened to him, I guess? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. What? It drove him to kill his parents. Oh. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. What? Why were you there? You're, you're, he's, 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 he's a cannibal? I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us. What? A member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. His family was food to him. <laughs> His family was food. All right. So wait. So this guy was just there at the time. Like, how did, how did you stop him from eating his parents? Like, were you just like fucking like hanging out outside of his window or like? I don't. I don't get it. Anyway, I have a fucking letter. It's all left of his old life. Just let, let me show him the letter, dude. Your words impress me, human. Don't call me Perhaps human, you fucking twat. You when we first met. If you wish to speak to Ian, you are free to do so. Here is the code to the area in which he is meditating. Thanks. I'm gonna go back there. He's gonna be playing fucking melee. He's just gonna be on a CRT playing fucking melee. That's what meditating is down here. Hi, who are you? Motherfucker just called me human. Jesus fucking... Yeah, good. Should I loot their house? <laughs> Should I loot their house really quick? I'm gonna loot their house. We do a little bit of looting. Just a tad bit. Ooh. Uh-huh. It reminds you of the Always Sunny episode where Dee and Charlie think like, they eat human meat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck. Go, oh, damn it. Come on. I don't... Please? There's probably nothing even good in here. Oh, okay, what do you got for me? Oh, cool. I'm not going to take those because I don't want them. I'll take your ammo. What's on your terminal? Conspirators. <laughs> Fuck. Good. First try. I'm a genius. I'm a fucking master hacker. Vampires defined. Daytime fear. Vampire destruction. 
Oh, here we go. Regarding the Arafu incident, what's this? Regarding Arafu. I do not want an incident like this happening ever again. I was very clear that we are not to represent ourselves in a hostile way. The killing of the town's Brahmin was an act that was both unnecessary and potentially damaging to my work. I'm dealing with a very delicate situation in this town. I will not have it undermined by actions of revenge on humankind. D don't, you're, you're a human too, penis. Just because you drink blood doesn't mean you're not a fucking human, you weirdo. Our time will come, I promise you. Cool. So I guess they didn't want to do that? So, so, so I guess they, 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 they didn't purposely kill the cows? And why did the cows die? Vampires defiant. Vampires are beings based in folklore that prey on humans for the purpose of obtaining their blood. In these fictitious stories, the blood serves as both a food source and a center of power for the vampire. It is a common motif in these tales that a victim could become a vampire if bitten by one. Other noted attributes of the vampire are its abilities to change into a form of a bat or wolf, to become a gas sorry, to become gaseous at will, the ability to hypnotize the opposite gender, and then increase lifespan. You're not fucking vampires. <laughs> this is very accurate to real life hacking? Yeah, definitely. That's exactly how it works. You just, you just open up a good sword cabinet? Sword cabinet? Yo! Wait, hold on. <laughs> Y'all got swords in here? Fuck. Like, listen, I might be making fun of you guys for being edgy, but I do like swords. Because <laughs> at the end of the day... Ooh! Vampire's Edge. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, now I'm the edgy one. Fuck yeah. You will feel the sting of my cold vampire blade. Oh, it's a teddy bear in here. That's cute. All right. Well, I got a fucking, I got a vampire sword now. I guess. What does it do? Weapons. Vampire's edge. It doesn't do anything special. It's just a fucking. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. It's a sword. I do indeed have a sword now. Uh huh. Hey, Vance. <laughs> hey, Vance. Hey. I got a sword. Hey. Oh, come on now, Vance? Vance. You're doing what's best for these people. He doesn't care. He's too fucking busy. Living in the waste or dead. A cabinet exclusively dedicated to swords. I know, cool, right? It's very cool. I guess Ian's in here. Let's speak. Let's speak. Let's speak with Ian real quick. Oh, hold on. Ian, I got mail for you, bud. Unlock security door. Activate internal security? What the fuck? No! <laughs> Jesus! Are there turrets in here? Hi, Ian. How you doing? Uh, Ian, so I have... I, I, I got news for you. I got a letter from your sister. Also, your parents are dead, but I guess you already know that. Uh, what do you want? Uh -huh. <laughs> You're a bitch to find. I've been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. A little bit. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. Wh yeah, Ian, your parents are dead. You think I don't know that? I do know. You think I don't know what I did? Yeah, I know. I know what you did. Vance told me everything. Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Stay here and cry. Look, Ian. I know loss too. I know it hurts, but staying here isn't the answer. Maybe I can help you. Help? How can you help? There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. Mm -hmm. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. Lucy's- No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? Lucy's living a megaton, you dum-dum. <laughs> the only way to beat your nightmares is to face them. Uh-huh. If Lucy is still alive, I bet we fucking good. T take his letter, Ian. Lucy wrote it. She's fine. She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me and here a lot. Boo. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Yeah, you're dumb. Please tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. Arfu. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes. Then I'll head on back. Okay, bud. There, I delivered the letter finally. <laughs> I finally did it. Ugh, it took for fucking ever. Alright, have, have fun. I'm gonna shut the door, Ethan. Have fun in there. Get your shit packed. We're going home. 
Fucking raid night's canceled. Anyway, hi Vance. Yeah, Ian's not saying here. He thinks you're all fucking weird. He didn't say that, but I'm gonna pre lot to speak about. We do. I'm gonna pretend that he said that though, because you're fucking weird. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. It did. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? He did indeed come to a decision. Let's see here. You know, yeah, actually, before we talk about Ian, we still gotta talk about Arafu. Because you guys are, like, murdering everybody. Also, by the way, everybody, T-minus is five seconds. You have five seconds before it is 420. Five, four, three, two, one. It is currently 420, everybody. Make a wish. You have one minute to make a wish. <laughs> everybody make a wish. It is currently 420. Anyway, what are we doing here? Yeah, let's talk about what happened to fucking Arafu, you weirdo. As long as you maintain this level of civility... Please proceed. Civility. I, I wouldn't call me civil. Give these people a chance. They're defenseless. Vampires can drink any kind of human blood, even from even from blood packs. I believe the blood preserved in blood packs can provide you with what you need. There must be an alternative source of blood you can survive on. How can I convince you to stop preying on them? Yeah, you guys are kind of like fucking assholes. You're just going there and like... take. You're just attacking people because you're fucking weirdos. Hmm. You wish to not have infinite wishes. You wish to not be addicted to drugs. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't tell me what your wish is, otherwise it won't happen. You wish cute girls. <laughs> you just you just wish cute girls. Good. Great. Jesus fucking crazed. Do you have zero stream delay right now? Maybe. You might. Do you guys have a quality options tonight, by the way? I noticed in my previous stream, in my last Pokemon stream, I had quality options. Sometimes Twitch does that. It doesn't always do it. I rarely ever get quality options, but I had it last time. Anyway, what the fuck are we doing here? Yeah, you can drink. Get blood packs instead, you fucking weirdos. Curious. Curious. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital wards. Uh-huh. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? Arafu donated blood packs and you leave the town alone. That's fucking stupid. Arafu donated blood packs to the stage. You protect them. Ooh. Oh, I see. Arafu will sell you blood packs and you leave the town alone. How about they just give you... They, they could donate blood, I guess. Then you protect... You know, fucking yeah, go protect them, dickhead. You fucking killed their cows. Go help them out now, dick. Agreed. <laughs> Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. Nice. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. Stop calling me your kind. It like is a lesson I will not forget. I, I, I am now, your kind. What of young Ian? Tell me his decision. You are human, you dum dum. Vance's proposal added. Oh, you do have options tonight. That's cool. Nice. I like that because yeah, I, I stream at 720p because like just in case people don't get options, then at the very least the highest it'll go is 720. Because boy howdy, have I been to a bunch of streams before where there's no quality options and I'm stuck watching at 108060 and it buffers every fucking two seconds. That's not fun. So I'm glad there's quality options tonight. Anyway, fucking Ian decided to leave the family. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. I like how this lady's just been All standing here <laughs> this entire time just standing right here. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. I'm sure I will. Please. I want you to take this. Uh oh? Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Don't call me human. Our time together has been rather educational. Edutainual. Oh, he gave me a shish kebab schematic. Okay, well, thanks, I guess. I can make a shish kebab now. <laughs> I'm sorry I stole your sword. I'm not going to give it back, though. Okay, well, we can leave now. Go back to Evan King. We have to go back to Evan King and tell him about this proposal. <laughs> no, also, I'm not going to kill him because he's too edgy. Listen, he's going to go. We're going to set up a deal between these weirdos and Arafu, and they can protect the town, and they can just donate blood. That way, these freaking weirdos don't murder people to drink their blood, and then they get protection at Arafu. There you go. It's going to be a little annoying, I guess, having to donate blood to these people, but at least it's better than them like trying to murder them in the night and taking it by force. That's fine, I guess. 1080p sucks and you have decent internet? That was loud as shit, Jesus. Yeah, I know, me too. 
Like, sometimes I can watch a 1080p stream perfectly fine with no issues, but, like, if, it, if it's... Sometimes even... It, it's usually just a 60 FPS part that fucks my internet up. Like, I can watch a 720 60 FPS stream and, like, it'll just buffer constantly. It's just... The 60 FPS thing just really, like, takes a chunk out of my internet connection. Also, where am I going? I'm going back this way now, I guess, yeah? Is there another way out of here? Wait, yeah, I, I mentioned that before, though. That is the reason I stream at 720. It's because, like, it's just more accessible for people to watch my streams if it's not at a super high fucking... Whatever you call it. Also, I don't think 720 looks that bad. Like, I, I'm used to that, that. Like, I usually watch things on my phone to begin with, for one thing. Like, I personally, like, watch shit on my phone. <laughs> I barely ever use my, like, my PC. And then on top of that, when I watch stuff on my phone, I watch it fucking 480p. Because, like, I just can't tell. Because it's on a smaller screen, so it's like, who cares? I understand that on a bigger screen, yeah. 480p probably looks like shit on a fucking big screen, but like I watch on my phone screen. So at the very least, I fucking stream at like 720 because it's it's like a little bit better than 480. What the f hello? What is this? <laughs> baby, baby, the baby exploded. <laughs> Jesus, good. All right. Oh, okay, I couldn't disarm that. My explosive skills not high enough. It's like twice the frames, yeah. But it's like it's just crazy how much it eats up the internet, though. It's like it's weird, like just having it at 60 FPS. I, I remember the first time I, cause, like, like I guess it's been like a year. It's, it's I've almost been streaming for a year now at this point. But I, I remember when I first started streaming, just disarm that, please, Jesus. It was terrifying. But when I first started streaming, I, uh, I think the first stream I ever tried doing, I was streaming at fucking, I was streaming at 1080 60 and uh. Boy, howdy, it, it, it stuttered constantly. Like, I had a friend in my chat watching it for me to, like, let me know how it was, and it was it was just stuttering fucking constantly. It was horrible. And then I tried, and then I just tried toning it down to, like, 720, 60, and it worked better. Like, I was able to stream, at least, without it, like, stuttering every two seconds when I was at, when I was doing 720, 60, but, like, I still stuttered. And then I just, I just got rid of the 60. I went to 30, and it's, it's fucking perfect. I never have issue with it anymore. It's good. So that's why I stream that way, because I want people to be able to watch my streams. Because again, there's been so many times I've gone to other people's streams when they don't get quality options, which isn't their fault. Like, you're, you, if you're not fucking partnered with Twitch, you can't, you can't, you, you're, you're not guaranteed quality options on your streams. So like, it's not their fault that they don't have quality options, but like, it's fucking annoying when it happens. <laughs> if they're streaming at like 720, 60 or like 1080, 60, and you just can't watch the stream because it's like, sorry, you don't have super internet. Anyway, give me that. You don't even look at streams usually, you just listen. You always have the video quality turned down when you can. Yeah, me too. I do that at work a lot. <laughs> like, don't, don't tell anybody at my work that I do that, but I, <laughs> at work I, uh, I just like, I have like, I, 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 I listen to streams a lot when I'm at work. I'll just plug in my fucking headphones and like put one earbud in and just set it to the lowest quality setting and just like, and just listen to streams when I'm at work. Depending on the game anyway, I, I do enjoy watching, like I prefer watching streams when I can, but like, depending on the game, like this game, for example, there's a lot of fucking downtime. There sure is a lot of me walking around doing a whole lot of nothing. And there's occasionally broken up by me like talking to people or shooting people. So like, you know, it's fine to like not have to, it's nice to like not have to pay attention to a stream entirely. It's good. I prefer, I just heard an explosion. Hello? I heard an explosion. I don't know what that was. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Oh, it's a scorpion. And it sees me. Good. I think the scorpion might have attacked an iBot. This is what that noise was. That explosion might have been an iBot exploding. Cool fucking bush. Get away from me. Eh. Come here. Come here, penis. Do you like my cool auto axe? <laughs> Isn't it cool and loud? There we go. Yummy. Oh, yummy. Red scorpion legs. Resolution and frame rate wouldn't affect stuttering from a bandwidth perspective. Bitrate controls the bandwidth needed, and low resolution frame rate just makes bitrate look better. Uh oh. Because all I know is that when I was trying to stream originally, like, it, it was my very first stream. I, I was playing fucking DK64. <laughs> and it wasn't my actual first official stream. I, like, literally labeled it as, like, fucking, like, troubleshooting and technical problems What I like is what I, like, labeled the fucking stream. And I just had my friend in chat, like, watching it, and, and it was stuttering really, really bad for them. 
And when I went and rewatched it myself, like, yeah, it was horrible. Like, it was stuttering every two seconds when I was at 1080-60. And then once I turned it down to 720-60, it stopped stuttering, but it would just occasionally have issues. It would drop frames a lot when I did that. Oh, yeah, so it wasn't stuttering. I, yeah, sorry. I, I, didn't, I shouldn't have said stuttering. I should have said frame drops. I don't know why the fuck I said stuttering. <laughs> sorry. You know, it was dropping frames like crazy when I was at 1080-60. That's what I meant to fucking say. God, I don't, know, I don't know why I said stuttering. Sorry about that. Swoop. Also, what? It's August. Yeah, it's August 4th right now. When the fuck did I start streaming? I'm gonna go look at that right now. When the fuck did I start streaming? I think it was like August. I think, I think it was August 30th? 28th? I'm trying to look at my fucking channel on YouTube and it won't let me. <laughs> I can't look at my own fucking channel. Come here. I'm scrolling through my shit. When the fuck oh. did I- I'm being shot at! <laughs> I'm looking at my phone, leave me alone. I don't know what's shooting me. I started streaming on August 25th. There we go, cool. So it's almost been a year. Oh, it's almost been a year. Okay. Anyway, what the fuck is shooting me now? Why am I dying? What's happening? <gasps> Who are you people? Oh. Twitch is reporting that I'm streaming at 50,000. Yeah, I, I am streaming at uh, 5,500 kilobits about that. Yeah, that's what I have it set to. Which apparently is, I have heard from many people that that is apparently overboard for 720p. But like, listen, it's okay. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. What the fuck is shooting me currently? Because yeah, I, I have been told by multiple people, not even just you. I haven't been told by other people that I should probably like lower my bitrate. Who the f oh, it's a raider. I was like, who the fuck is this? Oh, but, like I'm fine with my bitrate being what it's at. I don't know. I could I could lower it. I probably should lower it. It would probably prevent frame drops if I just lowered my bitrate a little bit. I would probably stop dropping frames as much as I usually do. Maybe I'll try that next time I stream. Who knows? Maybe next time on stream, I'll, I'll fucking drop it down to like 4,000 bits or something. 4,000 fucking bit rate. Because apparently that's about adequate for a 720p stream. And we'll see how it looks. Kick ass. Kick ass. What do you. Oh, sir. You have a sword too! I just got a sword! Stop it. I don't know if anybody else notices, by the way, but when I zoom in with this gun, the crosshair goes away for some fucking reason. <laughs> Like, my crosshair disappears when I zoom in. So maybe I just should avoid zooming in with this gun. There's probably a side effect of the uh, Iron Sights mod that I have installed. It probably would help. Yeah, probably. I'll try I'll try that out next time I stream. Maybe I'll like lower it down to like 4,000 bits instead of... Because right now it's at 5,500. I mentioned before when I first started streaming, my fucking bitrate was set to... Uh, <laughs> I had my, I think my bitrate was set to like 10,000, I think is what it was set to originally when I first started streaming. I can't remember how many streams I did, but 10,000 bitrate, but I did, I did a few of them at 10,000 bitrate. And then I remember like, I, I, I thought about it, I'm like, is 10,000 too much? And I looked it up and I, I remember reading that, yeah, apparently you should have it at like fucking, uh, like for 720p, apparently like, like they said, like... Like, 3,000 something is, like, decent for 720, but if you want to make sure it's, like, fine, like really good, like, it stays stable or whatever the fuck. That's stable, but... I can't remember the exact wording of it, but the fucking thing I was reading said, like, the highest you should go for 720 is, like, 6,000 bits. Or kilobits, whatever. So that's what I set mine to. I set it down to 6,000. And then after a while, I, uh, eventually lowered it down to 5,500. And that's what I've been at for a long time. I've been streaming at 5,500 bits for a while now. And I should probably lower it. I just haven't yet. It doesn't Twitch max out at 6,000. I think it does. Which is why I lowered it once I learned that. I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't be streaming at fucking 10,000 kilobits, yeah? Listen, I'm learning. <laughs> also, I'm going to repair that. Well, I'm going to keep the Chinese officer sword. So, yeah, by the way. Here's the regular version of that, of that sword that I found earlier. It, it, it's just called the Chinese officer sword. And the fancy version I just got is called Vampire's Edge, which, uh, it doesn't look any fucking different. 
Sadly, in Fallout 3, any unique versions of guns that you find are not any different than the regular version. They look exactly the same, like identically, like visually, they're the same. They just have better stats usually. They changed that in a Fallout New Vegas, I, th I believe, is when they first changed that. In New Vegas, when you find unique guns, they do look different, at least. Which is really nice. But in this game, they sadly look exactly the fucking same. I wonder what Vampire's Edge does. Is it Does it just do extra damage? I might look that up later. Because you think it would, like, heal you or something, yeah? Because it's like, a, it's, a, it's a vampire gun. Ooh, it sucks their blood or some bullshit. I don't know. It'd be cool if it healed me when you damage other enemies, but I doubt it. Also, why am I walking back to Arafu right now? Is there any reason I'm is there any reason I'm walking currently? I should just fucking fast travel back there, yeah? Let me save my game. Hold on, what the fuck? That's lame. It is lame, I know, right? They didn't fucking change that till Fallout New Vegas. In New Vegas, all the unique guns look unique, and it's super fucking cool. And then uh, in Fallout 4, they changed it back so they don't look unique anymore. <laughs> Which is really fucking dumb. Well, because in, in Fallout New Ve or in Fallout 4, they, they changed the, the... Instead of having unique guns, they added legendary guns in the game. Which are just regular guns with a random fucking modifier on them. And it's... So, once again, the guns went back to being the same gun. Like, unique guns are just the same gun again. It's, it's stupid. Like, New Vegas is the only one that has actually unique uniques. It sucks. I wish I this game... Killed every last one of those bastards. Oh, yeah, about that, Evan. Uh... <laughs> There he is, the hero of the day. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, the Evan, the, the Evan, <laughs> the, the, the family will never bother you again. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn, am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Goddamn. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the waste. Thanks. Anyway, Vance has a proposal for me, buddy. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. Uh-huh. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Yeah, I'm sure they'll agree. Okay. Uh, uh, any help you could provide would be appreciated, I, I guess? Question mark? I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, he handed me a bottle of beer. O okay, I have to go now. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Sure, buddy. Is that what you were saving up in case, sh is you in case shit hit the fan? You, were you had some beer? All right, you fucking weirdo. Okay, well now we gotta go back. We have to go back to Vance again and fucking tell him that the proposal's good. Or the proposal's set up now. Let's go here, yeah. I can collect their blood for trans. No, they're not using the blood for transfuse. Can I help you? Why is there a bunch of ghouls here all of a sudden? What the fuck? You guys were here earlier. Hi. Thanks for not attacking us. Most people don't tolerate ghouls. Can you put your hands down? <laughs> All right, what, what do you do? We, already, we, we talked to these guys earlier, remember? When I was showing off the random encounters that you can get? We found these guys earlier. That, that's that's neat, I guess. I'm just gonna like skip through their dialogue. We already read this shit. Yeah, what's Underworld? Okay, goodbye. That's weird. We just bumped into those guys again. Odd. Anyway, let's go back down here and talk to fucking Vance. But you know, they're not getting blood for transfusions. They're getting blood to drink it. <laughs> they want to drink the blood. I don't think they care what blood type it is. They just want to drink it because they're fucking weirdos. I guess because they're all cannibals that I and apparently drinking blood like keeps the, their cannibal urges at bay. I I guess, which is really weird. I don't think that makes any sense. Like you you get sick from drinking fucking human blood, right? Like in in real life, you will get. Also, there's a baseball machine <laughs> shooting fucking baseballs at me. Good, a pitching machine rather. But like, you you can't drink human blood in real life. You're gonna you, you'll get fucking sick. Like I don't. I don't know. Then again, they're cannibals. Eating fucking human meat will also make you sick, so fuck if I know. Anyway, Vance, I'm here. Please don't shoot me. Ugh. Hello? God, why do you fucking people live down here? 
I mean, I know why you live down here, but like, goddamn, you gotta build a way like that's deep into the place. Would it have killed you to put like a manhole that leads straight down here? Or like a fast travel point, maybe? Also, I, ne I never talked to the other people that live here, I guess. Yeah? Hi, who are you? Hiya, kid. Oh, never mind. She has no dialogue. Great. <laughs> Do you have dialogue? What's going on? Nope. Do you have dialogue? Hey, welcome back. Look what the cat dragged yet, apparently. Okay. <laughs> you think they just have Freon disease? Oh, when game stuttered. God, that scared me. Will I manage to get through one stream without getting a, without it crashing? We'll find out. We're getting near the end of the stream. Maybe. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to stream for. Hi, Alan. Uh, not Alan. Welcomes your return. <laughs> I, did, I didn't mean to call you Alan Vance, I meant. Always a pleasure to receive you in Moresti. Moresti. What brings you down here today? The Arafu accepted your proposal, Vance. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. Uh-huh. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Neat. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. Don't ever say that to me again. If you to learn our ways, you have but to ask. Ah. Uh. How are things going now? Very well, actually. Our truce with Arafu is coming to fruition. I've begun teaching my people to live off of the donated blood pack. It's been 10 seconds. The has been difficult, but we will manage. It's been 10 seconds. You've certainly done us a great service, and I can't thank you enough. Thank you, Van. So... I'm certain our paths will cross again. Uh-huh. So anyway, real quick. You can do this now. Now that you're friends with this dude, you can talk to him. Always a pleasure to receive... And you can ask him to teach you the ways of the vampire. You could you could do this now. To be a vampire is a life commitment. It is not achieved by my words. Uh-huh. It is something you earn by your own will and sincere meditation. Uh-huh. Sadly, I cannot fully make you one of us, but uh -huh. I can teach you how the lifeblood of others brings us regenerative powers. Since your body lacks the way to extract blood as we do, what do you mean? You must find alternative sources for your nourishment. Do you have fangs? The deep of the blood, allow not a drop to spill. Feel the warmth as it spreads inside you. That's disgusting. You are becoming one with the life force of another. They lend a part of themselves to you. For a brief moment, you are two entities becoming. Look at her face. Allow the feelings to course through your body. She's like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Blood. Feel it empower you and make you stronger. Stronger. Once you have done this deed, only then will you know what it is like to be a vampire. You're not a vampire. Vance's teachings have granted you the ability to regain 20 HP from the consumption of blood packs. <laughs> there you go. I can now drink blood if I want to. I'm not going to. I'm certain our paths will cross again. I'm not going. That, that face is priceless. I know. She's like, she's like tilting her head. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. So we got that perk now. We have a perk. I'll show you. What's it called? Hema hematophage. Yeah. So look at that. I can now drink blood packs. If I want to bring, if I want to drink them now, I get, I get 20 HP as opposed to I think they used to give me like one HP. I think is what they did. <laughs> Blood. If you drank a blood pack like a fucking weirdo, it would give you one HP. Now I can drink it like a weirdo, and it will give me five HP. Or five twenty HP. I can't fucking talk. But yeah, I'm probably not gonna make use out of that. But we do have that perk now. <laughs> we do have a a, a, a semi useless perk that I'll probably never make use out of. But hey, I got it now. Maybe they have dentures. Maybe. Maybe they, yeah, they, they just have like a really good cosplay going on. They have like really like. Like really, really nicely well made, like fucking like vampire. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but yeah, like what the fuck does he mean that I don't have the tools to extract the blood like he does? Like what do you? Do you have like a syringe, Vance? Like I, I can go buy a syringe. I can just go. To, I, I, I can go find a syringe laying on the fucking floor to extract blood. Like don't, 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 don't try to bullshit me and act like you have fucking fangs, you weirdo. He's just super into cosplay. Like, he's, like, super duper into cosplay. He's like, fuck yeah, I'm a vampire. Look at my fancy robe. Look at my cool sword. Do vampires usually have swords? Is that, is that a thing? <laughs> Do vampires normally have swords? 
Swords are pretty. Swords are pretty fucking cool. At least that's cool about him. That's one cool aspect about him. He does have swords. Anyway, we're leaving now. We're done. We're done with Arafu. Oh, and now we can head. I guess I should. I didn't talk to Ian yet. Should I head back to Arafu and talk to Ian really quick? Because then we gotta head back to Megaton and talk to Lucy. Because then we got her quest done. We can head back and talk to Lucy. And let her know all this weird fucking bullshit that happened to her family. We can let her know that her uh, her parents are dead and that fucking her her brother's a, a cannibal slash vampire man. Ian. Ian, I'm coming home to you. Hi. Hey, you're back. Let's chat a while. Sure. I'm glad I was wrong about you. Welcome back. Hi. Any any help you could provide? You can give me shit? Give me stuff. There are a few interesting places around here I've oh. heard about. I don't know if they'll help you or not, but you're welcome to them. Thanks. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. It's nice to have company. Sure. What? She gave me map marker? Oh, yeah. Look at that. She marked a bunch of shit on my map. Neat. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> I would have preferred, like, some money. But I'm okay, I guess. Ian? Ian, hi. Oh, you cleaned I up your parents. You couldn't stay away. Yeah, I'm just here to make sure you're not murdering the rest of the town. Fucking, shut up. Want this knife? Want a butter knife? Thanks for setting me straight on everything. You're welcome. Fucking, how are how are things going now? It's weird living in my parents' old house with them gone, but I'll make the best of it. Everyone around here is being nice to me despite what happened, so I guess it all turned out well. Thanks. Well, I don't think they know that you killed them. I think they <laughs> I'm pretty sure they think that the other people killed them, but you know what? Just keep just keep it under wraps. Don't let them know about that. They probably won't be so happy if they found out you did that. Yeah, yeah, like what the fuck happened exactly? Let's talk about it. It actually kind of makes me feel better to talk about it. Go ahead. Why'd you fucking eat your parents? Why 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 did you eat your parents? I wish I could answer that. Ah. I really do. I don't even remember it happening. When the hunger takes over, it's like being pushed aside, like something else is controlling me. I can see what's happening, but can't close my eyes. I don't even remember exactly what happened until Vance knocked on the door. Yeah. It's like watching one of my streams. Like, you can't control what's happening, but you have to watch. You can't, you can't close your eyes, and it's horrible. Um, yeah, yeah, the family's mark was on the wall. What the fuck happened? Did you do that? Vance told me later that he was basically covering for me and allowing the family to to feed at the same time. Ew. Since my parents were already dead, they drank their blood and left the mark on the wall. He didn't want Evan to suspect that I had done it. Ah. The irony is they were stalking our town to feed anyway. It's almost like Vance knew this would happen. Yeah. Actually, it is it is, it is a little weird that that happened because again, how the fuck did he how did he do that? How did Vance just happen to be here when you went to go murder your parents? Did he just happen to be there to stop you from doing... You know what? Don't worry about it. Anyway, goodbye. Yeah, okay. I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Sounds good. Come back and visit me sometime. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe someday. I'm going to go back to Megaton and tell your sister that you're a fucking vampire. Where's Megaton? Here we go. Boop. Head back home really quick. We'll go talk to Lucy West, and then maybe I'm gonna look around one more time for Jericho and see if I can find that piece of shit, and then I'll probably end the stream. Oh, there he is. is that him? That's not him. I saw a bald head and thought. I wish there were more people like you in the world. Uh huh. I want you to have this. I hope it helps keep you safe. Do you got more mac and cheese for me? Oh, 10, 14 bottle caps. Thank you. Certainly, it's the least I could do after all you've done. Yeah, you too. I'm gonna. <laughs> Oh, there's Lucy West right there. Hey, Lucy, ma'am, I like your coat. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hi. I delivered that letter. Oh, thank you for remembering. With everything that's going on, I almost forgot about it. It's been like a day. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Oh no. Oh. oh okay. Goodbye. Oh. Okay. Well. Anytime you find yourself back in Megaton, be sure and look me up. I was kind of hoping you would pay me for my services. You know, I, I just walked all the way. I, 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 you know mailmen get paid, right? You, you, you know, you know mailmen get paid, right? They, they don't just do it out of the kindness of their fucking heart. Okay. <laughs> all right. Whatever. The adventure with its own payment, yeah? 
That's what I'm gonna keep telling myself. Jericho? Jericho, what the fuck are you? I'm gonna end the stream here in a minute. <laughs> I wanna I, I wanna make one last like attempt to find him. And to recruit him. And then if I can't find him, then oh well, I'll just end the stream. He wouldn't be in here. Like why the fuck this is like the common area. He doesn't come here. Maybe he like left. Did he just like fucking leave Megaton? Did he fuck off? <laughs> Mr. Burke's body's still here. Oh, Mr. Burke, you fucking poor dumb son of a bitch. No suffering. No. We haven't talked to him. Should I talk to fucking Professor Cron? This dude. We haven't talked to him yet. Professor Cronwell. We haven't spoken to him. Your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away. In Can I help you? Glow, burned from you in the fire of his brilliance. Hey. Who have we here? Could it be Buh. a new addition to our humble little community? Humble. Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. Hi, I've been here for like a week. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church anytime, anytime at all. No, I'm good. Yeah, what, you heard any good rumors lately? What's the news? News? My friend, I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. Ah. Uh. Earthly pursuits distract from Atom. Okay. Of course. Now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. Oh? The man never sleeps. So they say. Is that who that dude is that just stands in there all day? Goodbye. Rays shower you, child. I know, I'm good. I don't want your radiation. Hello? You know, actually, here. Just to, just to humor What's him happening? a little bit, I'm gonna... Here. I, I, here. Let's... Behold! Mm, apple sauce, He's yummy, tasty, mm, very good. Thank you. Are you happy? For, are you happy, Confessor Conwell? I, <laughs> are you happy? I drank the fucking radioactive goo again. Are you happy, bud? Does that appease you? I'm gonna drink some right away now. Here we go. Okay. Motherfucking weirdos worship an atomic bomb. They worship radiation like a bunch of fucking weirdos. Jericho? Is he up by the bar? I just want a friend. That's all I want in this goddamn wasteland. All I want is a friend. Just a friend who will stand in front of me and take bullets for me. <laughs> is that him? No, it's Billy Creel. Where the hell is he? Does he, he, he does, does Jericho leave Megaton occasionally? Like, does he actually leave the town? Or like... Am I just like hella unlucky? And I can't find him. Hello. He's on here once again. Hmm. Moriarty's just standing here still. Hi. Let me turn your radio back on, bud. Sorry about that. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Into where? Fuck, fuck off. The dude I'm looking for is wearing a leather jacket and he's got a bald fucking head and a Chinese assault rifle on his back. <laughs> I know what he looks like, and I can't fucking find him anywhere. Maybe he's home now. It is late at night. Maybe he's home? Let me go check his house. He's my neighbor. I didn't even realize. He's like literally my neighbor. He lives right here. <laughs> he lives two fucking feet away from me. Okay, his door's locked, but I'm going to like break in real quick and see if I can... <laughs> I'm going to see if he's in here. Hey. Yo, Jericho. I've been looking for you all stream, buddy. I literally started the stream saying, hey, I'm going to go find Jericho. And then I never found him. Is he in here? <gasps> he is in here. Hey. Hey, dickhead. Yeah, you. Ah, oh, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Yeah. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. I've been looking for you all fucking day, asshole. You don't look like you belong here. What's your fucking story? You, yeah, you don't look like you belong here. That's what you say to someone when you come into their house, right? You walk into someone's house and say, like, you don't look like you belong here, bud. There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. Bastard. And I put all that behind me. You ever consider getting back out there, bud? What? Back out where? Out there, dumbass. <laughs> out in the wastes. You must be bored to tears in this town. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. 
I'm not that guy anymore. But what if you did it for me? Sounds fun, right? Killing and stealing? It's pretty fun, right? I do it all the time. You know, I do miss it sometimes. Yeah. It's a life of freedom. Yeah. You know? But come on. Now I'm a wash the bowl raider. What crew is going to take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. Me, Jericho. I'll do it. I'll, I'll take you on, Jericho. Be my fucking friend, please. No offense. You see it. <laughs> but your friend there? What? Well, I'm used to working in smaller groups. Wait, what friend? Come back when you're alone, and maybe we can work something out. Wait, what? I... What? I I dismissed Dogmeat, didn't I? Didn't I dismiss Dogmeat? Hey. Hey, 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 game? Hey, game, what do you mean I have a follower already, game? I, 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 I sent Dogmeat back to Vault 101, game? I just want, I just want Jericho to be my friend, game? Okay, hey, 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 what do you mean I have a follower right now, you fucking asshole? What do you mean? Is it me? Am I the follower? Am I the follower? Have I been following Johnny around this whole time? Fuck. Alright, whatever, fine, goodbye. Come back if you need something. Yeah, goodbye. Great. <laughs> Okay, well I gotta figure out what's going on with that then. I don't know why it says I have a follower currently, but we'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that later. Anyway, that'll be that'll be it for tonight probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, take on me, yeah. I gotta start saying fucking take on me to make him come with me. Alright, well, I'm gonna save my game then. And I'll figure out what's going on there then. I'll figure out what's going on with the game. I don't know why it says I have a follower. I, Cause I dismissed Dogmeat. Dogmeat's back in Vault 101. Is it, is it, it's not counting the bear as my follower. Remember the bear? <laughs> do, do, do you think it's, do you think it's counting that fucking Yao Guai that was following me around as, the, as a follower? I hope not. Either way though. I'm going to try to figure out how to fix that, or if I can't fix it, I will do what I said I was going to do anyway and just download a mod that lets me have unlimited followers. I could just do that. I could just... Oh, my Twitch followers. <laughs> oh, you're saying it's my Twitch followers that's causing it to happen, huh? Great. Well, I guess I got to delete the whole channel, everybody. I can't recruit Jericho unless I delete my entire channel. It's been a good run. It's been a good run, everybody, but I'm sorry. It's where it ends. I got to... <laughs> <laughs> gotta stop streaming forever. All right. Oh, hi, Kabu. I forgot you were there. How long has Kabu been there, everybody? How long has Kabu been there? I forgot he was there again. How long has he been there? Kabu has been there for uh, another hour. <laughs> Kabu's been there for an hour again. God fucking damn it. Good. Kabu. Here, let's just look at a bunch of... Co here, just look at all these cobblers real quick. Let's just... Here, let's just... Let's just here, let's just look at a bunch of cobblers really quick since they're all fucking here. Since apparently he's been here for a fucking hour. Kabu! Kabu! Kabu. Good. Anyway. That'll be the end of the stream for tonight. God fucking damn it. Um. What was I doing? So yeah, I'll fix that. After, I'll fix that in between this stream and the next stream. I'll figure out why the fuck it says I have multiple followers. And then also I will... I'll probably download a mod to get more followers because I do want to have... I just want to recruit everybody. I do want to recruit every single follower during this playthrough. And I want to have them. I probably won't keep them all in my house. I'll probably keep dog meat at my house, but everybody else, I might just, uh, I'll, I'll probably just, like, recruit them and then send them on their way. We'll see. But I do want to go recruit every single follower during this playthrough. Anyway, though, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed that, or if you missed the stream, or you're just looking for something else to watch, you can check out the YouTube channel. It's the same as my Twitch name. It's the same as my Twitch name. I need to enunciate when I speak. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. It's the same as my Twitch name. It's Ojaxer. I use the same username pretty much everywhere. Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Discord, etc., etc. Ojaxer. That's my name. Do you guys like that Kabu emote, by the way? Do you enjoy that? I, 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 I'm still very iffy about the fucking... <laughs> I'm still very iffy about the cropping on it, because it, it was really hard to, like, get a get a good emote of him. Because originally, I just put the whole ass, like, buff Kabu. Like, here, like, th this one here, the, the, the buff Kabu. Where is he? This one? Originally, I just put the whole buff Kabu as one emote, but, like, it was so fucking tiny on Twitch, like, it looked horrible, so I had to crop it to make him, like, more, to make it, like, legible to see what the fuck you were looking at. <laughs> and that's what I settled on, is that particular one there, so I don't know. I might change it. I might, I might change it, depending, but it, it looks okay to me for the time being. I don't mind. I, I like buff Kabu. 
But anyway, though, um, yeah, if, you, if you're watching on Twitch right now, there are links to the YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube right now, there are links to the Twitch. If you're watching on either of those places, there are links to the Discord. You can join that, get notified whenever I go live. You can uh, send me suggestions for games you want to see me play. All that kind of shit. And yeah, you can, see, you can suggest mods you want to see me play. In case there's any mods for fun. Again, people in my Discord have actually been sending me mods. That's, that's probably the reason my game didn't crash all day today. Because somebody in my Discord sent me a link and to some uh, fucking mods that prevent this game from crashing. Which is really nice. And hey, it didn't crash the entire stream. So thank you. Thank you, person. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. That'll be it for tonight. I'll probably be live again. Today's... Today, today's when yeah today's wednesday yeah I'll be, well i guess technically it's fucking thursday now because it's midnight but <laughs> i'll be back again on friday i guess i'm not gonna stream on thursday i'll be back again on friday with some more i guess pokemon snap because a new a new update just came out for pokemon snap so i'm gonna check that out on friday and then on saturday we'll play some more fallout 3 and then i might start a new game on sunday i'm not sure because i might be done with pokemon snap i don't know how many more streams of that game i'm gonna do what if i just did kabu's face maybe I could well see. I want the buff. I I, I want I want buff Kabu though. <laughs> I, I want buff Kabu, and if I just do his face, it'll be hard to tell that he's buff. I mean, like maybe you can kind of see like his like pectorals if I just zoom in on his face. You can kind of see like big old buff man chest. I don't I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'll figure something out. I do want a Kabu emote though. I love Kabu. Uh, but yeah, maybe maybe start a new game this weekend. I'm not sure. If I do start a new game, I th I'm thinking about doing Pikmin two. I'm thinking about starting Pikmin two. Whenever we finish Pokemon Snap. I'm still undetermined about that yet, though. We'll see. Either way, again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good whatever time of day it might be for you when you were watching this. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Also, what the fuck is this gif, by the way? I, 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 I didn't really, like, process it till just now, but, like, look at this gif. It's just some dude clapping. Like, <laughs> like why? what is this? Why did I make this to fucking... Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, woohoo, yeah. Yeah, you do it, uh huh, yeah. Alright, yeah. Yeah. Good man.